changed anything They'd make it illegal I hate strangers, loud noises and crowds I'll play a show every night And would you, and would you believe There are people who come to me for advice I'm driving fast as the car can go Cause I'm going home
What's up, y'all? Fucking got a hat on. Oh, fucking A. Still, mm, I'm not going to be satisfied with how I look until I get those five pounds back. I tell you, y'all, the first place I lose weight is my face. It's fucking miserable. Oh, hey, Caboose. How are you doing today, Caboose? You doing any better? Um, How's everybody? Fucking, I get some of this shit on my side. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, no, I'm gonna look gaunt for like two months, Karina. The first place I lose weight is my face, and I lost five pounds in like eight days, nine days, eight days, something like that. I can, I can, I can just drop weight. I'm still up from where I used to be, but you know. Um, have you tried anaphylaxis? I've heard that'll puff your face up. Uh, coughing is better, but I'm sniffly as fuck right now. Uh, well, I mean, you know, um, no one in the French press is talking about the LAPD security bullshit. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was hilarious. Dude, the LAPD started arresting people in France. Like, excuse me? Homie, your jurisdiction doesn't extend to the next county, let alone the next country. Fucking morons. I swear to God. The fucking cops just think they own this world. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Caboose. The LAPD's uh, police chief was on vacation in France and had a private security detail comprised of LAPD officers. And when confronted with somebody, uh, 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 with a few people, they tried to arrest, they, uh, they tried to arrest people. They tried to arrest people. LAPD officers on a private security detail for the chief of police of the LAPD while on vacation in France attempted to arrest French nationals. Cops just think they're fucking God. They have the, they are fucking egomaniacs. Which, by the way, eh, you know, I'm, I'm getting better, nerd. Thanks. Um, which, by the way, brings us into the first time, I, the first time I ever get to say this. Welcome to Popo's Bizarre Adventures. Yes, this is going to be reoccurring, a recurring segment on this show. We've, um, since the, in, since the instant, what, what will forever go down as, uh, as uh, to be known as the incident. Since the incident, we've had a few conversations behind the scenes. And we're going to start doing more segments and stuff like that. Today, it's going to be pretty informal, but it will get more, more detailed and more produced as time goes by. And these segments will get cut and put up onto their own playlists and stuff like that on, uh, on YouTube. The Hot or Not is, <coughs> is becoming its own little like mini series. It may not go forever, but you know, the, ho the Hot or Not tier list stuff is going to be a little. Uh, miniseries and the 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 it the misadventures of um of the police uh aka the popo's bizarre adventures um is going to be a recurring theme on this show as well so look forward to more of that in the future so why don't we just get right into it um there because there's so many of these fucking stories that we could just ding along the way uh cupcake we will eventually get um, we will eventually get animation for it. We will eventually get images drawn up. We are, you know, we, we're, we're talking about it behind the scenes. So it could, it's early stages, right? We just will ease into it. And the more it becomes a thing, if it becomes a thing, the more production value we'll put into it as time goes by. Um, so that is what it is. Oh, Karina. Oh, um, Karina. Um, I have, I, I set up Dropbox with two terabytes. So you, I'll be able to put clips up there and you can just download them from there, um, to like sh edit and share and stuff like that. You're going to need a Dropbox account. If you don't already have one, if you have a Dropbox account, send me the email that it's attached to, uh, in a DM and I'll get you on the share. Um, uh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, unless they're especially inflammatory, Rev, ignore the headlines. Um, <coughs> so that is what it is. Um, yeah. Um, and, in the, uh, the hot or not segment is already up there. I trimmed it. Um, I clipped the hot or not segment. It's up on the, uh, up on Dropbox already. Um, so if you want to do anything to it, it's there to do it. Just send me the stuff. Um, so let's just, let's just start, let's, let's start happy because you know, th that's, that's my sense of things, right? Um, the Chicago police department has killed more children since 2013 than any other local law enforcement agency, according to the mapping police violence accountability data set. Um, 
The latest one was 13 years of age, who was fatally shot last month. Um, the most recent and youngest victim at the hands of the Chicago PD. Uh, how did France not get angry at it? Because, I mean, who knows? They got other stuff to be angry about. Um, <laughs> um, the the um, footage from uh, Adam T uh, Toledo, who was the 13-year-old, by the way, showed him with his hands up. Uh, he was a seventh grader, by the way. So keep that in mind. Seventh grader, right? He's standing there with his hands up, and the fucking Chicago PD drops him. Uh, and if you're wondering, is this is this a third party account? Is this testimony we can trust? No, this is straight from the body cam footage of the officers on the scene. You can watch it for yourself if you want to see a 13 year old get executed by the police. Um, but if you just want to take my word for it, there you go. Um, Adam had his hands up in the air and the police officers summarily executed a seventh grader. So that's Chicago PD. Let's just start talking about that. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the majority of the victims, of course, were black, um, with a uh, minor note to be mentioned as a few were Hispanic and a couple of like unknown races, others, that sort of thing. Um, but Chicago, NYPD, Columbus PD, Harris County, Texas, Houston PD, Jacksonville, LAPD, all have honorable, what's up, Cricks? All have honorable mention for extrajudicially assassinating children. Children. Like literal children. Not, oh, he turns 18 in three months. No, like 13 year olds. Like 12, you know, that sort of shit. Like, so. Yeah, um, oh, we're we're like what March? Yeah, we're March sixteenth. Adam Toledo, age thirteen, just to reiterate, was one of at least two hundred and sixty-five people that have been shot and killed by police this year per uh, one independent verif uh, verifying database. Because remember, in this country, the police are not accountable; they do not have to submit these statistics. We have no federal database of this, and all tracking of police shootings and de uh, and deaths by police in this country are done either vo through voluntary submission of the police departments for cases cases that they choose to submit or by third party journalist and academic tracking using uh, public data sources as uh, as again 35 why did it come in as undefined i'm sorry that it came in as undefined i'm going to have to look at that um i'm going to have to look at that scripting behind the scenes oh and it just fucking did a thing oh this is going to be a thing hang on give me a second give me a second give me a second give me a second um let me do a, a test run here um raid there we go there's the 51. There's the 51. Sorry, sorry it didn't come up, uh, uh, Hilda Beast, but thank you. Thank you for the raid. Um, we're just doing Popo's Bizarre Adventures. It's a new, it's going to be a recurring, but it's a new segment we've uh, spun up for the show. Um, where we talk about all of the wacky shenanigans that the police all across the world, but, you know, specifically with a bent in America, because then, you know, it's the place where I live, uh, get up to. And right now we're talking about the uh, various police accountability projects vis-a-vis uh, uh, vis the uh, Chicago having the highest rate of killing kids, literal kids, uh, in this country. Uh, Chicago just ex uh, summarily executed, uh, extrajudicially assassinated a 13-year-old last month, making it the youngest victim on the rolls for this year. Um, out of the 265 that we are aware of, because as I was just pointing out before you came in, if you were not aware that in the United States, the police departments, uh, 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 local, state, county, federal, none of them are required to actually submit this data. So we have a centralized database of tracking of the amounts of deaths caused by police. All of the numbers that we actually have are done by third party journalists or academic associations that tr do their very best using FOIA and uh, public news uh, sources to track this data. So when I say we have at least 265, that's the ones that we can track. Those are the ones that we can keep account of. Uh, outside of that, sometimes it's just hands up. Um, but anyway, Adam Toledo was the latest. He was a 13 year old seventh grader in Chicago who per uh, body cam footage we now know was standing there with his hands up when the police extrajudicially assassinated him. Just straight up murked him on the fucking street. Just a 13 year old seventh grader, little fucking basically prepubescent kid standing there with his fucking hands up and the cops just drop him. 
Um, and so, you know, fucking not a third party account, not witness testimony, hard video footage. So that's, that's where we are on the beginning of the story. This is where we started, by the way, I figured we'd start, we'd start happy with the, uh, police executions of children on a national scale. Um, so for those coming in with Hilda Beast, uh, wondering what is Kai's sensibility, sense of humor, and uh, and sort of how I view the world, yeah, let's let's start there. Murdering kids. Um, hey, if you're gonna condemn the cops, let's condemn the fucking cops, right? Start strong. And while we're talking about condemning the cops and starting strong, the Houston Police Department, honorable mention, has another officer in the news. This is the second one in a month. Um, who's up on charges for possession of child pornography. <laughs> this is this is uh, 10 counts of child pornography for this creepy motherfucker, Justin Weber. And if you're wondering why I call him a creepy motherfucker, it's because he's a creepy motherfucker. Um, hold on, let me get, let me try and get you a picture of him. I got some video. Um, there we go. No, 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 no. Here you go. This is this is a uh, former po Houston police officer Justin Weber who will prop will probably uh, I don't need your statement thank you put thank you kindly uh, who will probably end up getting a lifetime pension knowing police officers in this country and the union standards that they uh, the, the unionization and contract standards that the police departments are held to uh, in most cities he will probably end up with a lifetime pension but either way the 29 year old has been relieved of duty and is facing 10 counts of uh, possession of child pornography he's the second Houston police officer to go down for this in in like a month because I just had to do another one of these stories in recent memory. Houston PD's got uh, apparently a kitty diddler problem, but I mean, uh, it's about par for the course, isn't it? With these sorts of uh, authoritarian abusive individuals. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> oh, uh, one of my favorites, this is sort of a win. Um, the <coughs> cops in Texas that checks out. All right. Um, Georgia, uh, this has been five years in the making a house party in Georgia that had, um, 65 young people. It's a fucking house party, right? I mean, fucking, what are you fucking 45 at a house party? It's kids. Kids go to house parties, right? Um, 65 young people at a house party. The police show up and they find a, a literally like a small bag, like a dime bag. Um, a, sp uh, a dime bag, a fucking pot outside the house somewhere. And so they round up and arrest 65 kids. The police have been ordered to pay a million dollar settlement for that one. Um, it's pittance, it's chump change, but yeah, it shows exactly how insane it is. They just started rounding people up and arresting them. Um, fucking, so, you know, yeah, scary weed, fucking Georgia. It's Georgia. Georgia's still, it's still like 1956 in Georgia, right? I'm not, I'm not sure that they even know that women and black people have rights yet. Um, so, you know, I, again, I lived in that part of the country. Don't go there. It's not worth it. It's a terrible part of the country. Just leave if you can. I know it's difficult to just leave, but I swear to God, like sell all your stuff, buy a Greyhound bus ticket, hitchhike to the Greyhound terminal and get the fuck out because that part of the country is goddamn awful. Um, yeah, they found it outside. Yeah, it's a fucking dime bag. Chances are they planted it. I mean, that's I, again, I told this story the other night. My stepdad was told, for those of you who don't know who came in with Hilda Beast, my step my stepfather is a former judge and grew up and is friends with the the uh, was the friends with the bureau chief of the head of the ATF and is deeply, deeply connected with uh, with a whole bunch of that sort of stuff, right? Um he had an NYPD cop tell him when he came down from Boston and and uh, into New York I lived there for a few years. He had an NYPD officer literally tell him, uh, ask him, he's like, Do you you got a dump gun? He's like, What? You got a drop gun? Like, no, he's like, get a drop gun. Dude, my stepdad, it, it's it's reliable. Like he my stepdad doesn't make shit like that up. It's just not what he does. Um, he had an NYPD officer straight up tell him to get a drop gun and fucking just in case you have to put somebody down. Right? This is 
cops do this sort of shit all the time. Dude, Baltimore got caught doing this shit. NYPD's got caught doing this shit. Chicago's got caught doing this shit. LA's got caught doing this shit. Dude, so many police departments get caught drop uh, do, using drop guns and fucking planting, uh, planting drugs and shit. Yeah, I wouldn't put him past it for a second to put, uh, drop a dime bag outside some pe- teenager's fucking house party and then round up 65 fucking teenagers because they think they can milk their parents for a few bucks. Get them in the system, right? Get them in the system. Get the fucking pro- uh, probation officers in. The probation officers all have to be charged. Uh, get uh, Be paid. The fucking, you know, all that processing, court fees, fines, all that bullshit. It's just a fucking revenue stream for these pieces of shit. So, <clears throat> um, then they're um, moving on, but still in the same state because... Why go, why even leave the state? Because you don't need to. These pieces of shit are just ripe everywhere. Um, fucking ex Georgia, uh, county, uh, ex Georgia, uh, Georgia chef, uh, sheriff's deputy has just pleaded guilty this week to shooting a university of Georgia graduate. He thought was having an affair with his wife. Was the individual having his affair with his wife? We don't fucking know, but he thought he was. So he killed him. He, um, he was indicted on charges of malice murder, felony murder, first degree home invasion, two counts of aggravated assault, and two counts of firearm possession. Pleaded guilty to felony murder and aggravated assault, but he was given an additional 10 years for the aggravated charge. Um, he was at a cookout with the uh, fucking... Um, uh, uh, Clower, uh, the, 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 the university student who, uh, was at a cookout with his friends on November 10th, 2019. And, uh, the, the cop's wife a- had been, uh, invited over. Um, and so the deputy used a cell phone app to track her. He entered the man's home with the gun in his hand. As the dude tried to flee, he shot him in the hand and the back uh, and twice in the back. After he sh- uh, after he shot the uh, shot the man, he then uh, it, it, <laughs> he um, he called nine one one. He was a pla- uh, plain clothes, um, and he admitted shooting the college student. He straight up called nine one one and said, "I just shot somebody. My wife was cheating on me, and I couldn't take it. I didn't shoot her. I shot the guy. I couldn't stop myself. I can't go to jail." That's that's literally the nine one one recording. He just thought he you know. He'd shoot him. Um, I, I, you know, this is cop logic. This isn't normal functioning human being logic. This is cop logic. My wife's cheating on me, so let me just go shoot somebody. And he, he fucking called 911 thinking he'd be fine. Because cops think they're fine. Like, honestly, I'm surprised he, I'm surprised he got kicked off the force, let alone charged. We've got sincerely, uh, we, we've got sincere, oh, I mean, fuck, I, Brev, he's 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 fucked. He 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 accepted the guilty play. So apparently it wasn't going to fly. It's Georgia. It's Georgia. Fucking dude, they they've they've spent years dismantling those sorts of things. Um let's see. Also, uh okay, yeah, that one was 2 days ago, I think. Uh the Scottsboro officer who killed his uh uh um he was on leave. Uh, Scottsboro uh, officer was a uh, police officer was on leave and then shot his estranged wife before killing himself. Um, he he yeah he he did he did the typical like dude whose marriage fell apart because of his job sort of situation and like you know did the standard forty percent cop move and fucking decided that he should just you know. And but she survived. She's she's still alive. We'll see if she re- has a full recovery or not. But the estranged wife at least has survived the incident. Um, hopefully, I mean, I'm not victim blaming here. I'm not victim blaming. Don't take it that way. But hopefully, she's learned her lesson and she doesn't marry another cop. Because that does, for those of you who don't know, increases your chances of domestic violence by about forty percent. So like. Yeah, (laughs) I'd love to see a statistical analysis of dual police households, like where the wife and the husband are both cops. I would love to see a statistical analysis of that because we've seen incidents of that um, over the course of this fucking project that is probably radical. We've had a few of those that we've talked about where the wife is a deputy and the, the husband is a deputy. Like Chicago was the last one that happened last year. The end of last year? I forget when that one happened. We had to cover that one. Uh, That one we pretty much covered live. Um, 
Um, and so, like, yeah, it was um, uh, fucking. She put him down, I think, in that instance. What's up, Squiddy? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, Squiddy, if you want, go watch Monday's stream. It's a fucking fireball. I come in hot and heavy um, and accuse Twitch of rampant anti-LGBTQ policies, um, homophobic and transphobic policies on the mod staff, and generally just make the statement that Twitch wants gay kids dead. Um, So, like, yeah. I I came in pretty hot and uh, fucking furious on Monday, so if you want to see some riled up, um, check Monday's VOD. Um, Fucking (laughs) prognostic. Their household is basically a Waffle House at 3 a.m., um, fucking, I thought he shot her twice. I, I don't even remember it to be perfectly honest. Like he, no, 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 no. She said he drew a gun on her and that she defended herself. I think that that was the, that the, the line that was given. I've never heard shit about it ever since then though. Like they buried that one. That was super fucking embarrassing for the department. So Oh, God damn it, Snappy. Snappy! Snappy! Read the text. For the love of God, please and thank you. Don't sub on Twitch. I mean, I know you guys want to get rid of the ads, and I respect that, but holy shit, we need to stop giving money to Amazon. We need to support creators better. We need to get this fucking stuff. Like, I, I, dude, just fucking ignore the ad for 30 seconds. Just, like, don't look at it. Don't listen to it. Turn the fucking volume down. Dude, fucking glazy. What, like, what am I supposed to do here? Like... Right? Like, I mean, there's only, like, there's only so much you can do with this before it becomes absolutely fucking obnoxious on the screen. So, like, uh, no, I can't turn ads off, Karina. There's no way to do that. I either front load the ads or I, I put the ads randomly multiple times through the stream. Those are the options for Twitch is multiple ads through the stream or fucking um, a front loaded ad. And I figure front loading is better. It just gets it out of the way, get it out of your system, get it done and move on with it. 30 seconds of just don't don't fucking look at the screen. Turn your volume all the way down. Don't listen to it. Like don't don't pay any attention to those fucking ads. And then just, you know, you're by it. Um So what do I want? What uh, apropos of what? A run as a marquee on the bottom of the screen. Uh uh, we're probably going to do a graphic kit for it, Hilda. Um, it rev. Yes, these terrible Twitch ads, which I have definitely seen before. Um, yeah, Snappy, use use the sub command. Do it on coffee. I, uh, Dude, I get a bigger cut on coffee. Fucking Je- Bezos doesn't fucking get, get a cut. Right? Like, Thiel's getting a cut. I mean, PayPal takes a cut basically during the transfer, but coffee doesn't take a cut. Right? So, the $5 subscription to a coffee subscription, which we have subscriptions, um, a $5 subscription on coffee gets me $4.09 if you're American, $4.01 if you're Canadian with the the currency transfer. Um, And on Twitch, it would get $2.50. So, you're, you're nearly doubling what a creator gets off of like the subscriptions just by doing coffee instead of Twitch. And I get the fucking, you know, the ads. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just better across the board. It's better. Like it's, it's less money going to Jeff Bezos, less money going into Twitch's pockets because Twitch needs to learn a fucking lesson. Um, and like, yeah, just across the board. It's better. It's better. Okay. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> oh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, we did that one. Oh, um, Congress has closed the loophole that allows federal officers to claim sex with a detainee is consensual. Um, the loophole existed in 35 states only four years ago. Um, six states changed it since the bill was proposed, but Congress last week passed a bill that explicitly prohibits federal law enforcement officers from having sex with people in their custody. 
Did you think that it would have already been illegal to do that or against regulations? Yeah, you would have thought, huh? No, it wasn't. It was perfectly legal for a fucking poli a federal police officer to rape someone in their custody and then just claim that it was uh, consensual. And there's very little that can be done. Um, so all you can do is explicitly forbid it from occurring and say, under no circumstances are you allowed to have sex with a detainee and go from there. But up until that point, it did allow officers to literally avoid rape convictions by claiming any such encounter was consensual. That's a very real thing. It's not speculation. It's not hyperbole. It's not hypothesis. This is a thing that has occurred at the local, state, and federal level multiple times. Um, one of the most recent was in New York, and that's when New York closed, closed their loophole. It was when two male officers like raped uh, raped one of their detainees, and they both claimed, oh, no, 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 no. She, she offered to give us blowjobs and shit like that, and it was... But uh, one of the side effects of that case was that New York closed that loophole. But now at the federal level, it's closed, but it only includes federal police officers. So states still have to catch up on this one. This isn't an overarching law for all of the United States. This is merely a federal police officer exclusionary clause, which means there's still, I think... 28 or 29 states in the United States that allow police officers to have sex with detainees in their custody, which opens the door for rape, just straight up rape. Um, so yeah. All right. Uh, Dig, you came into Popo's Bizarre Adventures, a new segment that we will slowly build up, create more graphics for, and do add more production to. But we are going to be, we it is the the advent the misadventures of police uh, around the globe, but especially in the U.S. are a is a font is a never ending font of content. So we decided that since I covered on a regular basis anyway, we should create uh, some, you know, content around it. Um, and so we are calling it Popo's Bizarre Adventures, and um, it has been quite the wind-up already. Um, years ago, if you told me there'd be an app called Twitch, I would have assumed it was a Silk Road for amphetamines. Uh, America's laws are dumb, and I'm saying as a Canadian, we can't pass shit without a queen. Um, do I have a way to give money that isn't through a system created by a capitalist? I'm an absolutist. Yeah, internet opinions. You want to fucking send me some crypto? You can send me some crypto. I can get you a wallet address, no problem. Um, so like, yeah, I can, I can get you, uh, I can get you like an anonymous, like if you want to use Monero, which is relatively anonymous in the grand scheme of things. Um, yeah, hundred percent. We can, we can get you an address for that and go from there. Um, uh, you're still emotionally attached to the rotten barrel. Dude, I rev, I, 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 I feel you on that one. I, I, dude, Popo's Advar Bizarre Adventures is just too good to turn up. Uh, to, to pass up, um, we were we were down to the rotten barrel, and the rotten barrel works on multiple levels. But the meme potential, the graphic potential, the the graphic pack, and the like, the the production potential of Popo's Advar Bizarre Adventures, plus the applicability to marketability to like millennials and Gen Zers, is just infinite at that point. We couldn't we couldn't turn I I couldn't if it's several we couldn't turn it up we could we couldn't turn it away. Uh, it's a good fucking name. But yeah, we were going to go with the Rotten Barrel prior to that. Um, I, uh, fucking, I don't, I don't, Karina, I don't care. Like, look, that that's, if we, if we concern ourselves with the, 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 that small minority. Oh, I think fucking, dude, I think they just won. I think they just won. A Ramsey's been a Ramsey's been keeping me up to date on the the Dutch elections, and it looks like he may have been elected. He, there's there's a non-zero chance that a Ramsey is going to be like a politician for the Greens, I think. Um, and the Greens the Greens now have the largest uh, percentage of uh, they are the largest party in the Netherlands right now. They gained up uh, they gained even more seats. Um, from where they once were and they, they were already a record setting group of uh, four years ago. Um, and they've gained even more seats now and a Ramsey's running 
as as one of the Green Party members, um, and he's just he's keeping me up to date behind the scenes, and he just sent me a photo, and I'm pretty sure um, that's a Ramsey, by the way. If you you guys don't know who he is, he's a uh, Dutch streamer and anarchist, and you know just all around cool dude. Um, but it looks like um, it looks like there's some happiness going on over there right now. Um, so it looks like they may um, they may be doing some shit. <laughs> they may be doing some shit. Um, all right. That yes, beast. That's that's what we're talking about. Like we can the the popos thing is definitely like infinitely memeable. It's infinitely memeable. Um. So did the person who wanted a uh, non uh, 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 a a a, uh, wanted to give money through a non-capitalist methodology as an absolutist just like completely leave when I gave them an opportunity to give money through a non-capitalist methodology just curious um, and thank you guillotine uh, yeah Karina it's not about you that's 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 the first thing you need to learn about marketing Karina uh, well then your absolutism is, uh, is failing you completely. You're an absolutist about nothing. Sorry to critique your position, but your position is untenable at best, um, and is a non-functioning position to hold. It's, it's probably time that you learn a touch of pragmatic compromise. Um, <clears throat> so. All right, back to Popo's Bizarre Adventures. Let's keep doing the fucking headlines because I got a million of them because it is, as I said, the never-ending font of content. Um, so, uh, um, oh God, I don't even know where the fuck is. Is that Jersey based on, the, it's New Jersey. I was just based off the fucking name. Uh, uh, um, so two police officers in New Jersey have filed lawsuits against their chief of police, uh, alleging literally a years long pattern of discrimination and abuse over gender, sexual orientation and ethnicity. The guy's name is Thomas Mosier. Um, here, let me get you a picture of him because he definitely doesn't look exactly like the uh, sort of dude who would be doing this. Um, basically, uh, police Lieutenant Constance Cray, who is gay, claims Mosier subjected her to, quote, a pattern of mistreatment that has caused stress and embarrassment as a female homosexual supervisor and part of the LGBTQ community. In a separate suit filed by Officer Alan Barbu, who was born in Romania, claims Mosier has mocked his accent, told other officers to stay away from him, and created a trumped-up paper trail to terminate his employment. Both suits, um, uh, uh, both suits document a, a, a history and a pattern of abuse by uh, by Chief Police uh, uh, Chief of Police Mosier. Uh, who would have guessed a Chief of Police in New Jersey is a racist homophobe? I'm shocked. I'm 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 ever so shocked. A white, bald, thumb looking. Skinheaded KKK looking motherfucking po chief of police in New Jersey is a racist homophobe. Really? Wow. Also, did you guys know that the ocean is wet? <sighs> Sorry, nonsense. Y'all, you like you, you, you need to you need to get with your people, nonsense. You need to get with your people. Looks like Bezos' rocket. I know, right? Fucking. <laughs> uh, I knew a cop that looked like, well, ex-cop, ex-neo-Nazi. He's the one that taught me about ghost skins. Oh, Jesus. Ghost skins. Um, oh, water is wet. Mm, I know, right? Fucking crazy. A racist Jersey cop. I haven't heard of such a thing since... I don't know, about three minutes ago. Oh God! What? Why is Pete Davidson a thing? Why is Pete Davidson even a thing? Yeah. Um. Oh, Nancy Pelosi's long over the hill, dude. She don't even like, don't even fret. Nancy Pelosi barely knows where she is half the time. 
Um, so anyway, fucking, um, so back to Popo's bizarre adventures. Um, what this one's actually bizarre. Um, back on, back on the fucking, tr uh, <laughs> um, back on the fucking train tracks of what the fuck. Um, so a black schoolgirl was strip searched by uh, police, uh, by the Metropolitan Police Force. For those of you who know the Met, uh, I've done a fair amount. The origins of and problems with uh, uh, policing um, segment know the history of the Met to a certain extent. The Met is the daddy of all Metropolitan Police Forces in this world. If you want to know why your shit is as fucked up as it is, look to the Met. The Metropolitan Police Force of London is the originating point of a lot of this shit. So, a black schoolgirl was strip searched by police while on her period for being wrongly suspected of carrying cannabis. The quote unquote traumatic search by Metropolitan Police officers took place at the girls' school without another adult present and in the knowledge that she was actively menstruating. The strip search should never have happened, of course. Um, but according to the report surrounding the strip search, racism was likely an influencing factor in their decision to strip search her. According to the report, uh, the impact on the secondary school pu pupil referred to as child Q because Britain actually protects kids fucking, you know, privacy was, quote, profound and repercussions obvious and ongoing because functionally what they did was rape her. They raped her. They raped her. This is this is rape. Right. Like as long as you don't ascribe to a uh, genital penetration sort of situation with your de your definitional set for rape, as long as you're not like the penis goes in the vagina equals rape. Right. As long as you're not one of those morons, then this is I mean, this is classic sexual assault. Right. Let's just take the term rape away from here. This is classic sexual assault. These these the Metropolitan Police Officers racially profiled a fucking schoolgirl who was on her period and then sexually assaulted her. Um, so yes, they were being, they were called to the school by the teachers who said, quote, they were concerned that the, uh, that the student had drugs in her possession because she smelt of cannabis. She was taken to the medical room, strip searched by two female officers while teachers remained outside. <clears throat> Notice I, at no time did I mention that her parents or guardian was informed of what was going on. No legal counsel was obtained. No rights re read to. They literally hauled this girl out of fucking class, took her to a fucking side room and forcibly stripped her and searched her. This is sexual assault. That's what this is. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Um, quote, according to the, the, the final, uh, the third party report, the local child safeguarding practice review that was conducted, quote, adultification bias due to race was a likely factor where adults perceived black children as being older than they are because they, seem, they see them as more streetwise and goes on further to say the disproportionate decision to strip search child Q is unlikely to have been disconnected from her ethnicity and her background as a child growing up on an estate in Hackney. So she's a poor black kid in the fucking projects. So the cops thought they could get away with sexually assaulting her. That's what it boils down to. Um, the girl gave a written account and in the written statement that was submitted for the review, she said, quote, she can no longer go a single day without wanting to scream, shout, cry, or just give up. All the people that allowed this to happen need to be held responsible. I was held responsible for a smell, but I'm only a child. I need space and time to understand what has happened to me and exactly how I feel about it and getting past this exam season. She's still concerned about passing her exams because at heart, she's still a kid. They've like, we've beaten it into the kids' heads that like, you got to pass exams, right? Like she was raped 
And one of her primary concerns is, am I going to be able to pass exams? This is the number this system did on this poor child, right? The, from the school system to the socio-political economic uh, 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 pressures that are being applied to all citizens throughout society to the actual very real rape at the hands of the Metropolitan Police Department of London of her. Um, yeah, I know, right? Public, right? Um probably a lot dig probably a lot um she did add quote i need to know that people who have done this to me can't do it ever uh, to anyone else ever again in fact so that no one else can do this to another child in their care unfortunately she's not going to get that healing moment there's there's no way that that's going to be a um <clears throat> a thing. Uh, in a joint statement, um, Councillor Antoinette Bramble, Deputy Mayor and Cabinet Member for Hackney Council's, uh, Council's Child Services, and the Mayor of Hackney, Philip Glanville, said, quote, they were appalled by aspects of the review and Child Q was subjected to humiliating, traumatizing, and utterly shocking treatment by police officers, actions that were wholly disproportionate to the alleged incident to which they had been called. This then exacerbated by the fact that the strip search was carried out at a school, the place where the child had an expectation of safety, security, and, st uh, and care, but instead she was let down by those who were meant to protect her. Um, so... What has occurred as a result of this? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. The teacher has not been reprimanded. The officers are nothing, uh, have had no reprimands. They have had no formal complaints put in their file. They have not been brought up for review. They have not been fired. There have been no overarching changes. There have been no policy changes. There have been absolutely nothing. Um, nothing. All that has happened is a child was raped by cops while the teachers stood outside having ordered the rape by the cops or asked, having asked for the rape by the cops. And now a child is left with a lifetime of PTSD to deal with. And the dawning realization that society doesn't give two shits about her because she's one, a girl, two, a poor person, and three, black. So, yeah, she's got some hard lessons um, that she's going to be uh, taking on board um, as she moves forward. Um, <clears throat> if you want the truly infuriating part, here you go. I know you're like, but Kai, how could that possibly be? How is there something more infuriating than the child on her period being raped by cops because the teachers asked for it. Well, you haven't let me read the detective superintendent of the Met Central East Command Division uh, statement yet. Um, detective Superintendent Dan Rut uh, Rutland of the Met's Central East Command said, quote, we recognize that the findings of the safeguarding review reflect that this incident should never have happened. It is a truly reg it is truly regrettable, and on behalf of the Met Police, I would like to apologize to the child concerned, her family, and the wider community. That's it. There's no review. There's no firing. There's no policy changes. There's no investigatory panel that has been convened there's no nothing it's just yeah yeah that sucks sorry we good <laughs> yeah <laughs> Deirdre <laughs> okay fair enough Deirdre um Thanks for the follow, Kensai. Uh, yep. Uh, you know, fucking preach. Preach. Um, then there's the, um, then there's the, the dude out of Colorado, um, who, I mean, this is just stupid. This is just fucking stupid. Um, this dude's deaf. He was arrested for not complying with police commands because he couldn't fucking understand them. 
okay? Deaf dude gets fucking commanded by the police. It's like, you know, fuck, get on the ground, get on the ground, all right? They absolutely worked him over. They did the typical cop thing. They kicked the shit out of him, right? He ends up in the hospital as a result of it. After they learned he was deaf, they still charged him with resisting arrest and assaulting a police officer. Because remember, if a, if a cop punches you in the face and hurts his hand, that's assaulting a police officer. You know that, right? I'm not joking around. That's not a fucking meme. That's not a joke. If, you, if a cop punches you in the fucking face and he hurts his fucking hand, that's on you. You're getting charged with assaulting a police officer. You understand that, right? Like, that's a very real fucking thing. Deaf dude doesn't understand the commands that the cops are given to him, so the cops go all cop on him, and they fucking assault the shit out of this dude, put him in the hospital, and then find out he's deaf, and they still charge him with resisting arrest and assaulting a police officer, and threw his ass in jail for four fucking months without an interpreter to communicate to any of the staff. They essentially took a prisoner and cut out his fucking tongue so he couldn't talk. That's, that's functionally what occurred there, is that the Colorado Police Department fucking straight up got caught doing some shit by somebody, and they chopped the fucking dude's tongue out and threw him in the fucking clink. Nah, nah, that's fucking totally normal behavior. That's totally normal behavior. Um, yes. Yes, it is, Dig. It is. Um, and are the ACLU crawling up their ass now? Not yet. Not to the extent that I would like them to be. Let's just put it that way. Dude, I, I wish the ACLU was up everybody's ass. Dude, the ACLU just needs to be up every single police officer's ass. I want, you know what? I want as many, there's like in, on average, there's like what, 800, 900,000 police officers, federal, state, local, fucking park, that sort of thing in this country. I want a million ACLU lawyers. That way for every single fucking cop in this land, there's at least one ACLU lawyer to just be on their ass 24 fucking seven. That's, that's what I'm after. That would be brilliant. Um, yes, Kenzai, that is true. You could be arrested with a single charge of a resisting arrest. Yeah, that's 100%. Um, fucking. And let's, I think, I think we shall wrap this up um, with the, um, with the Palmdale Sheriff's, uh, the, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department um, in Palmdale, California. Um, well, uh, I mean, so they were following up on a domestic violence call that they had received earlier in the day. Now the call was valid. That's fair. That's fair. The, the, you know, all right, you got a domestic violence call. Somebody's in trouble. This is your function, right? I don't believe that as an anarchist. I think personally, you're just nothing more than the jackbooted thugs who maintain the status quo for an oligarchical elite that actually rule our society on a global level. But that's neither here nor there. Um, they got a valid uh, domestic violence call um, earlier in the day. So they arrive on the scene. Deputies say that they then tried to contact a random Hispanic male. You see the problem already? A random Hispanic male who is in the driver's seat of a vehicle. Deputies at no point clarify for investigative purposes why they had honed in on this man. I'm sure it had nothing to do with, look, a Mexican. But they honed in on this man. Um, Kenzai, um, Exclamation sub will get you the link on coffee, please. And thank you. You can do single donations or you can do a recurring monthly subscription, just like on Twitch. More money comes to me as a creator and less money goes to Jeff Bezos as a piece of shit. So 
you know, and also the uh, anti-LGBTQ mod staff that Twitch employs has a little less money in their coffers. Um, so please and thank you if you so choose. Um, so deputies, again, didn't, didn't clarify as to why they honed in on this particular individual. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the fact that he was a Hispanic male. Um, anyway, <clears throat> So they profiled a Mexican dude sitting in a fucking car in the general vicinity of a domestic violence call that they had received. Um, and so they assumed he was the individual responsible for the alleged domestic violence. And keep in mind, they received a domestic violence call. They have no evidence of an actual domestic violence incident in progress. So all of this is an alleged incident at this point. So this man who has is not at the residence that they were called to is in the general vicinity. They have not verified any actual domestic violence call that has occurred yet. They just see Mexican dudes sitting in a car and they're like, get him. Right? So they fucking assume he's the individual responsible for the alleged domestic violence call. And well, he tried to leave. He tried to leave because he should not have been legally detained in any capacity at that point. And so he tried to leave. The deputies, on the other hand, had other ideas about this situation. Um, he attempted to exit in the vehicle, but according to the department, the vehicle the man was driving then hit two patrol cars. Again, this is according to the department. We don't actually have any evidence of this. But it was at that moment that the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department decided to shoot and kill the man. We still don't know how many officers fired. We still don't know how many rounds they fired. But we was killed uh, and the department did clarify that the victim of the deputy shooting, quote, had nothing to do with the alleged domestic violence call. Quote, it was deter later determined the suspect was not involved in the early domestic violence call. Deputies claimed to have rendered aid until the sh fire department arrived and took over. But when the fire department arrived, they declared him dead at the scene. So, yeah. <sighs> Hey, sapphic vibes. Well, we are just wrapping up the end of Popo's Bizarre Adventures. So, um, like, it, it's, it, it, I'm sure it can only get happier from here. Kai is not notorious for co covering just some of the most depressing stories whatsoever in society. Um, but that is sort of the, the wrap up. Hey, thank you. I think that was probably coming in from, um, uh, from Kensai, but either way, I like to anonymize the donations just so nobody's personal information pops up. <clears throat> oh, you want the doom? Let's do the doom. Why not? Gur is great. Invader Zim is great. Gur is great. Um... Karina's interpretation. Two cop cars pull up on an area, see a brown person in a van leaving. Cop car intercepts, denting trunk. Van puts in reverse the moment he backs up. Shots put in person of color male. Yeah, pretty much. Um, oh, man. That's, uh, you know, I, we we decided that it, we should be, start doing rec uh, recurring police malfeasance segment seeing as i cover it so regularly anyway and i've written on it for those of you who have aren't aware of the origins of and problems with modern policing um you go to my website kaisthings.com k-a-i-s things.com so you can get essays photography whatever streams fucking all of my stuff goes up on um kaisthings.com um and you can get the origins of and problems with modern policing essay there um where i elaborate upon the origins of this issue and how there's an unbroken thread that exists between the beginning and now and that we've never reformed, we've never changed, we've never improved, that it is very much the exact same system that we implemented back in the day, a couple hundred years ago now. 
So, uh, yes, and also the almighty quiz uh, for those who want to take it. Um, anyway, um, so moving on to a happier topic, the UN says that dozens of children have been killed in Yemen or maimed in the last two months alone. Uh, more than 10,000 children have been killed or wounded since the beginning of the Yemeni civil war erupted, but most speculate the number is higher. But again, it's Yemen, they're brown kids, so Western media tends not to pay too much attention to that. Plus, also the Saudis are involved in that. And again, the Saudis are our partners in peace, so we definitely don't want to criticize them. <laughs> um so does anybody remember Matt Shea? Represent former Washington State Representative Matt Shea. This motherfucker wrote the like wrote a document, like drafted a document on a domestic insurgency slash civil war from the position of a violent Christian extremist um, and published it. This is a former, this guy was a sitting representative when he, when that document was released. Um, and it talks about how, you know, degenerates like myself, you know, a, a gay man um, and a leftist these sorts of things, very much Turner Diaries, very much Turner Diaries. For those of you that speak the, the speak extremist, very much Turner Diaries. Um, Matt Shea drafted basically a, you know, a declaration of independence style document, but for Christian extremists, uh, white Christian extremists looking to create a uh, racial ethnic paradise in America following a civil war. Um, it was interesting. It had, it had, um, points of, you know, what should be done as far as expropriating goods from infidels such as myself and basically all of my audience, but all of you right now basically would be executed summarily if you didn't, uh, submit to the life lifestyle changes that would be required by Shay's perceived like organization, right? So this crazy motherfucker is now, keep in mind, he's an accused domestic terrorist, okay? He's now potentially trafficking ch Ukrainian children. He's been caught in a small Polish town with more than 60 Ukrainian kids trying to facilitate adoptions in America. 62 is the exact number. It's more than 60, right? It's 62. They're claiming that they rescued the kids from an orphanage in Maripol, but international agencies are on the record saying that given the chaos and confusion of war and Shay's presence and the lack of information surrounding the group he says he's representing, um, that they have some valid concerns and the representatives on the ground who have attempted to interview his himself and the representatives of the organization that he represents quote, I asked him many times, what are you going to do with these children? And he told me, quote, it's not my business. In aid to the mayor of the town said of Shay, I got the feeling in my gut that something's wrong with this guy. He didn't even want to tell me his last name. So... Do they have a gender ratio? You know what? No, I don't. I have no data on the genders of the children, to be perfectly honest. 
Um, so Matt Shea um, is probably tra into trafficking children now. Allegedly. Allegedly. It's covered my ass legally, right? Allegedly. Matt Shea, who is an advocate for a race war in America so he can create a purified ethnic state in which they can violently cleanse America of the queers, of the sodomites, of the lesbians, of, of the fucking transgenders, of the atheists, right? Like that dude who has drafted and published a document with the specifics of how they should go about engaging in that ethnic in that ethnic and like in that genocide um is now in Poland attempting to traffic Ukrainian children only through some digging did they find out who he actually was. Because as I stated, dude, this motherfucker was sketchy as shit. He didn't want to tell him who he was. He didn't want to tell him who he represented. He didn't want to tell him the name of the organization. This motherfucker was just trying to grab up a whole bunch of Ukrainian kids and export them to America via Poland. This is some sketchy ass shit. This is human trafficking 101 territory, right? So the group, okay, so the group is supposedly called Loving Families. Yeah, Zippy got it. Zippy got it. Way Ukrainian, right? The, the group is called Loving Families and Homes for Orphans. Um... They have a non-functioning website. The group is supposedly based in Fort Worth. It's registered with the Texas Secretary of State in 2018, but no such group is registered as an adoption agency with the Texas Department of Health and Human Services. The group is also not registered with the Intercountry uh, inter Adoption Associ uh, Accreditation and Maintenance Entity that oversees American agencies evol uh, involved in international adoptions. So the same, a, a, a group going by the same name. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah uh, 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 fucking Kensai. Um, all, um, all sexual activity, not explicitly for the purposes of uh, procreation is technically sodomy. And you can uh, find that out by going to the Allen Park Inn in, uh, in Tennessee. And it's posted on plaques above your headboard. I'm not kidding you. Anyway, I've been there. Um, so a, a group going by the same name of loving families and homes for orphans, by the way, we remember how Republicans and conservatives, especially in America, like to use Orwellian doublespeak and newspeak and that sort of thing. The fact that like loving families and homes for orphans is a little too on the nose and it's like, yeah, makes me wonder sort of situation. A group by the same name was registered in Florida just one month ago. It's lists its stated purpose as to provide loving and caring homes and families for the orphans from other countries for a short time period. The group was registered by an arena and SIPCO of Palm Coast, Florida, but SIPCO has not been available for comment. Nobody can track down SIPCO or get a comment out of this person that may or may not exist. The mayor of the town in Poland said in a post on Facebook that he'd visited the children. They are safe. They're well cared for. And the case is being actively investigated on the Polish side and clarified by the relevant authorities. They will not be allowed to leave without the consent of Polish authorities at this time. So Shay is not going to get his grubby little creepy hands on these children. Thankfully it has been found out, but the mayor in a email stated, I do not know what Matt Shea and his friends are doing around, uh, doing here around children. His, uh, he and his friends have given us some contradictory information. And for that reason, we find it difficult to trust them. We are in direct contact with the governments of Ukraine and the United States, supported by the highest levels of politicians, international and local church leaders, as well as dozens of companies from Ukraine, the USA and Poland. 
So the State Department, the U.S. State Department, by the way, has gotten involved on this involved in this one, but they aren't directly responding to requests. Um, a spokesperson warned only accredited adoption service providers are authorized to facilitate intercountry adoptions of children in the United States, which is basically the U.S. State Department's way of saying Matt Shea does not represent an organization that is accredited to do any of this and is attempting to illegally human traffic children out of a war zone. Oh, oh, Saf, Saf, you are about to go down a rabbit hole. If you start going down the Matt Shea rabbit hole, it's insane. It's insane. Uh, Saf, it would also help if you've read the Turner Diaries. If you haven't read the Turner Diaries, probably go read the Turner Diaries. Good luck. It's a terrible book, but it's insane. Then go read about Matt Shea. Because sincerely, like, that that's Turner Diary territory. Uh, Matt Shea shouldn't be allowed around any children unsupervised. I 100% agree. Um, <clears throat> let's see if I can find... Um, hold on. Let me find his his thing is this it give me a second oh no 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 I want hold on give me one second I'll put it on screen um or if anybody else can find it faster than me fucking let me know um you know what I'm after? Uh, the the document describing the the theocratic fucking plans, the his holy army shit. Um, Uh, the uh, supposedly the name of the organization is I want to get it right there we go that's uh, loving homes and families for orphans is supposedly the organization um, that he's representing while he's attempting to human traffic children from a war zone. There we go. There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, all right. Let's, let me, let me show you exactly how insane Matt Shea is. All right. Let's, let's, let's do some shit here. Uh, let's go through this document. <clears throat> Okay, keep in mind, this is former uh, Washington State Representative Matt Shea. He drafted this document. Uh, let's see what we got. This is a quote from the Wikipedia page. In May 2020, Shea was fined uh, 4700 bucks for damaging historic masonry by attempting uh, intentionally leaving a trail of slick olive oil on the steps of the Capitol. According to the Department of Enterprises Service Report, the oil stand was about 100 feet long. Yeah, he's weird. He stated he needed to clean the ground of the satanic ritual. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Y'all ready? Because this is gonna this is about to get weird. This is like three and a half pages. It's like three and a half pages, large font. This will not take too long to get through, but this will tell you exactly the type of individual that we are talking about and dealing with. Biblical basis for war. One, God is a warrior. Two, when is the time for war? When God says it's time. Prayer council. Three, fight to win so you don't have to fight again. Four. Four things to stay within God's will. Holy cause, holy leader, holy army, and holy camp. Five, four ways to know it's a time to fight. A, God reveals his will to the leader. I love, uh, fucking B, leader inquires of God. Prayer council. C, God puts it in on the hearts of the people. So you just magically start thinking that you're, remember, this was a duly elected representative. God puts it in the hearts of the people. Yeah, you just, you, I know because God put it on my heart. Or th D, God starts the fight. I don't know what that works. Things for a holy war. A, sacrifice, worship, and prayer. B, circumcision slash saved. 
You got to chop off the tips of the bo the boy dicks. You got to chop off the tick dick uh, the tips of the baby boy dicks or else they will not be saved. C, vow consecration to the Lord. D, trumpets and ark. Oh yeah, folks, this is going to get weird. For those of you who are like, oh, okay, Kai's fucking, you know, he's, he's just an entertainer and he's a streamer and he's fucking like blah, 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 blah. No, this is going to get weird, y'all. This, this shit's fucking insane. E, atonement slash money. You gotta give, you gotta give, you gotta give. It's fucking, you gotta get the grift in there, right? We're capitalist after all. We're Christian capitalist. Got to, gotta get the fucking money. F, praise to God before, during, and after. Five facts of war. War is a fact of life. God is with us and the battle is his. Numbers are inconsequential. You understand what that means, right? Numbers are inconsequential. You understand what that means, right? Like that's the in the the implication of that is kind of terrifying. Armaments are inconsequential. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We will throw bodies upon the wall if necessary. E Isaiah 57 1. Why righteous men are killed. All right. Four of qualifications of a warrior. This is recruitment. This is recruitment. Four qualifications of a warrior. 18 years or older, older. B, able-bodied man. C, single-minded in battle. You know what that means too, right? Kill, 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 kill. That's all I'm here for. D, a stable home. You know what a uh, stable home means, right? Okay, so broken house, divorce, black family, person of color, gay family. Doesn't matter. It has to be a cisgendered, heteronormative, intact marriage family. And then you are a, a qualified warrior in his eyes. Um, nine, five exemptions from service. A, training family, a new home, right? You just started up a home. You have a newborn child and a, a young wife. You should not go off to war. B, newlyweds, a new wife, right? You are just starting your family. You're not even there yet. That man needs to breed for the good of the cause. He needs to do that. C, farmer we need the crops right a, an army marches on its stomach we need farmers d scared fear means a lack of faith a fear means a lack of faith that means you don't have jesus in your heart if you're afraid of dying a horrible horrible death right or e priests a duty to ministry in the temple oh, god has called me in a different way Tolstoy's head would explode from rage if he saw this. <laughs> uh, yes, and keep in mind, this is a document drafted by a, he was a sitting Washington state representative, okay? This motherfucker was a sitting state representative and this document was found. Get ready. You thought it was bad. It's going to go from bad to worse. 10, rules of war. Conduct a census of all able-bodied males 18 to 45. Identify exemptions, see above, and appoint captains of tens, fifties, hundreds, and thousands. Thousands. Oh, 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 there's more pages, narrator. There's more pages. This is going to get so much worse. So much worse. B, avoid bloodshed if possible. They don't plan on that. C, make an officer of uh, off, make an offer of peace. Okay, make an offer of peace before declaring war. But wait, but wait. You're like, here's the offer of peace from them, right? They don't want war. I don't want to hurt you. You just have to accept our offer of peace. Well, what does that negotiation include? Not a negotiation or compromise of righteousness. Must surrender on terms of righteous, justice and righteousness. You must stop all abortions, no same-sex marriage, no idolatry or occultism, no communism, and must obey biblical law, straight up Sharia law, right? Theocratic regime. If you accept these terms and conditions of surrender, then we shall not declare war on you. This is our offer of peace. If they, if they yield, they must then perish, pay a share of work or taxes. If they do not yield, kill all males. You know the implication there, right? What are they doing with the non-males? Yeah. 
Oh, narrator, that doesn't count. War is, n war is not waged against nations, but against man. Okay? So they're not they're not going to go scorched earth or Sherman's march to the sea. <laughs> Thanks for the volley either way. You're good for my metrics. Um, cut down only on non-food trees necessary for supply. Safeguard production over politics or retribution. Okay? F. Do not attack or kill productive citizens. They are your base of support after the enemy is defeated. Talk about a fucking utilitarian ethno-nationalist. Creepy as shit. Here you go. Law of booty. One half goes to those who fought. One half goes to those who didn't. Divide evenly to the individual. Each gives tribute to the Lord. You tithe to the church and ministry. None to government. Removes temptation to fight. May use your part to give to those who helped. Commanders receive the same portion. If, if a greater portion, they would have an incentive to fight. So there's, there's the breakdown. When they absolutely genocide a region, this is his plan, this is Matt Shea's plan, when they absolutely genocide a region, they will loot that region. Half goes to those who fought, half goes, back, uh, goes to those back at home. This is the craziest fucking document, I told you that. All right, organizational structure for war. Captains of 5, 10, 50, 100, and 1,000. Five, t a team leader is a corporal. 10, that's a squad leader, a sergeant. 50 is a platoon leader, and that's a lieutenant or a sergeant first class. He's setting up militarized structure for this ethno-nationalist uh, ethno theocratic civil war, right? Fucking 100, company commander, captain slash first sergeant, and 1,000 is a battalion commander, a colonel or a sergeant major. With a small standing army, Quick reaction and shell leadership. It looks like he's planning on some uh, some insurgency action. C, only muster in time of war. So no standing armies. 12, I warned you this was going to get crazy. I warned you. And for those that are just walking in wondering where this document came from, this was drafted by, a, a, at the time, a sitting Washington state representative by the name of Matt Shea, who has just been caught attempting to human traffic children out of a war zone. Um, using non-accredited organizations that nobody can track and nobody has any idea of. And he didn't want to give his name to any of the people involved. He attempted to do this as the sketchiest ways possible, right? This motherfucker is creepy. Um, Saf, no worry. Oh, enjoy your date with a girlfriend tomorrow. Um, <laughs> um, stop, uh, stop, uh, um, tomorrow is a late show. So, you know, maybe I'll see you on Friday. Uh, enjoy your date with your girlfriend, though. Um, biblical, uh, biblically dealing with tyranny. Hey, tyranny is never a divinely appointed means of government. A tyrant is someone who rules without God. Okay? People, 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 people. A tyrant is someone who rules without God. Okay? Tyranny is never a divinely appointed means of government, and then we'll go below it. Tyranny is not a lawful form of government. So what is tyranny? Tyranny is somebody who isn't a theocrat. All forms of governance that aren't theocratic in his eyes are, tyra uh, are tyrannical. But if they're theocratic, if they have a biblical basis, they are by definition non-tyrannical. This is Matt Shea's definitional set that he was working off of. Okay? Quote, godless civil rulers are no more than bands of robbers. St. Augustine. Um, oh, Rev. With a, with a Christian ethno-nationalist who wants to have a civil war and is busy uh, tra human trafficking children out of a war zone? Circular reasoning? When the rule of law dies as sin prevails throughout the land, tyranny is not far behind. Okay? When the rule of law dies as sin prevails throughout the land, tyranny is not far behind. He sees a lack of following biblical tenets as the death of rule of law. A secular society for him is the very definition of a death of sin, a death of the rule of law. What's up, Ancom? Dude, we're in deep at this point. Um, <laughs> yeah, Kenzai, another fallen Mormon. I love you guys. Fallen Mormons are hilarious. 
Y'all are some of the funniest fuckers. Back in the day when I used to party, dude, fallen Mormons or Jack, uh, Jack Mormons or whatever you prefer to call yourselves. Um, dude, y'all fucking partied hard. Uh, y'all got down. Um, book of judges minus sin equals tyranny, right? Um, so let me catch you up. Uh, okay. So Ancom. Matt Shea, do you remember this crazy motherfucker? He's the Washington State Representative who this doc who drafted this document. This is a document outlining how to organize an ethno-nationalist theocratic uh, insurgency slash civil war and conduct the genocides and lootings thereof. Right? He was a sitting Washington State Representative when this document was found. Right? He has just been caught attempting to human traffic sixty two children from Poland that <clears throat> are Ukrainian refugees. He wouldn't give his name. He works for an organization that isn't accredited and nobody can find the fucking representatives for. It's the sketchiest, sketchiest shit possible. So, yeah. So we're going over the document for those that weren't familiar with Matt Shea to start with. Um, okay, well then, Tech Voodoo, you are a horrible person, and I really don't want you here, frankly. I'm not going to kick you or anything, but I really don't like people who are in favor of genocide, who are in favor of raping and pillaging a land, who are in favor of theocratic states, who are in favor of authoritarian regimes. Really, you can go fuck yourself for, for all I'm concerned, um, but, you know, you're welcome to your shit opinion. Um, anyway... Oh, uh, excuse me. Um, where is? Oh, why am I looking up? Yeah, you know what? There we go. Um, okay. Why do you think you kill all the males? Homie, seriously. Why... Why do you think you kill all the males as an invading force or an insurgency force? Why do you think you kill all the males and explicitly leave all of the females? What do you think is going to be going on there? Are you that dumb? No, that's going to be rape. That's going to be rape. That's a hundred percent going to be rape. Dude, this is, this is classic warfare. This is historical and contemporary both. We've seen this time and again throughout human history. If you're that naive or that fuck ill-informed as to what that as a military tactic is implying, then homie, go fuck yourself again. Like, this, it's really clear why you do that. It's the same reason that when Oregon constitutionally banned black men from their state, but they allowed a, a, a year-long grace period for the black women to stay, yeah, there's a whole lot of fucking rape that went down. It's a whole lot of fucking rape. So you can go fuck yourself. I'm done talking to losers that uh, that uh, that enjoy rape, murder, and genocide. You can just fuck right off. Nobody gives a shit about you. Nobody likes you. Go fuck yourself. Um, I hope one day you pull your head out of your ass and you stop being a horrible, horrible human being. Um, anyway, so where are we? Anyway, biblically dealing with tyranny. Um. Uh, Book of Judges minus sin equals tyranny. Deuteronomy. Oh, you know what? We should we should be uh, we should be popping these just so we can get the biblical reference, right? Let's let's do the biblical references. Let's do it while we're doing it, right? It's just mm, no, no, no. Yeah, we use Bible Gateway. We use Bible Gateway. All right. Yeah, that works. All right. So Deuteronomy 28 on oh, one ble uh, minus blessings for uh, uh, blessings for obedience. All right. So what is Deuteronomy 28 one? If you fully obey the Lord, your God, and carefully follow all his commands I give you today, the Lord, your God, will set you high above all the nations on earth. This is a literal empirical commandment for uh, for the uh, for this document Deuteronomy 28 1 is saying if we do this with theocratic approval if we do this with biblical approval 
then we, by the very righteous nature of the Bible itself, will be granted the highest status of nations on earth. Therefore, any action we take is righteous and just therein. This is a justification for greater militarized action on a global scale. That's what Deuteronomy 28.1 is. Fucking, and let's do curses for disobedience. Fucking Deuteronomy 28.15. Fucking, however, if you do not obey the Lord your God and do not carefully follow all his commands and decrees I am giving you today, all these curses come on you and overtake you. Meaning, if you aren't living up to the theocratic biblical tenets that we have set forth and expect you to, then all of this is on you. You did this to yourself. The genocide, the rape, the murder, the theft, the looting, all of this is on you. It's a great document. It's just absolutely wonderful. Fucking, all right, let's... I'm sure, I'm sure this is definitely... Judges 3. These are the nations the Lord left to test all those Israelites who had not experienced any of the wars in Canaan. He did this only to teach warfare to the descendants of the Israelites who had not had previous battle experience. The five rulers of the Philistines, all of the Canaanites, the Sidonians, the Hiv uh, Hivites, oh, I can never do the Hivites, Hivite, Hivites. Um, living in the Lebanon mountains from Mount Baal Hermon to Lebo Hamath. They were all left to test the Israelites to see whether they would obey the Lord's commands, which he had given their ancestors through Moses. Oh, also, the Israelites lived among the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Pezzarites, Hivites, and Jebusites. They took their daughters in marriage and gave their own daughters to their sons and served their gods. They took their daughters in marriage and gave their own daughters to their sons and served their gods. Oh, yeah, there's never, that's not a creepy implication going on after you murder all the males. No, nothing, nothing creepy going on there whatsoever. There is no such thing as rebelling against tyranny. Keep in mind, what is his definitional set of tyranny? Tyranny is any form of government that does not rule without God. Hey, right. where's my, there's my cursor. Is that, oh, the, um, Fucking uh, yeah, numbers thirty one eighteen is the the virgin clause, right? Save every uh, save every girl that uh, save every girl that has never slept with a man or something like that. Yeah. Um, kill all men, boys, and non virgin females. All the virgin little girls keep for sex slaves. Phrase is slightly more honest and direct way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number numbers thirty one uh th thirty one eighteen is is the you know, save the virgin girls, kill everyone else clause. Yeah, it's creepy as fuck. This motherfucker wrote this document, by the way. Again, Washington State Representative, former, thankfully, Representative Matt Shea. But, I mean, I suppose it probably would have been better to keep this dumb motherfucker in the in the state representative so that he wasn't over in Poland trying to human traffic children. Um, anyway. So, remember, there's no such thing as rebelling against tyranny. So, yeah. And his definitional set of tyranny is kind of specific. And so, Deuteronomy 4.34, God brings his people out of tyranny. Hmm, interesting. So, what is that? Has any God ever tried to take for himself one nation out of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, or by great and awesome deeds, like all the things the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes? Um... You redeemed a timeout on Tech Voodoo, but his bitch ass left. I mean, you know, good. Uh, don't worry about your points. You'll get them back. You'll get them back. Um. Yeah, when I stopped paying attention to him and just fucking dunked on him and walked away, he just bitched off, right? Um. 
God doesn't use majorities. The majority is usually wrong. You notice the, ref the, the renouncement of consensus, right? The renouncement of consensus by the very definition he uses. The fact of the matter is the fact that you outnumber us means we are right. He's using this to justify the fact that they are a vast minority of psychopaths that just want to rape, pillage, and murder. All right. Hebrews 11.32, here is a faith that conquered tyrants. And what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell about Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah. Uh, I can never say uh, Jephthah. Jeff, uh, Jephthah. Jephthah. Ugh, fucking. Uh, about David and Samuel and the prophets. Right? Like he's literally saying I don't have time to talk about the heroes of faith. Options. Thanks, mister. Good call. Use of deception. The use of deception. This is, again, this is a Christian, right? <clears throat> Not generally speaking, only very specifically. Two, avoiding being accomplice to sin. Three, you do not owe the truth to someone who, you, who will abuse it. Do you see the danger in number three? You do not owe the th truth to someone who you who will abuse it. What is his definitional set of abuse? His definitional set of abuse is somebody who would be secularized, somebody who would be counter-indicated to a theocratic regime, somebody who would be a communist, somebody who would be gay. All of these people would abuse the truth. Therefore, you do not owe them the truth. Give them nothing but lies, and that lie is not a sin. It is in service to God. It is righteous. This is a justification for an invalidation of one of the primary Ten Commandments. This, this is dangerous. Two, avoidance. This does not mean cowardice. Conflict with tyranny. Again, remember our definition of tyranny. Conflict with tyranny also has prevented wickedness from harming property, lives, family, when you don't have the strength or resources to overcome. This is one of my favorites. Three, assassination and sabotage. Assassination to remove tyrants is just, not murder. Remember, this is an insurgency document. This is a document advocating for a white nationalist ethno state built on a theocratic regime that has an insurgency and guerrilla tactic methodology to overthrow the United States of uh, United States of America. Right? Like this is. There's, he straight up wrote a document that said, yeah, just kill some fuckers, right? Like, that's that's how that goes. Oh. See if that actually... All right. Two, uh, Second Chronicles 20, chapter 23, verse 12. All right? All right? That comes after... This is assassination and, and sabotage. Okay? When a flyer heard the noise of the people running and cheering the king, she went to them at the temple of the Lord. Okay. Let's do some searching here. Let's let's walk through his process. Who is Diedrich Bonhoeffer? The German Lutheran pastor, theologian, anti-Nazi dissident, and key founding member of the Confessing Church. This motherfucker wanted to kill Hitler. He was accused with a plot to assassinate Hitler. In one stroke, what's up, Ramsey? In one, I showed the photo. In one stroke, um, oh yeah, fucking. In one stroke, what he's done is essentially state that, what's up, Krusty? Uh, in one stroke, what he's essentially done is conflate all standing secularized U.S. politicians with Hitler and then justify violent action upon them. Four, armed resistance and guerrilla war. Considerations before beginning war. Prayer and contemplation. Strength and resources, ability to go full scale on a long-term basis to win, not a temporary action based on emotion, review the declarations of causes and necessity, reasonable hope of winning, God is on your side, if not wait, is God directing, 
people, I'm not gonna go into them. People are tired of tyranny and sin with hearts set on freedom or people accustomed to tyranny and don't know who God is, which would be us. Micah, uh, Mika, um, patriots who want to serve God, not libertine, right? And we're coming into the, we're coming into the home stretch. We're coming into the home stretch. I know it's been long. I know it's been insane, <coughs> but we're coming into the home stretch. 13, warrior priests, A, a living sacrifice. You do know what that means, right? B, intercession through prayer and action. Oh, and then the bullet misses. It's fucking stupid. C, Adam was told to tend and guard, right? Like that's literally a, 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 a biblical tenet. It's a commandment from God. It's a direct command from God that you are to tend and guard, right? Warrior equals guardianship, right? A warrior isn't just someone who defends and fights. A warrior is someone who has control over right? You're, think guardianship, right? Think a shepherd, think a parent, right? It is paternalistic in nature. He is assigning a paternalistic nature to the warrior role for him, uh, for, uh, for his little um, jaunt here. Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake, just do that. There we go. Um, all right, so we got Second Chronicles twenty three, uh, uh, chapter twenty three, verses eight to nine. Armed guards and weapons in the tabernacle. Right, uh, the Levites and all of the men of Ju uh, Judah did just as the Je uh, Jehoiada, uh, the priest, uh, ordered. I sorry, I'm not going to do it correctly. Each one took his men, those who were going on duty on the Sabbath, and those who were going off duty for uh, for the priest had not released any of the divisions. And then I think, um, let's see. Prayer, humility, wisdom, courage, and protection. Fucking, and you know what? Not even going to do the fucking, I'm not even going to pull them. Draw near to God and purge double-mindedness. Double-mindedness for a Christian theocrat of this nature, double-mindedness is doubt. Double-mindedness is somebody who can sit back and say, wait, I have, uh, <laughs> that's an odd way to pr pr uh, pronounce junta, uh, junta, sorry, it's junta. Um, fucking draw, uh, purge double-mindedness. Yeah. Any doubt, purge any doubt, not doing the right thing is a sin. So if you don't remember what we're talking about here, we are talking about a violent overthrow of the United States government and targeted assassinations on part of a white ethno-nationalist theocratic guerrilla army. If you don't do this, you are condemned in the eyes of God. Prepare your horse for battle, but the battle is the Lord's. Freedom is in Jesus Christ. Where the spirit of God is, there is liberty. I know that was a bit of a slog. Thank you for making, uh, making it all the way through it with me. That is the document that was drafted by Matt Shea when he was a, a, state, a state representative in Washington State in the United States, right? This mother, this crazy motherfucker is now over in Poland trying to steal kids. That adds a greater context, right? It, it's, it's not just a former disgraced Republican representative from the state of Washington who may be human trafficking children out of a war zone. It's the dude who wrote that document is in Poland attempting to human traffic children out of a war zone, which is cause for even greater concern. That's, that's cause for so much greater concern. It's insane. Uh, 20 bucks. He's a part. Of, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Beast. He is. He is. He's, he's associated. He's not just a part of, he's associated with multiple, uh, uh multiple, uh, militias in the region. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, he knows like Amon, Amon Bundy and that sort of shit. Like he knows him. Yeah. No, it's, it's not even like, yeah, like you, you'd be, I wouldn't take that bet because I already know like, yeah, your money would be coming in. He's associated with multiple violent militias in the region. Um, 
Christian Dominionist. Uh, I have a three-part series, actually, narrator that I did, uh, and it culminates in Dominionism. Uh, it starts off with How to Piss Off Jesus, which tells the tale of the cleansing of the temple, which is my favorite Bible passage. Hi, my name's Kai. I'm an ordained minister and have been for 20 years now. Um, and um, so uh, I, it tells the tale of the cleansing of the temple, um, and I explain some of the, the nuances of it and some of the context of it and some of the ramifications of it as an interpretable uh, piece of theology. Um, and then it moves on to the, um, the deal with the devil that was made between the uh, Southern Baptists and the Republican Party under the, uh, during the Reagan campaign. And then I move into R.J. Rush Dooney and uh, the Dominionists and how they actually have a much larger hold on this system of governance than you are aware of. Um, I know you just got accredited with 51. Uh, I have to work on the variable set, um, but here. Uh, 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 nope, sorry. Wrong one. I just did a s fucking s uh, snappy. Thanks for that last sub, by the way. Um, here, I will correct that raid before you go. Uh, uh, Namiki Show, thank you for the raid. How did you guys do? We are just covering some crazy fuckers, uh, typical news crazy fuckers, Christian nationalist, ethno nationalist, theocratic, uh, you know, Sharia law wanting motherfuckers. How was your stream? What did you guys talk about? Are you well? Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, they sent to the Ratcher narrative too. Oh, guaranteed, guaranteed. Um, <clears throat> so, yes, doubt is the serpent taking over your mind, Rev. Um, how many kids does he have now? Is he just starting to collect kids or does he have a whole army already? Um, he does not have an army unto himself, Zippy, but what he does have um, is multiple. Uh, he is associated with multiple white nationalist militias of the region. Um, and also some non-white nationalists. He's okay with compromising on the race thing. He will not compromise on the biblical thing. Um, it seems that he's okay if there's like some, you know, some coloreds in, in the group. What there can't be is queers and, you know, degenerates and secularists and that sort of thing. He is an absolute hardliner on the theocratic issue. So... Um, but yeah, he's associated with a whole bunch of fucking right wing militias throughout that uh, throughout the Northwest region. So probably a few, um, but none under his direct control that I'm aware of, but definitely within the sphere of influence. Um, oh, he has a couple of quiverful types and you have uh, an army within 16 years. Yeah. For those of you who don't know the quiverful reference, I think everybody should know the quiverful reference. But if you don't know the quiverful reference, it's a, a quiver. The, the holding uh, the holding container for arrows that an archer draws draws from a full quiver meaning a quiver literally packed full of arrows the arrows are the weapons of God so a quiver full uh, movement is basically Christians they're they're Christians um, who advocate for a heavy breeding cycle basically it is fucking Duggar style right the Duggars are quiver full types um, so there you go for those of you who don't know the quiver full reference. Um, the of the in the flesh sequence from the uh, wall movie. <laughs> oh, Kaiser! Um, glad you enjoy it. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so he's uh, but he's more smarter than most of the Republican Party. African Americans, not African immigrants, and Hispanic Americans are super religious. And they have to be slightly less racist to get them on side. Yes. Yeah, hundred percent, Marcus. Uh, Kat and I have talked about that numerous times over the years, on air, off air. That is a talking point. Leftists in America um, think that people of color are automatically like leftists. That is a misconception within the leftist political sphere in America. What little bit of, of a leftist sphere we have, but progressivist leftists, we tend to associate person of color, marginalized community with automatic uh, uh, with automatic progressive uh, tendencies. When in fact. It's actually the opposite. Um, the greater uh, the greater black community in America and the greater Hispanic com community uh, in America, Latinos, is just as a uh, as a, a monolith, in, uh, not just in America but abroad, are highly socially conservative. Um, and so it is, if you can distance yourself from the, uh, thank you for the follow the center. Uh, if you can, uh, distance yourself from the issue of race, just even slightly, you can garner support from them en masse. Uh, this is, you know, one of those issues that I've talked about, you know, um, vis-a-vis -vis my, um, f previous partner, 
of many years who, you know, the, the Dr. Welsing fucking, uh, uh, fucking bullshit of, uh, primary and secondary effemacy and how like his, um, you know, as a gay black man coming from the inner city, uh, Indianapolis, um, he was cast out by his family. He was told to his face by his family that he was lesser than that he had that he was an uncle tom who had get, been uh, been hoodwinked by a global homo white conspiracy and as such was working for the man and if he you know yeah no like he straight up got told by his family um that like i i i i picked him up off the fucking curb. I drove and found him where, cause he couldn't tell, he called me and he couldn't tell me where the fuck he was, right? Like he could not tell me where he was. I found him after he was drunk on a curb after having that engagement and just broken. And that's why I have zero tolerance, zero tolerance for that fucking black gnat fucking bullshit because it all leads back to if you have any progressivist tendencies, if you have any leftist tendencies, if you have any queer tendencies, if you have any, you're an automatic Uncle Tom and you can, you know, yeah, I was, I was there and I fucking picked that man up off the ground and fucking, you know, held him. I remember the soaked shoulder, right? I still remember the soaked shoulder. Like I, I get a little, I get a little fucking worked up. I get a little fucking worked up when I think about it, right? Like somebody you care about broken like that because their family turned their backs on them and told them shit like that because they believe this bullshit because they fucking believe this bullshit. Yeah. No, um, black people in America, Hispanic people in America and especially abroad are not as progressive and socially liberal as the leftist community gives them credit for. We make an assumption and don't actually investigate the community and uh, the, the milieu itself, which is racist unto itself, mind you. The fact that white liberals just automatically assume because they're marginalized community members that they'll be on team is a racist assumption because they have no actual experience interacting with these communities. They have no actual experience knowing somebody from these communities. And uh, so you get these sort of, you know, fucking, hi, my name's Chelsea. I went to, I, you know, I, I have a liberal arts degree and I'm really investiga- uh, invested in activism. And I think that, you know, you get that shit. You get those fuckers talking, you know, talking on behalf of the black community, on behalf of the Latino community. That's how you end up with fucking Latin X. Did anybody ever talk to the Latinos? about whether, how they feel about the term Latin X, because I'll tell you right now, they fucking hate it. They fucking hate it. But that's just some liberal white guilt shit. You look like a resident of Ohio. <coughs> nope, never lived in Ohio. I've been to all 48 contiguous states by the age of 19, but I, I've never lived in Ohio. Um. Ethnicity does not imply progressivism, only consciousness. Uh, one of the first people I gave a lift to was a female black Trump supporter. Exactly. Exactly. It, it's, I, I remember explain, um, yeah, Glazy, my family traveled. My mom was a corporate reorganizer. Like, you have to understand that. Like, I, my entire life was travel for most of my early childhood. Um, yeah, I had covered the East Coast by the time before I even knew, like I could, like before I had object permanence, I had t- uh, traveled uh, the entirety of the East Coast. Um, yeah. So, like, yeah, that's that's just a part of my upbringing is seeing this country. Um, I've lived in three quadrants of it. I've never lived in the Pacific Northwest. Um, but I've lived in New England. I've lived in the deep South. I've lived in the Southwest and the West coast. And yeah, I've been all over this fucking place. I've seen a lot of America. Um, yeah. Both Democrat and Republican parties are liberal, either classical liberals or neoliberals. But still fundamentally, you know, you know, there's any issues. Yeah. hundred percent. Um, you haven't been to a single state that's not on the East coast. Yeah. 
Get to it, man. There's a lot of there's a lot of interesting places in this country. When my dad was young, his family had to move to a different state every time he rent to a zoo. Jeez. Um, I prefer the Smokey Robinson approach. You, uh, if you think being called African American sets all black people's minds at ease, since we affectionately call each other, mm, I affectionately say to you, mm, please. <laughs> Marcus. So everybody knows, just so we can qualify that, Marcus is black. <laughs> Marcus is in fact a black man. Um, but you know, yeah, I, even though we shouldn't have to qualify that statement, seeing as Smokey Robinson is the one who fucking said it originally, right? Like we shouldn't have to fucking add a qualifier to that. Ah, <laughs> narrator just hit glazy with a coastal elite. <laughs> oh, that's fucking brilliant. Narrator, I love it. I love the cut of your jib, narrator. Um, they're getting others that they think you read a book and they know what they're doing. Yep. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, I do. My grandmother's mom read tarot, and I remember Essington up one of her sisters. Moms and aunts spells. Uh, Lindsay liberal arts girls are almost always a t uh, tinge Christian or shocked by that stuff. They're getting others that they think they read a book and know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, fucking, uh, generally, uh, uh, Vermont is considered part of the Eastern corridor. Um, glazy. So hooray, parasocial relationships. <laughs> Did I give you the little dopamine hit narrator? Did I give you the little dopamine hit? Do you feel, you feel better about yourself now? <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh shit. Hang on. Give me one sec. There we go. Um, I thought I was the coastal elite. We have the gay city. We're so left. Oh, uh, public. There's two coasts. Coastal elite applies to East Coast and West Coast. See? Oh. Ha. <laughs> Rev. You've never even seen the Gulf? How have you never seen the Gulf Coast? You live in Florida. Just go three feet to your left, man. Fuck it, it's right there. Go see the Gulf. What is wrong with you? <laughs> it's like right there. <laughs> oh, anyway. Ah, oh, should we do some? Uh, should we do some basic headlines? Let's do. Let's do a headline speed run. Let's do a headline speed run. Um, we'll 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 do some. Oh, I can't show that. But you know what? Um, if okay. <laughs> His truck is too short to see over the levees. Okay, so for those of you, before I go any further, um, for those of you that um, haven't seen it and want to see the Twinker Bell tattoo, it's not my tattoo, I just found this. If you want to see the Twinker Bell tattoo, um, go to the WTF channel on the Discord server under the shared content category. It is the last picture I posted. It'll be the last thing on the WTF channel. I find it personally hilarious, but I'm a gay man. A cursed tattoo. Not, it's a fucking hot, it's not cursed. That is a blessed, uh, uh, blessed tattoo. Fucking Twinker Bell. Um, like it just, I have to put out that, uh, put that out there. You have to see it if you haven't already seen it. Thanks for the follow. Uh, fuck it. Oh, kitty. Uh, Ramsey, it is amazing. Isn't it? It's fucking brilliant. I love the Twinker Bell tattoo. It's fucking great. Dude, how many fucking nude pinup girl shit, like, tattoos have we seen over the years, right? It's always some big titty chick. And, you know, we've seen so many naked women tattoos over the years. We need a Twinker Bell tattoo. It's fucking, we, it was, we, we were due. It was time. It was time. Um, Jesus. It, yeah, definitely not Twitch t uh, Twitch safe for sure. Um, uh, so, oh, it is. I think it's adorable. I think it's. I think it's adorable. Um, so, <sighs> y'all remember? <laughs> oh, but when I describe a gay man as Twinker Bell who trails glitter out his ass, suddenly I'm a toxic member of the community. <laughs> I didn't know that. Marcus, are you gay? I, I didn't I didn't know that you were gay, Marcus. 
I don't, I don't know if it's ever come up or not. I just, it just didn't, I didn't clock you. Um, female presenting nipples. Yeah, we've taken advantage of that. I did that on uh, fucking two days ago. I fucking flashed the screen because I can do that as a male. Male presenting nipples is fine. Like I can be shirtless on fucking stream. Weird. Um, okay. So y'all remember the, um, the, the fucking ever given, um, a year and a month ago. Uh, I don't think it came up and bye. Okay. Uh, there's no, like much like my career. There's no friends. Only pray. Oh, Marcus. Um, <laughs> rep. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't. Um, okay. So a year and a month to the day. Remember the ever given blocking the Suez Canal for a week and shutting down like all of fucking global trade, basically. So a year and a month to the day. Um, Evergreen are having... <laughs> The hunt, the 334 meter ever forward got stuck in the Chesapeake Bay. It ran aground in, in the Chesapeake Harbor. <laughs> it, it, I don't. <laughs> Here's, here's why I love this story. No, no, I'm not joking. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Here's why I love this story. Because I'm hoping the QAnoners make a conspiracy out of this one. Because they had a great conspiracy with the Ever, uh, ever Given. Do that was because the uh, the 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 uh, the 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 ship code, the identifying code for the uh, for the ship was HRC something something something. It was three numbers. It was HRC Hillary Rodham Clinton. So the the QAnon conspiracy surrounding the Ever Given was that the GPS was hacked, given the movement of it in the Suez Canal, that the GPS was hacked by the Trump associated QAnon cult. And that they had run it aground intentionally so that they could open the uh, shipping containers live on international news, like live on TV, and see the children that were being human tra trafficked by Hillary Clinton's evil globalist cabal live on TV because Evergreen was a part of that globalist conspiracy. So I am hoping that these morons actually catch this story and run with it because it would be hilarious because I need part two. I need part two of the evergreen Hillary Rodham Clinton globalist pizza gate conspiracy because I'm selfish at heart and I find the QAnon conspiracies fucking hilarious. And so, yeah, I'm just putting it out there. If you guys want to spin some stuff up, if you happen to know some QAnoners, if you happen to run in those circles, you know, I'm just saying, um, <laughs> oh, fucking Matt Shays on team. Um, why the hell would you pick the, uh, would the Clintons pick the ship with Hillary's initials? <laughs> You're smart enough to have a global cabal be smart about the ship. Oh, no, no, no. Narrator. Okay. Narrator. Do you really want to know the answer to that question? Because I speak conspiracy theorist. I'm not kidding you. I speak conspiracy theorist. This is something I'm good at. Um, I spent many years like in this. Okay. So part of the, this is going to get weird and Rev, Rev can back me up on this one. Okay. So part of, part of the, uh, part of the deal that is struck behind the scenes with the, this is going to get weird. I'm warning you. Um, it is part. Uh, it has to be done knowingly and willingly. Now you can do it through means of deceptions, but the fact of the matter is, is that part of the deal with the multidimensional 11th dimensional entities that feed on the lower dimensional fear and hatred that is cultivated in our system that keeps us locked into a lower dimensional framework is that these decisions have to be made of our own volition. Now, the degree to which our, we can be informed is varying throughout this system, but they have to make you aware to 
some degree or another that this is the program or plan or else you have been uh, the the energy transfer isn't good. It doesn't work that way. So it really does go back to and tie into the fact that they believe that there are multidimensional entities or aliens that are harvesting human energy that of a lower vibrational frequency that they feed upon. And so it is a part of the sort of Faustian bargain that is made between these entities and ourselves. Caboose, Karina, enjoy your D&D time. Um, yeah, they, they have no power over you but what you give them, that sort of thing. Yes, exactly, Rev. Um, you know what? Let's 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 give it a... Uh, um, f- <laughs> yeah, enjoy. Um, okay, so... I'm, I can't show you the footage, um, but if you want the footage, it's on the server. Um, for all of the TOS stuff that can't make it to the air, air on Twitch, it's on Discord. Um, but there is footage. We're gonna do we're gonna do some headline run here, okay? So uh, one, the shelves are cleaned out in Moscow. We have footage of the like Russian st- uh, stores. They're absolutely empty. But two, um, dude, whoa, I know, right? Um, so, two, we have uh, footage from a um, surveillance, a drone surveillance platform that has been verified by German media. They track down the drone pilot and everything that shows Rus- uh, Russian soldiers executing a civilian man in front of his wife and child. And the drone platform, the zoom in on the drone platform as a surveillance platform is impressive. Let me tell you that. Little, little, little insight to just like mid-tier military drone capability. It's impressive. But either way, we have direct documented and verif- and uh, second party verified evidence of Russian soldiers conducting extrajudicial assassinations of civilians in front of their families. Um oh, let's see. Um <clears throat> Okay, um uh, the Russian state TV that had the protester, the woman who uh, held the card up and said, you know, no war, no war, no war, that sort of thing. Um, they have been hit with a spate of um, re- resignations. They're just being walked out. Um, fucking a- Amazon warehouse workers are staging a coordinated strike demanding $3 raises across the board. Uh, three Amazon warehouses in New York, New York City, Washington, and the Washington, D.C. metro area ha- walked off their night shift. Um, today um (laughs) today just had to verify date um so uh three amazon warehouses in new york city and washington dc metro area the uh workers walked out of their night shift in a coordinated effort to demand three dollar an hour raises and the reinstatement of 20 minute rest breaks okay this is the bare minimum that they're asking for is give us a three dollar bump in pay and give us our breaks back because they don't even get rest breaks um, Long Island City, Queens, um, Woodside, Queens, and then uh, Washington, D.C. Um, is the, the locations of the three uh, three warehouses. Um, so there you go. Um, there's that one. Uh, let's see. Um, Oh, uh, landlords are absolutely out of control. Everybody knew that. Landlords are out of control. But I have a uh, fucking text here, uh, a screenshot of a text. Yeah, fuck Amazon. Which is, again, why? If you're going to sub, please do not sub on Twitch. I I appreciate the sub, but sub using the link from the coffee link. We bypass Twitch entirely. I know the 30-second ads before you come in are a pain in the ass. Just turn the volume down. Don't look at them. Fuck that advertising bullshit. Don't pollute your mind with it. Um, avoid all of that bullshit. Just, just, if you're going to do anything like donations or subs, just use the command, please. And thank you. Um, I have a screenshot of a text from a, uh, from a, uh, a resident, uh, of California who, uh, is up for lease renewal. Uh, on their uh, on their uh, uh, on their residence, and the manager g- has given the uh, approval for the following terms. Okay, this is this is um, we can't advocate directly for that narrator, just so you know. Um, so that's against RTOS on our side as affiliates uh, as affiliates and partners. Um, <laughs> Kaiser. Um, 
So this this is literally indicative of the sort of landlord tenant relationship that's occurring in California right now. These are the terms and conditions for this individual's um, uh, lease uh, lease renewal. Six months rent due upon move in. The unit has a one month free special, so that would be five months worth of rent that will cover for six months plus a security deposit of $3,100. In total, this comes to $11,575 to move in. This is, this is, this is a two-bedroom apartment. In total, this would come out to $11,575 to move in. Quote, we understand this is a lot. Unfortunately, we don't have a say in the management's approval due to the California moratorium being extended. Stricter approval terms are becoming more and more common. Please let us know if you'd like to accept this offer. If you, uh, if so, we can hop on the phone call and sort out the details. Oh, hey, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub. Um, yes, that is exactly Hey, 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 I, I, I see you. A Ramsey, thank you for that sub as well. Um, fucking, yes, $3,100 security deposit on a two-bedroom apartment plus five months, six months worth of rent ahead of due. $11,575 due upon move in. What the fuck? My stepsister bought her house in Rochester in a middle class area for seventy thousand four years ago. Last week, the house across the street sold for one hundred and forty. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's out of control. It's absolutely out of control. Um, okay, so Idaho's um, Idaho has a really, really unique. Um, <laughs> Ramsey, you're adorable. <coughs> Idaho has a really unique abortion bill up for uh, up for vote. Um, uh, well, uh, it passed the the House, the Idaho House. Uh, California, uh, Marcus, California. It's California. Um, the Idaho pa- House passed Senate Bill thirteen oh nine. Now, like. Texas bill, it would prevent pregnant people from obtaining abortions after six weeks. So what is Idaho's spin? They're going to bring their own panache. They're going to bring their own style to the to the party, right? Idaho's not Texas. They're going to do their own thing. What are those fucking potato munching motherfuckers going to do, right? Well, <clears throat> Instead of empowering any old private citizen to sue and enforce the law, it allows specifically for family members of the fetus, including family members of rapists, to sue abortion providers for up to four years after the procedure for, wait for it, a minimum of $20,000 dollars in damages but wait there's more under the proposed legislation you can get your parents your siblings as well as brothers and sisters and cousins and whoever else you can get at the whole family to sue for the fetus in question and nothing in the bill would prevent the rapist with say 10 siblings from having every single one of them sue individually and collect their cash. Idaho Senate Bill 1309, everyone. 20, minimum $20,000 you can sue for. And a rapist's family is included in this. Mom, dad, cousin, siblings, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so that's 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 um that's the most fucked up hustle I've heard in a long time. We're about to pass local laws here that you can prove up to a uh, to a third party that you earn 1.5 times rent a month. They're uh, not allowed to refuse you renting the place for financial reasons. A deposit would be one rent rent max. Jesus, Ramsey, we take that happily. Um, <laughs> your mama raised you wrong. Why you think the rape baby should be exposed to you? Fucking breeders. What is wrong with these people? Critical breeder brain. Um, hey, crime doesn't pay unless it's rape. Then you can make bank. All right. Um, so that is Idaho's uniquely evil abortion bill. Um, just so you know, 
you know. Um, the uh, grand jury um, in Colorado has uh, indicted the clerk uh, in Mesa County um, by the name of Tina Peters um, and her deputy on a quote, laundry list of charges related to an election security breach in her office last summer that was influ influenced by pre former President Donald Trump's false claim that he won the election. Essentially, she was the county clerk and recorder in Mesa County. She's facing 10 counts, including seven felony counts and three misdemeanors, uh, attempting to influence a public servant, identity theft, criminal impersonation, conspiracy to commit criminal impersonation, and then three, uh, and then the misdemeanors include a first degree official misconduct, violation of duty, and failure to comply with requirements of Secretary of State. Uh, her deputy is indicted on six counts. Basically, what they did was allow unauthorized persons to make copies of voting machine hard drives and attend an annual a software update in which the information from the machines and the secure passwords were then later shared with election conspiracy theorists online. She tried to undermine the election. That's what happened. She's she's one of those people that the Republicans talk about that is stealing the election. She's one of the people trying to steal the election. That's 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 one of hers. So anyway, um, <clears throat> a headline that actually fucking matters. Indigenous leaders from nine countries in the Amazon basin met in Ecuador on t uh, yesterday and Tuesday to demand South American governments halt extractive industries which damage the rainforest. They urged them to respect agreements and legal rulings, recognizing communities' territories over uh, ter uh, uh, rights over territories. But what this shows is a beginning of a coagulation and coordinated effort on the uh, uh, coordinated efforts and attempts on the behalf on behalf of the indigenous leaders from nine different countries in the Amazon basin. Right, because the Amazon. Basin indigenous groups tend to engage in guerrilla and militarized tactics against the loggers and the extractive industries, right? Oil, gas, logging, uh, farm, the farming, that sort of thing. Um, and so when you sit back and go, look, you know, this probably won't do much, right? They're demanding the countries like halt the extractive industries and they're not going to, of course, they're not going to, but it shows a greater, a wider coordination amongst the indigenous communities of the region, which when it comes time to actually do some direct action is more indicative of potential success. So useful, useful. Um, Russia has had a fourth general killed in Ukraine. Uh, apparently, I don't know, fucking, what's this guy? Major General Oleg Mityev of, or something like that. Um, he's been killed. Russia lost another general. They're down four plus a, uh, plus a Chechen. Um, I talked about Yemen. Nobody cares about Yemen. They're brown kids. Um, but the UN has said, like, you know, more than 10,000 children have died, killed, been killed or wounded since the beginning of the Yemeni civil war. But again, that's, you know, being orchestrated by the Saudis, our partners in peace. So we don't really talk about that or do anything about that. That's like, you know, fucking Middle Eastern brown kids being bombed by, you know, the people who supply our, you know, our go juice for our vehicles. So, or at least some of it, not, not actually not a huge amount, frankly, it's weird that we kowtow to them as much as we do. Um, but yes, um, there's of course that one. Um, <laughs> we talk, we don't talk about Yemen. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and, um, <laughs> fucking, uh, and Intel has unveiled, uh, a plan to spend, uh, to set up an eight, eight, uh, sorry, an $88 billion chip making expansions, um, plant and set up in Europe. Um, they're going to begin uh, attempting to divest themselves of it's 80 billion euros. It's 88 million, uh, 88 billion dollars, but it's 80 billion euros is what they're going to spend across Europe as part of a, I mean, it's albeit a, an ambitious plan to uh, quote, even the uh, imbalances in the globies, a global and globy in the global semiconductor industry um, that has led to the chip shortages. Basically, they're trying to get away from. Asia, Southeast Asia, that sort of thing. Um, so Europeans look for Intel manufacturing facilities and semiconductor facil uh, manufacturing facilities starting to spring up 
in and around some of your major metro regions or even some of your like smaller regions. They may put them in places that don't necessarily have the industry already, but they're going to need access to logistics and resources. So you'll probably be giving them tons of tax breaks. Look forward to that. Um, uh, we rely on a whole lot of people for the rare earth minerals, uh, Rev. Um, so, huh, um, is that yesterday? Yeah. Um, you know what? Let's, um, we'll, we'll do a little honor the dead sort of situation. I've been trying to do a little bit of that. Here is Anna Campbell. She was a British feminist. Um, uh, she was a British feminist. You notice I say was, it's unfortunate, but she was a British feminist, anarchist, and prison abolitionist who died on yesterday, yesterday, uh, who died yesterday, uh, in 2018. Um, so it was the four year anniversary yesterday of Anna's death. She was fighting with the women's protections unit in Rojava during, uh, to aid, uh, to aid and protect during the Syrian civil war. Um, so somebody who actually put in some, put some skin in the game. The a, it's a British anarchist who said, fuck it, I'm in. And she lost her life. So, ah, that was always make me sad. Um, and let's, let's cap it off with some creepy dystopian shit. Um, let's cap it off with some creepy dystopian shit. <laughs> um, that at least will make me not as sad as talking about Anna Campbell. Um, so, ah, here you go. Please prove that you are Chinese with one sentence. Study for China's rise. Feel lucky to be born in China. We have to remember, study hard and learn every day that Chairman Mao said. What's up, H? Uh, sorry, Song. If the new year had a color, it would be Chinese red. Taiwan is an inseparable part of China. I'm proud because I'm Chinese. Xinjiang is an inseparable part of China. You notice that this is in... Have you have you study hard and learn every day? Have you picked up what's going on here yet? Where these kids are from? Celebrate grew up in China. There's an ancient dragon in the east called China. Fucking oh no, those aren't Han Chinese. Yeah, no, 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 those aren't Han Chinese. <laughs> yeah, you were right, cupcake. You were right. Oh, yep. They are, they are Uyghurs. Those are Uyghur children that have been taken away from their family and then brainwashed, like straight up brainwashed. It is creepy as fuck. Here, we'll go through it again. Now that, now that you know. All right. So. Notice it's in, it's in Chinese, it's in English, and it's in Arabic. All right. Top line is Arabic. Please prove that you are Chinese with one sentence. Right? Look at him. I, I'm sorry. Look at this shit. Right? Like, this is creepy. This is creepy. Is it? It's Japanese? I don't keep it fucking... It, Japanese is Chinese. <clears throat> Fight me. Um... <laughs> Uh, it's all fucking Chinese, right? Like it's all Chinese that wandered around. It's all Chinese that wandered around. That's all. Except Korean. Korean's got something going on. Um, close enough. I'll give you a pass. Yeah, dude. These kids are. These kids are. Um, wait, not entirely untrue. No, it's fucking true. The, the history of most of the languages of that region are descent, direct descendants of Chinese. Um, so yeah, anyway, here you go. This is creepy as fuck. Please, pr please prove that you are Chinese with one sentence. Goddamn right, Marcus. Dude, that's, I, I, I see, I don't mind that it wandered around. Nothing against it. But, I mean, to deny that it's just Chinese that wandered around is kind of, 
you know, a lie. Yeah. Dude, my accent is all over the place. Have Marcus, have you ever been here? Uh, have you ever heard the uh, the like the Afro American accent? Dude, occasionally it happens to me because I spent a lot of time, uh, you know, in and around the the black community, and you know, my partner of many years was black, and so occasionally I end up in a very Afrocentric uh, manner of speech. So I've got I've got sort of the New England energy. I've got the Southern drawl sometimes. I've got sort of a, a an urban uh, thing. I've got sort of a Californian thing, and then I've got the the standard American broadcast washed out mid country thing. Um, yeah. Um, so anyway, let's see how creepy this is. <laughs> That is That's an internment camp for kids That's an internment camp for kids That we just saw That's 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 what that is That's, that's a re-education center For Uyghur children Who have been stolen from their parents It, it is Disgusting It is unfortunate it is a war crime. It's a crime against humanity. It's genocide, by the way. It's genocide. It meets the legal distinction for the UN Convention on Genocide. It's genocide. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but I also, as a uh, white, decadent, Western CIA operative male, fucking X, Y, and Z, take your fucking pick of what, what the tankies would say about me, um, am not allowed to criticize such behavior. So as such, I will um, <clears throat> I will leave it at that, I suppose. <laughs> oh, fuck the tankies. Oh, shit. Did y'all see Has? Oh, my God. Did y'all see Has? Did y'all see Has? Oh, my God. Has. Oh my god has. Oh my god has. Did y'all see fucking has? Oh, this fucking dumb motherfucker. Oh, this dumb motherfucker. Where was it? It was pure schadenfreude. That's where it was. This dumb motherfucker. Oh. Despite being a weirdo bully on Twitter, Bad Empanada did a good video on the Uyghur situation. Okay, so... Has is okay. So I've 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 gone on a record before, right? I've gone on the record on this one before. Um, I think he's mentally ill. I think has is mentally ill. I I, I think I think has is mentally ill. I, I don't think like, and I don't mean that in a like a colloquial manner. I think there's shit that needs medicated. Um, I'm not. I'm just armchairing here. I have no qualifications, and you cannot diagnose at a distance. All of that stated. A stable person does not end up in a fucking alleyway in the middle of the night attempting to fight people. Just some random fucking place because he's been challenged by a Twitter user to have a fist fight in the street in the middle of the goddamn night. You do not... Normal, sane people do not do this. Okay? This is not something that normal, sane people do. It, it is, he is legitimately, I'm not kidding you here. He's fucking, there's fucking, I'm on my way now. Stay there. Like, <laughs> why did it turn off is my question on that one. Um, hang on. Fuck it. We're doing it this way. Um, I'm doing it manually. 
There we go. No, it's it's not a joke. And that's that's it's not a joke, which is that this is the part that I'm talking about. He's not well. He's he's not well. You do not, a normal normally functioning human beings do not get into Twitter beefs and then get challenged to a fist fight in the middle of bum fuck nowhere. That's just some random fucking location, right? That's just bum fuck nowhere, right? In the middle of the goddamn night, you do not leave the comfort of your residence to go potentially punch some random Twitter user in some random location in the middle of the goddamn night. This is not a fucking, this is not the act of a sane person. Crick said, I watched it live. It was sad as fuck. Yeah. Dude, this, it's not. Uh, he got trolled to fuck and actually went there thinking they were going to be there to fight. I know, right? Like, it's. I, 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 his, oh, of course. And of course his fans encourage it. And of course he, dude, he doesn't believe in, um, no, no, the fight. No, a Ramsey, because the other dude wasn't going to show up. They were just fucking with him because they know they can fuck with him because he's not mentally well. Has is not of sound mind and character. He's being abused. Like, look, I, dude, I hate Haz as much as the next guy. I, th I wish he would just go away. I wish he'd just go away, right? He has given me Pocket Haz. I'm happy for Pocket Haz. I will always thank him for Pocket Haz. Pocket Haz is fucking hilarious. He's not well. And he's being abused by his own community. He's being taken advantage of on Twitter. It's, it's not, it's not healthy. A uh, shit ton of headlines. We did a run through some of them gory, some of them terrible, some of them kind of lighthearted. And now we're talking about has being a fucking maniac who needs medication. Um, so I, I, yeah, I, I, what, what is going on with him? Like, I've never been on Team Has. I don't like Has. I don't like Has as a, a, as a, for many, many reasons. But he is a human being. And I don't want him to suffer. Right? Like, I don't, I don't wish him ill in this world. I just wish he'd shut the fuck up and stop doing what he's doing. Um, and showing up to the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night to fight people who challenge you to fist fights on the street on Twitter is not the actions of a stable, sane, functioning human being. It's just not, it's not normal. And it worries me that like that. Yeah, like it's just, and also I still maintain all of my statements. I will, I genuinely hope you guys, yeah, I do too. Uh, uh, Ramsey also because, um, I worry that Haz is going to hurt somebody. I've been worried about that for a while. I, I've been worried about that for a while. I've, I've unequivocally stated that on air. I'm worried about that. If, if <clears throat> I would not, if I were around Haz, one, I would never be alone around Haz. But two, um, if there was a person who identifies and is identifiable as of the female you know, gender set. Um, I would never leave that person alone with has in a million years. Never. I would make sure that she left before me. I have sincere concerns after seeing him on air with female streamers. And based on that kind of behavior, showing up to random locations in the middle of the night to fight people who challenge you to fist fights in the street on Twitter only goes to reinforce my suspicions and concerns. That's not a dude who has like control over his faculties in a way that, yeah, I would not feel comfortable leaving him alone with somebody, especially a woman. Given how he treats female streamers on air, yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah, that 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 worries me.
That worries me. That legitimately worries me. I was I was laughing my ass off at it. Don't get me wrong. He's a fucking loser, right? Like that's did you what are you, what are you a fucking child? I was laughing my ass off at it. But as soon as the laughter died down, it was it was I was concerned. I was concerned. Like that's that's not the behavior of a stable person. And has has uh, he, ha- he 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 within his control within his sphere of influence he has. Uh, influenceable minds and he's seen as somebody that some people are s- sort of look up to and that concerns me that concerns me as not just a streamer and as an anarchist and as, as, as a rhetorician and as a, pro- a propagandist myself right it, it concerns me as just a human being that has is going to hurt somebody or himself or both um so yeah uh, um, oh no, you need to go, Kensa, uh, Kensa, you need to go much uh, further, much further back. See, this is, um, Marxist here. I hate has, I mean, good on you. I, I'm big fucking, uh, not you and I got issues with the, the Marxist thing, but I mean, good on you for that one. Um, I, Kensa, I, I've, I've, I've been aware of and interacted with has since the beginning of his streaming career. When has was a 10 viewer, Andy, I knew who he was. Um, I've known and been familiar with has, I've followed the entire arc. I, I, I know has like, it, it, like at a distance, like not up close. We don't interact. Uh, we've been in each other's DMS before, but not to a huge extent. Um, our communities have come to blows before as well. Um, and it, it, you have to see the whole arc for what it is. Um, he's not, he's not stable. Um, I, I wish I could give in to the idea that has is an op <clears throat> that like has, uh, Black Hammer is an op. If you want to know who's an op, Black Hammer is an op. Those motherfuckers are on the payroll, guys. That's an FBI op if there ever was. Dude, Black Hammer is a fucking op. That's got like uh, communist, that's got CPUSA vibes written all over it. Um, Black Hammer is an op. Um, but has is a disturbed individual who I have concerns about. Yeah. So we'll just, we'll just leave it at there. I think we've, I think we've spoken on the topic enough. We don't need to give too much energy to it. Um, it's been a good run, uh, cat. Um, you want to jump on the air? I can just speed run you through the entire fucking, um, the entire thing. Um, yeah, exactly. Fucking Kaiser gets it. Dude, I, I Kaiser, I, I, you know, I put you in charge of shit, Kaiser. Um, I've never taken a look at his content, but from the few things I've seen, you can say about Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Grimlo, it's it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not good. We, I've I've seen just manic energy out of him. I've seen like, I mean, we have a song that gets played. It's called Tanky's Coping, and it, it has yelling cope. He yells cope for forty five minutes on a stream before they end the stream. But what you don't know, and what's not included in the clip because it's not part of the clip is that uh, on that stream, on that Discord call, with has yelling cope for 45 minutes straight. I'm not kidding you. He yells cope for 45 minutes straight on the stream. He continued to yell cope until 6 a.m. He goes for hours, just literally pacing around his room, screaming cope at a distance to the microphone. It's just fucking worthless. Um... So it, it's, yeah, like it, it, it's hours, hours. He went till 6 a.m. just screaming cope at them. They just let the, they just left the line open and just kept track of it. It, 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 it it's yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think he's got some reality solubility too, by the way. I don't think he understands the difference between online and offline. I don't. Um, based on, based on the video of him walking down the street saying, um, yelling at people that he just owned destiny three times and people like literally like he thinks this is some huge like deal and some brag. Like he just announced like he defeated Barack Obama in a debate or something. Like he's literally just walking down a random street yelling at people that I just fucking owned destiny three times, baby. And people are just like concerned and worried and like, what, what is going on? And he's like, 
completely unaware of how desperately he needs to touch grass at that moment. It, it's, yeah, I... I it, I'm worried... I'm worried that Haz is going to end up in that Nikado Avocado territory. For those that know this reference, I'm worried that Haz is going to end up in that sort of Nikado Avocado territory. That, like, due to the influence of his community pushing him further and further, he's going to do something that is going to be very, very bad for himself, for others, whatever. Um, man needs a therapist. He doesn't believe in it, though, Kaiser. That's the thing. He doesn't believe in psychology. He doesn't believe in therapy. He doesn't believe in Western medicine. He doesn't believe in psychiatric medications. He doesn't believe in the process as a whole. He thinks it's part of the neoliberal agenda to control uh, and control and influence a population. His conspiratorial thinking on the process, on the matter of getting psychological help is so influenced by his beliefs that he is functionally untreatable. Um, yeah, like Twitch people spaz over Hassan, like most regular followers have no fucking clue is exactly. Um, Yeah. 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 Uh, no, Zippy. I, dude, I, I'd 5150 him. I, 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 when he showed up in the middle of the fucking, in the middle of the night wanting to fight somebody, that's involuntary hold time. That's involuntary hold time. You're now a threat to society. You're out cruising in the middle of the night looking for a fight. I have concerns now. That's, that's 5150 territory. That's straight up. To feel, however you may feel about involuntary psychiatric holds in the police state, the mental health care system, and the health care system at large, as especially as an anarchist not believing in authoritarian processes, trust me, I get it. I get the I get the concern. I get the concern. But when he starts showing up randomly in the middle of the night in fucking alleyways and behind houses and stuff looking to pu punch people out, yeah, now we have an issue. That's like a real actual issue. That's not just some online shit where you're like, touch grass, motherfucker. That's like, holy shit, he's going to hurt somebody. Yep, exactly, Ramsey. Exactly. Um, I know, right? That's that's the problem, Zippy, is you can't get it done correctly and blah, blah, blah. Better in hospital than in prison. I know, right? Like, yeah, you'd have to call the cops to get a 5150 done, and then the cops would probably fucking kill him. So like you're in a you're in a double bind, right? Yeah, it's 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 bad. It's bad. And it, it's just I'm just worried about the dude. I'm just worried about the dude. I'm worried about society, right? I'm worried about the like people he interacts with. I'm worried about the people that he encounters on a daily basis, and I'm worried about him himself, right? Like I don't I dude, I I, I hate everything that has everything that falls out of has his mouth. I hate every single fucking thing that dude's ever said. I have a a disagreement with. You want to fuck his life over for that? Glazy, he's going to rape and murder somebody. He's gonna rape and murder somebody. This is, dude. This is this, this is that story that we everybody sees coming five years ahead of the time, right? And everybody's like, dude, we all knew, we all knew, we all knew. This is that sort of shit. Yeah, no, I don't want to fuck his life up. I want to make sure he doesn't fuck somebody else's life up. I want to make sure he gets the help that he needs. And there's no mechanism in our society for that to occur, unfortunately, due to the absolute dog shit healthcare system that we have. And the fact that our police system is absolute shit. Right? Like, like I, 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 we have no mechanism in society to provide this man with the help he clearly needs. And so, yeah, no, I don't want to fuck his life up over that. But the fact of the matter is, is that he has the serious potential to hurt somebody. I desperately don't want to see the stream where Kai tells us I told you so on this one. I, I don't want to have to do that stream. I will do that stream, though. I will do that stream. I will say it. I will fucking own that I told you so. So. 
Is there a conversation to be had about further feeding into his delusions with hosting on panels like Hippy Dippy? Of course. Yes. 100%. Dude, Dylan Burns is a fucking grifter fuck that is taking advantage of it. Dude, like, dude, D Dylan's a grifter and we all know it. Like, I'm sorry. Like, that, that Hippy Dippy panel and Prime Case, this is capitalist methodologies. This is not a means to advocate or expand or expound upon theory and praxis. These are entertainment sideshows that are designed to drive clicks and views for profit. These are not real means of activism. These are not real means of praxis. These are advertising mechanisms for individual streamer channels on a, you know, a coordinated effort. It's, of course they're exploiting him. Of course they're exploiting him. It's 100% exploitative. They see crazy, fucking, has, has produces crazy. Has, just crazy falls out of Has's mouth. Crazy gets views. Crazy gets traction. Crazy gets clicks. And so what fucking, what else would you do than, you know, like, that's content. That's fucking content for them. So get the crazy on, fucking bring him on. He'll debate destiny and fucking he'll, he'll fucking scream cope for three hours and he'll go, yeah, I'm a mongoloid <coughs> and he'll do all the greatest hits. Meanwhile, they're exploiting a mentally unwell individual. <laughs> Fuck that shit. It's either a circle jerk or pure chaos that goes nowhere. hundred percent. <clears throat> uh, hippy dippy is Jerry Springer shit. I avoid those panels because, uh, let's see, they're there for nothing other than increasing Dylan's ratings for, uh, by inviting bad faith far right actors. Yeah, no, dude, it's all grifter shit. It's all grifter shit. This is, this is why I've never been able to get over that. Look for better or for worse. I've said this before. I usually just say it on VC behind the scenes, right? For, for, for better or for worse. I actually believe what I say. I know, like, look, I may not be right, but I actually do believe it. I do believe in hierarchical organizing modalities. I do be believe in individual autonomy. I do believe in these anarchistic principles that I espouse and advocate for and spread, right? And I do actually have integrity as an anarchist, as as a propagandist even, as, as an educator, right? Like. To go on one of those panels violates all of my criticisms that I have been levying since day one on Twitch. It would make me an instant hypocrite. And as much as I know so many of the community are like, you need to do panels and you know, you need to get out there and that's how you get the word out and all those sorts of things. Everything about those panels is wrong. And I refuse to compromise my integrity as me by participating in them. So, yeah. I mean, Prime K's lets people buy their way onto the panel and then lets people pay to kick them off. That's wrestling. That's entertainment. That's a vaudevillian sideshow. That's P.T. Barnum. That's not actual good faith debate or dialectical exercise. How can I ever participate in that? How can I ever approve of that? I mean, uh, La Latte, Dylan Burns defended Dylan Burns in one stroke undermined the anti-work movement concept theory and defended a serial sexual assaulter in one fucking stroke dylan burns managed to say anti-work is bullshit and then defend a serial sexual assaulter we watched it live on air we watched it many people were witness to it I call me crazy. I personally, hi, Kai, representative of Proudly Radical in this greater community. Um, I'm not a fan of people who sexually assault people. I know, right? 
That's I I I I didn't think that would be a controversial take. I know, right? Hot take. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan, especially, and you're like, Kai, but wait, is this speculative? No, the person admitted they did it. This was a self-admitted confession posted to their own Facebook profile. Dylan Burns defended that person at the same time as saying anti-work is immature, it's nonsense, it's a bullshit idea, it's a concept, as a concept, like literally undermining anti-work as an entirety, in its entirety as a concept, as a theory, and also holding up a, seri a self-admitted serial sexual assaulter. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm good. I don't need to be on that panel. I don't need to be on that panel. I don't, I, because there's no way I'm going to hold my tongue either. I'm going to get kicked off that fucking panel real quick. <laughs> I'm going to get kicked off that panel real fucking quick. Y'all saw the Monday stream? Narrator, thanks for the biddies. Why would you say something so controversial and yet so brave? Right? Like, John Stewart, the panel. Yeah, f fucking, you're hurting America. We need you to help America. Yeah, it would be funny, Ramsey, but I don't... M my my ethics and my values are more precious to me than any boost in viewership that Dylan Burns could provide me or Prime K's or any of the others that host these completely ugh, insipid, disgusting panels that are nothing more than advertising. They're advertising. They're 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 a circle jerk as as uh, as public said. They're a circle jerk or chaos, but they're advertising. A resolution. Imagine actually believing in what you stand for. I, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. A resolution. Um, I, I feel like I'm taking. I, I feel like I'm I'm uh taking crazy pills sometimes. Um. What exactly does good faith mean? Good faith means, as far as human interactions go, um, a fair, a, I believe the qualification is fair, open, and in guard, uh, fair, open, and honest, regardless of outcome. That is what good faith means, is that you are engaging in a fair, open, and honest dialectical, a, a conversation, a fair, open, and honest conversation, regardless of outcome, meaning you're not front-loading methodologies in order to defend a position that you have already predetermined. A good faith interaction is an actual conversation between individuals that has room for growth on both sides. That is what good faith means. Um, <clears throat> it's hard watching the world at times. Isn't it public? It is. Um, James does it, but he has the personality to do it. So, uh, someone there to shit on the end caps. I, I, I can't. Yeah, you're not trying to win the conversation, right? Like that's. I engage in bad faith tactics sometimes. I have to, right? For the purposes of again, remember, I'm an admitted propagandist, right? You understand that? I, I am an anarchist educator and propagandist. Right. Part of my or or orative and rhetorical methodologies includes propagandist techniques, right? Like I, I, I will put that out for you. Like you have to know that like there is there's a purpose behind what I'm doing at times. And so I will utilize some of those tactics, but I will show them to you. It's like Penn and Teller doing the magic tricks. You ever seen Penn and Teller do the cup and balls with the clear cups? That's what I am. I'm Penn and Teller doing the cup and balls trick with the clear fucking plastic cups. I am letting you see the trick. We're doing the trick because the the, the, the the trick is entertaining to see. But the fact of the matter is, is that I want you, I need you to know this isn't magic. This is an actual bad faith methodologies. This is a, a rhetorical me uh, a rhetorical method to engage in a dialectical exercise to move the position favorably towards anarchism. Right? I I try and be as forward and upfront about the when I do it. Um. Yeah. Exactly. 
I would like to debate if you uh, if you should be allowed to exist. Let's have a good faith debate. Some roidoid fucks his, his ability. I, you know, critical. Um, yeah, so I was gonna I was gonna point to the late great James Randi. I'm not a magician because magic isn't real. I'm an illusionist. Um, Kai, you're an international treasure, says a Ramsey. I I don't I don't even know what to say to that, a Ramsey. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's see. Hold on. I, I'm seeing a reference to something, something. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of fucking, uh, I don't have a lot of opinions on that other than, um, fucking he's. He wrote a book on anarchism recently, right? Like, is he's the he's the asshole who claims to be an anarchist and is nothing more than a right winger, right? Like, Michael Malice is a classic. Michael Malice is the current Murray Rothbard. That Michael Malice is the current is the living Murray Rothbard. Oh, he's been on Tucker Carlson. He's been on Fox News. He's been on Joe Rogan. He's been on all of the right wing areas, Beast. Um, he's he is the he is the living iteration of Murray Rothbard. He is attempting to call himself an anarchist when, in fact, what he is is a right wing libertarian anti statist. He's not an anarchist, but he he's got a, like a book claiming to talk about anarchism and shit like that. It's fucking it's I, I you know yeah. No, uh, my opinion on Michael Malice is that he is the current living iteration of Murray Rothbard. And so if you're wondering what my opinion on Murray Rothbard is, because that's that's sort of a circ circular situation, like, well, if he's Rothbard, what do you feel about Rothbard? Fuck Rothbard. Rothbard did so much harm to the anarchist milieu, to the anarchist movement, to the anarchist theology. Fuck Rothbard. I, I, I absolutely despise Rothbard. Oh, yeah, the dude, nar fuck narrator, that would kill me, too. Uh, yeah, uh, Lalate, fucking somebody posted it. Who, who cued it? Beasticle, uh, beast cued, uh, cued it. I, I, dude, I got like 12 hours of me fucking railing against ANCAPs. Right-wing libertarians and ANCAPs. We go through them all. Fucking Hayek, Von Mises, fucking Rothbard, Hoppe, fucking Nozick, fucking Rand, fucking dude. To 12 fucking hours playlist of just me dissecting and taking apart their bullshit the fucking the Lockean proviso the property issue the cabal of libertarian uh, organizations that will create an inevitable monopoly the problems with a legal code under a libertarian system the fact that the libertarian methodology allows for uh, allows for the like wholesale sale of children like it's just a shit show across the board with them so yeah oh no 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 tech support the playlist is done the playlist is done it there's there's like occasionally like an end sentence get, gets cut off because the fucking bot i was using at the time is absolute dog shit and i've since like gotten rid of it but but the playlist is done the content's in there um, I just don't see how people don't see it's literally the return of feudalism public because people are stupid. That's why. Um, some of the best content to binge or listen to was doing stuff around the house, dude, it, it will give you an education. It will give you an education. If you want to be able to debate a fucking libertarian or a fucking ANCAP, right? If you want to talk to these idiots and actually be able to punch holes in their shit, go listen to that playlist. Yep. Yeah. Fucking 54%. Yeah. Fuck functionally illiterate. 54%. Um, and this grifter tried to opt in a tweet. Of course he did. He's a grifter. Dude, fucking all those right wing libertarians are grifters. <coughs> They're all grifters. <coughs> so, yeah. I, I don't. I'm good. I'm fucking good on that. <laughs> All right. Y'all been putting shit up in here. All right. What do we got? Jesus Christ. Wisconsin dentist convicted of intentionally breaking patients teeth so we could fix them. 
Capitalism. Yep. Fucking capitalism at it again. Um, we got show clips. Oh, this is uh, Rev. Cool, cool, cool. Um, commons. Uh, that's just some conversation. Um, oh, shit. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that photo. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right. Just checking stuff on the Discord server. Just checking stuff on the Discord server. Now, here comes the question of the night. Buddhist, are you still here? Because I know Buddhist was here earlier. Buddhist, are you still here? Um, one of the fascists over here convinced someone I know he would make sure we didn't have to pay t taxes anymore. Dude, that's such an easy inroad for them so many times. Uh, when I asked, uh, I am here. Okay, when I asked who would pay for the roads, she gleefully told me the, the government. God, people are fucking stupid. Fucking a Ramsey in the Netherlands. One of the fascists over here convinced someone I know that he would make sure we wouldn't have to pay for uh, uh, we wouldn't have to pay taxes anymore. When I asked who would pay for the roads, etc., she gleefully told me the government. We're doomed. We're fucking doomed. We're fucking doomed. We're fucking doomed. We're fucking doomed. Just, just it, enjoy. It, fu take care of your loved ones. Take care of your friends, your family. Take care of your local community. Do what you can. Make yourself as sane. Take care of your, your mental and your physical well-beings. Do not invest in this shit. Dude, we're fucking doomed. <laughs> Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> fucked. Or fucked. All right. Okay. So, <coughs> Buddhist. Um, yeah, exactly. Your resolution, that's my idea. That's my idea. Um, nice, public. Did you do like a polyvinyl, like the, the polyvinyl tunnel sort of thing? Um, oh, I wanted to do that. You know what? I want to do a field promotion. Um, I hadn't talked to, I, you know what? I, I, you know what? No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna usurp. I'm not gonna do, no, no. Um, <laughs> hey, well, Lada. Um, okay, so Buddhist, and I don't know who else is here. Glazy, you're here. You're playing now too, as well. Um, does anybody want to get a zomboid session in? Um, we could put we could put an hour uh, hour or two into zomboid if we want. Um, I'm not going to go long on it, but if uh, anybody, if the community wants to get some zomboid in, um, uh, you know, I'll we can do we can do some multiplayer. Or we can do something else. Just let me know. Uh, it's a simple vinyl one. You could build another planter box. It's nice. Um, you could stay up. Yeah, because you haven't been in the new the new server, Buddhist. Even though you helped build the new server, you haven't actually been in the new iteration of the world. Uh, I'd love to get you in there. Um, public. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm a Zomboid streamer now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm usually a top 10 Zomboid streamer. Um, yeah. That's, I'm, I'm, that's, I, I found my niche there. I, I like playing Zomboid. Um, so, all right, let me, let me, uh, get some shit booted here. I need to get some stuff running. So, forgive, there's gonna be plenty of hitches. There's gonna be fucking locked screens and shit like that for a second because of, like, you know, it's, it's a five gig server that I run. So give it a second. Um, but yeah, no, I like, um, oof, Jesus. There's, there's the first one. Um, dude, I, I love Zomboid. It took me a lot of years to love Zomboid. It took me a lot of years. Um, no worries, public. Thanks for hanging out. Um, 
and you as well. You streaming later, public? You gonna you gonna stream? Uh, yeah, PZ, exclamation PZ mod, Glazy, exclamation PZ mod. Um, you gonna take it back, Critical? Am I am I a fake video game streamer now? Oh God, here goes the command list. So there you go. <laughs> A good boy, bestest boy. Thank you, Critical. Um, should be on tonight. More of that old jewelry, and then trying to audition for more voice, uh, more voice work stuffs. Let me know how you do, public. Let me know how you do. Um. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing some narration and voice work. I'm not good at characters and stuff, but I wouldn't mind getting into it. Let me know, you know, let me know how it fares for you. I theoretically have a session of kickboxing in four and a half hours. So I just call it a night here. It's been a ride and a half for me the past 10 hours. You do to Ramsey fucking, you, you should allow yourself the day off tomorrow. Ramsey, that would be best for you. Um, Puka, take care of yourself. Sleep well. Um, yeah, Ramsey fucking, you had a big day. You should, uh, you should definitely fucking give yourself some breathing room uh buddhist if you want to hit vc whenever you want to hit vc feel free i'll just you know i'll, I'll meet you in there um all right let me get the the server started um and yeah glazy i warned you it's a fucking it's a modded server um straight up so currently in a uh, fan dub of final fantasy final fantasy and final 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 final, 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 final. Um, in fact, I do. Uh, La Latte, um, we've got two different ones going right now. We've got Instead of Work by Bob Black and Rules for uh, and Rules for Radicals by Saul Alinsky. The playlists are on the um, YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash C slash Proudly Radical. Um, and so, yeah, like we I, in fact, do do that. And we've got other stuff as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm working on building a, uh, a library. Uh, I'm working on building a library up of that sort of stuff. I, I do do it. Um, yeah. Um, and Latte, if you're not on the Discord server, you probably should be. Just FYI. That's where the majority of the community action happens. Um, let's see. A lot of your readings could always be uploaded to Audible Anarchist Database. Um, hey! What's up, cat? I'm tired and beat up. I feel like shit. You finally get a workout in? Yeah, and I, you know what? I think it was a little too soon. Yeah, I, I could have told you that. Um, can, you know, I felt good yeah, this you, morning. You, yeah, you feel you feel good until you do it, and then you're like, oh yeah. shit. Um, I'm gonna hit the end cap playlist and do some housework. Y'all have fun, Mister Sir. Enjoy enjoy the playlist. Uh, d be sure to like like every video and like comment on every video, even if it's just fucking comment, because that drives the YouTube algorithm for some reason. So please and thank you. Um, fucking engagement. Oh, um, <laughs> uh, okay. Apparently, I need to. Who got an update? Um, okay, got an update on that one. Updating the server. Um, so we did the first, uh, we did the first show of, uh, Popo's Bizarre Adventures. Um, oh, beautiful. we did a whole bunch of fucking cop stories with some really, you know, some interesting dives into them. Um, and then we did some headline work, especially we did a deep dive into like Matt Shea, the, the former Washington representative who did that like Holy War document shit like last year, year before two, three years ago now. Fucking, um, but he's over in, um, he's over in Poland trying to steal kids like, no, for real. He's into human trafficking now. Um, God damn. yeah, he's over in Poland, uh, trying to steal Ukrainian kids. Um, and like, he wouldn't even give his name and the organization isn't registered and shit like that. Like it's super fucking creepy. Um, fucking. And so like, yeah, we got, we got deep into him. We read the, we went through the entirety of his document, his like fucking like warriors document shit that he published. And we got into that and, um, 
Yeah. And then we did a headline rundown and um, then we talked about has being mentally unwell and us actually being concerned for him. Um, because now he's like going to random alleyways in the middle of the night looking to get into fist fights with people who start beefs on Twitter. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's like it had happened live and like there's like photographic evidence of it. Like if you challenge him to a fist fight, like in just the middle of the night, in like some random fucking alleyway location, he'll show up. It's not funny anymore. No, I, 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 dude, I did a solid 30, 40 minutes on like, I'm, I'm legitimately concerned and it's getting to that like Nikado avocado territory of where his community is like, I, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried. They're going to drive him to do something and it's, it's problematic. Like it's hugely problematic at this point. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's 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 not good. That's not good. Yeah, I'm like, that's not. I'm like, that's not the that's not the actions of a stable human being. Like, that's not that's not what you do. I mean, his whole career has been him just being manically unstable and people just throwing money at him for it. Yeah, I, I I'm 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 like he's gonna do something at this point. I'm I'm worried. Um, honestly, honestly though. I'm also of the opinion that someone just like clocks him just right and he ends up hospitalized. Well, that's I I did the, the 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 statement is he's going to harm someone. Uh he's going to harm himself or someone else. Yeah. I I, I either way there's going to be harm coming and I'm I'm concerned for him, for other people, for like, it's, it's, it's not, it's got like, I, I said, I'm like, don't get me wrong. I laugh my ass off at that fucking like series of Twitter exchanges and stuff. But as soon as I stopped laughing, I, I was like, I, you know, I'm like the, the humanity kicked in and you know, it's like, I'm getting legitimate, uh, Nikado avocado vibes off of this. Like his community is going to drive him to self harm. The dark, the dark hilarity is though, it's kind of funny to know that Russian, the Russian Ukraine conflict broke him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just, you know, and he's not going to get help. Like that's the concern yeah. is because he doesn't believe in any of it. It's all conspiracy theory and like, you know, neoliberal degenerate Western, you know, psychiatry and therapy and psychology are all conspiracies of the neoliberal West and shit like that. And so he's never going to um, actually seek out help. And so yeah, it's, it's not even going to pass his fucking thoughts at all. I, I just, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's, it's getting to be not funny anymore. And it's now starting to get into that like self harm or harm someone else territory, which makes me even more worried. So uh, reminder to everyone watching, there are community options on Twitch and community guidelines that may need to be enforced here. Yeah. I'm not saying anything explicit, but uh, why, you know, why see a psychiatrist when you can heal yourself with the immortal science of Marxism, Leninism? Um, that's such a pretentious. I, I never really quite got over how pretentious that is. The immortal science, right? Like, yeah, yeah. It's like, dude, come on. Yeah, it's fucking brutal. I, I, I just, yeah, the exactly latte. It's, it, it's people like that are extremely hard to help when they don't believe in the psychiatry and yes. that sort of thing. It's, it's just, I, like I said, it's, it's sad and it's scary and it's, uh, you know, that dude's, that dude's literally wandering out here. Let me, um, are you watching the stream? Yeah, I'm watching the stream, okay. but it is muted. Yeah, that's fine. You don't need to be. Okay. So seriously, this is, I, I'm not shitting you. He showed up to like a random location in the middle of the night to fist fight a dude. You know what I, I I appreciate the boldness of still wearing a collared sh shirt with the leather jacket. Um, <laughs> you know, I, it just it's like, dude, this isn't which crystals represent Marxism, Leninism. Uh, did you read the chat? It was psychotic. No, I didn't read the fucking chat. Um, it, it just, dude, he's gonna kill somebody. He's gonna kill somebody. You know, you know what's funny is I, 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 I'm actually going the other way around. I think he gets killed like an idiot. Well, I think that he counts as somebody. 
I, you know what? That's fair, but that's, you know, semantics. <laughs> well, uh, you know. <laughs> um, all right. So let me um, fucking, yeah. And I forget who it was. I said, you know, like, I don't want to be here for the I told you so stream. Like, I'm like, in, I will do that stream because I've been saying this for a while now. Like, a while, while this dude is not like, I, again, I'm not qualified. I'm not in no way, shape or form. Can you diagnose at a distance? I am in no way, shape or form qualified to render any sort of decision, judgment or opinion. All I know is that like, we all have that sort of instinct in us as human beings that tells us, uh, I need to back away from this. This is crazy. Yeah. Right. It, it's okay to say that someone's acting batshit insane without diagnosing them as bad shit insane. Yeah. Like that's, I, I don't need to be near this Buddhist. Uh, are you near your computer now? Get in, get in the fucking voice VC Buddhist. If you want to do some uh, zomboid, we're doing some zomboid. Ooh, let's do some zomboid. I, I could, I crave that. Um, someone needs to reach has his father. <laughs> some other streamers don't take what he's doing seriously. And it concerns me. Yeah. That's, that's it, We also, I dude, I fucking, I, I level, level the fucking accusation at like prime and fucking Dylan Burns and that sort of thing. I'm like, you are exploiting him. You're exploiting an un, a, a, a mentally unwell individual. Straight up. I mean, honestly, like half of their fucking like, yeah. Oh, how, how spicy, how spicy do I want to be tonight? I, I straight up called them psych. I, I called them sociopathic grifter fucks who are exploiting the mentally unwell. Yeah. It's like half of their panelists just aren't. Oh, well, yeah, they're just not like that. Like, for the average person that's watching those streams, which, mind you, not a lot, but, you know, for the average person watching those streams, the fun is just watching crazy people, like, get yeah. psych psychopathic with each other in a yeah. call and just yell crazy shit. Yeah, I said that. I said, everybody knows, has says crazy shit. Crazy shit falls out of House's mouth. And all those shows are is a, a P.T. Barnum vaudevillian sideshow-esque methodology of entertaining people to drive advertising for specific channels. Like it's straight grifting and in the, the sphere of online influence, crazy sells, crazy gets clicks, has produces crazy, f just falls out of his fucking mouth naturally. And so of course they put has on. I mean, yeah. And it's, it's literally, <laughs> it's, it's the definition of exploiting the mentally unwell, which I mean, for neoliberals is about par for the course. Right. Um. All right. So let's. <laughs> I swear to God, those. Fuck, I just. Mm, you know. Yeah. We. Uh. We. We had. Uh, it was actually a fucking solid stream across the board. Um. We didn't do any theory read. I didn't get into it because I really taxed my voice on the the fucking Matt Shea and the uh fucking Popo's Bizarre Adventures. We had some fun with the Popo's Bizarre Adventures. Um. And um. So. Let's see. Let's do anarchists play um, modded MP. Um, uh, West Point expansion. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I can spell today. I can, I can, I swear I can do it. Um, uh, Did you ever get Jay in the server? Um, no. I mean, he's on my, he's on my Steam list so we just yeah. haven't gotten um for a mod list all right there we go because i love those mods in single player um all right so let me do that and i should be yeah okay cool oh god it's okay yeah the fog's still out all right buddhist <laughs> invite and it's it's like Buddhist, it, uh, it, it's Buddhist. It's our standard fucking like fog. It's three fucking feet in front of your face situation. Christ. Um. Fun, fun times. Okay, so let me move you guys up there. Um, and I will move chat over here. Uh, take care of resolution. Um, <laughs> bring the beef and all the seasoning. Uh, like I literally thought he was a living joke, but now I understand better. Yeah. Latte. He was a living joke, uh, for a long time for all of us. I mean, he still kind of is, but the fact of the matter is, is that he's a mentally unwell living joke and yeah. we need to start treating him as such. 
So like, like we're there's not at politically least... losing grip of reality, and then there's losing grip of reality. Yeah. And for those of you wondering, how thick is the fog right now, Kai? Are you being? Are you exaggerating? No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I just like the stream. Oh boy. <laughs> this is this is how thick the fog is right now. It's absolutely yeah, brutal. Yeah, this is well, this this is what I this is what I call a Buddhist fog. Fucking <laughs> two Buddhists and I driving around in this shit. Like that's that's the first time we experienced it. You know what? Luckily with what I'm doing, that still shouldn't hinder my dude. The, the uh, grind Caboose played on. uh Caboose played some la late uh late last night. While we were winding down last night's night stream. By the way, uh Tuesdays and Thursdays now, for those of you like in community, <laughs> we're in London. Yeah, we are. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I made a, a decision last night after I was really tired, like I stretched because it's always like the Tuesdays and Thursday shows are late night. For those of you who don't know and you're new, like Latte and I don't know if uh, I forget the other guy's name who was new in here tonight that was really active. Um, I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 530 p.m. Pacific, but I do Tuesday, Thursdays, 1130 p.m. Pacific. And, you know, doing a schedule like that, that that's sort of like drastically different and stuff like that can fuck with you. So I was really tired last night. So you know how it gets. I get weird when I get tired. Um, and so we, I basically took a, took a hit of uh, perfectly legal tobacco because um, we took a hand count at the beginning of the stream. I'm like, do you want to just get weird with this shit? And so we did the Hot or Not Dictators and Revolutionaries edition. Big hit, by the way. Um, thank you again, yeah, Am I noticed. Amorous. Um, yeah, people fucking loved it. Um, uh, you know, having, having the, I, I was like, dude, we're going to be completely paternalistically reductionist, ableist, objectify these people, right? Like 100%. We're just going to objectify the shit out of them. Um, and people had a good time, a good time with it. And I, I sort of decided, I'm like, you know what? Tuesday, Thursdays are like proudly radical after dark. Some dude came in, Caboose and I were on the, uh, on the server and he was like, you know, fucking, he was advocating for like fiscal conservatism and I were like, Oh God, fiscal conservatism. And he's like, well, you don't even know what it means. I'm like, yeah, you're right, man. I, I have no idea what it means. It's not like I have 450 episodes where I talk about these things on a regular basis. I'm like, I'm not here to prove anything to you. Um, right now this is probably radical after dark and I'm kind of high and I'm playing zomboid with a buddy and we're having a good time and it's the night show and it just sort of got a vibe going that I was like, you know what, this, this should be a thing on a regular basis. The, the night shows should be a more relaxed, loose, goofy sort of, you know, probably radical after dark sort of situation rather than the more like doom scrolling police popos bizarre adventures holy shit we're all gonna die climate catastrophe thing that the show normally is um so yeah i just sort of made a decision last night that's one of the changes that we're gonna be doing um that, you know what i'm totally on board yeah uh, yeah, dude also said he's a goy too. So there's also that. Yeah, Ed Beast said fiscal conservatism isn't political is probably my favorite quote from last night. Um, yeah, I, I challenged the dude. It's like I, you know, he was like, "You don't even know what it means." You're fucking. I'm like, "You're right. You're right. You're 100 percent right." I have no idea what fiscal conservatism means, nor do I understand the uh, uh, philosophical origins of conservatism, uh, conservatism as a whole. You got me. I admit wholeheartedly on stream, I have no idea. Hey, the fog's clearing. I have no idea what you what you are talking about. And uh, please, so I can be a better person and a better streamer uh, and be more politically involved. Please explain to me what fiscal conservatism and you know the philosophical origins of conservatism are as a whole and he's like oh got him he doesn't know and i'm like yeah, yeah please but though i'm telling you i don't know could you tell me and i just fucking and then i just checked out and chat just fucking had at him like because he, he didn't know <laughs> like he just didn't know like he at no point would he actually discuss any of this stuff he was just looking for his gotcha moment with me and i just handed it to him on a silver platter and he didn't know what to do with it <laughs> i i don't understand those people and i refuse to frankly Yeah, it was it was a good moment, and yeah, latte. Uh, yeah, it was just you know I've been doing this for a couple of years now, and you know for various formats and platforms and that sort of thing. And yeah, it was just a decision I made last night. I was like, you know what, the the, the night shows, I'm not gonna put any sort of like emotional load work into. I'm gonna be tired. It's gonna get weird, and I shouldn't feel like put out by that. I should just embrace it. And so I, you know, yeah, it's what I did. 
and it's what I'm going to continue to do. So the Wednesday, uh, the Tuesday, Thursday shows are just going to be probably radical after dark and we'll get, I figure we'll get a, a mock up for a new, um, intro, even if I have to do it myself, even though I hate doing those fucking intros. Um, if I have to do a fucking, we'll do a proudly radical after dark. So that way it's not like front loading the show with like, you know, climate change, police, greed, that sort of thing that the front, uh, the, the intro does now, uh, front loading expectations. Yeah. He yeah. actually did say, got him. He unironically put all capitals went, got him. And I fucking caboose. And I had a good laugh on air. I was like, Jesus, goddamn Christ. He unironically just said, got him. Caboose was like, really? I'm like, yep. It's like, Jesus, fuck me. Some people- some people really can't handle themselves. Eh? No, hundred percent. It was, you know, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's, that's the, the change there as far as that goes. <clears throat> um, it's just, you know, yeah, I, I, f- I figure we got, we've got the hot or not. Amra said he'll, he'll keep, he'll keep making some new ones. He's got ideas for other tier lists. Um, so we're going to keep doing the hot or not, uh, anarchist raids, hot or not sort of, uh, segments. So last night was episode one, dictators and revolutionaries. Um, and dude, there were some controversial ones, dude, the fuck I was like, dude, I put Che Guevara and Trump uh, and Trump on the same level. That, you know what? I'm going to have to disagree with you. You Respectfully. can, di- you can disagree all you want. And I told people, I said, this is my list, not yours. Uh, it was because somebody was like, do we get to vote on it? I'm like, no, this is me. Like, this is this is all this is, is my opinion as a just an angry, flamboyant gay dude. Right. Like, that's you know what? I, I'm just saying I, I, I fail. There, there's a small bit uh, of trust. That OK. Just ebbed away. Uh, but you have to see the photos that was given to me because that was the condition that I, I ah. operated under was I will judge them solely on the fo- uh, the time, place and the condition of this photo. Never anything future past that sort of thing i'm looking solely at the photo that is given to me so what did you get like old fart Guevara? i got older i got older che and younger trump <sighs> yeah and younger trump is not terrible looking and older che is fucking horrible so like yeah did you get biden like no young biden? no uh um we didn't get any of that um but like modern uh, modern politicians is one that he's got an idea for uh, as well. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, that's. Oh, you're you're kid. Oh, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get it. Get to God. There's so there's some good loot here, but this bitch needs to fucking die already. Here we go. Um, See that bulletproof vest. Oh, there's a few things here, dude. There's a hiking bag. There's fucking. We'll get some military boots for folks. Uh, let's see, we've bat, black digital watch, some more military boosts. So you just got to fuck a gas mask. Dude, we are going to kit some newbies out. Um, so Buddhist, our, um, our fucking base is the, is the place that, uh, you and I found the, the, uh, okay, excellent. Yeah. We're in West point expansion and it's the, um, straight up. It's the fucking, whatever that like commercial facility is. It's great. Excellent. Um, okay. Um, yeah, we have just everything we need. Um, do I, am I already rocking? No, I'm not. I'm barehanded. So where are the leather gloves? Uh, younger Che is greater than younger Trump. Yeah. Well, I wasn't given younger Che. That's not what I was given. Um, like I said, I worked with what I had. That was that was the condition that I operated under. Nothing outside of that moment. Um, and uh, Chuchescu won, by the way. Um, they gave me young Chuchescu, which for me is a 10. He's a good looking dude. That's Yugoslavia, right? Yeah. Or I think, yeah. Um... Yeah, it was, it was, I was like, fucking, he's a good looking dude. Um, he's a good looking dude. He didn't age well, but I mean, at the, the picture that was given to me, I was like, I'd bang the shit out of him. Are you kidding me? Um, and then Amorous tried to fucking set me up, like straight up tried to fucking set me up. He gave me a couple of them, like uh, Assad and Kim Jong-un. Good looking photos, good looking photos. They were both in fucking high school. 
Yeah. I was like, dude, they're going on level one. Like, what the fuck is this bullshit? You're trying to fucking set me up with some pedo trap shit? On stream. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I fucking, yeah, I, I had established That's that dirty. level uh, level four was my cutoff. That like four, uh, anything above the four, I'd probably bang. And so initially I moved them down to like four. I was like, all right, we'll put them at four. Because I've already stated anything under the five, I'm just not touching. But in the end, I put them at one. I'm like, they just, they got to move because I needed the, the, the level four category. <laughs> um, it's great. Yeah, straight up tried to trap me. Christian Bale or Ryan Gosling? Ryan Gosling. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going Ryan Gosling 10 times out of 10 on that one. Uh, yeah. No blame. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't help Bale as fucking psycho. Um all right. Oh wait, I think of psycho actors. I actually got to see that new uh Batman. And? It it's a little liberal, but it's all right. Um were you able to see anything? Because that's the, the, the criticism I've heard over and over. Is this is this movie dark enough yet? Jesus Christ. Um you know what? It's not like classic Batman Edge, which I kind of respect, but like no, I mean literally, visually dark. <laughs> oh yeah, it's really fucking dark. Yeah, like the the the, the, the joke going around is that basically um, the next Batman movie is going to be a podcast. Yeah, like it, it's just going because somebody did the the screenshots. Uh, somebody did screenshots from Batman classic all the way to the the most recent one. And they're like, it's just every single one gets darker and darker and darker and darker. And you're like, dude, there's going to come a day when the next Batman movie is going to be a fucking podcast. You know what? I will say, though, I it, it does. There were a lot of like uh, interior scenes and like uh, <laughs> where... Uh, Am I? They seem to just like let the light flow, but that was more so when uh, Batman was being Bruce than he was like uh, being Batman. Um. Okay. So, oh, I get the symbol marker back, and okay. So, yes. Okay. So they fixed this. Cool. Um, books. There you go. All right. I'll come back. Um, all right, so now boycotting Google Fiber due to ads is going to happen a lot. Uh, <laughs> uh We need a director's cut where they just raise the brightness. I know, right? Fuck it. <laughs> Be funny. Okay, so this is, I guess, a post office probably, maybe. Um, all right, I'll just have a smoke on the way back. Okay, so it's right next door to the fucking... Uh, thing uh buddhist are you in need of anything do you how are you doing um i'm good i'm up here by these like richie apartment sections in a zippy market um okay you know what latte you're gonna be disappointed if you actually want to see robert pants and, and zoe kravitz i don't even know what a zoe kravitz looks like and robert pattinson isn't good looking in my opinion I think I think there's like a certain look, like he's he's definitely like he's one of those people where it's like if he's your type you'll fuck with him heavy, but if he's not your type he's just kind of meh. Hashtag Team Jacob. Yeah. I'm a, I'm I'm on the werewolf side on that one. Even though isn't the werewolf yeah, I, like a pedophile in that movie? Yes. Yeah. Fucking weirdest. Goddamn. Those fucking novels are so fucking weird. They did not give any solitary shit. God damn, this shit is this shit it gets weird. It does. Uh yeah, Kavaz, ads don't make me buy shit either. Um Alright, so I have dude, I just like scored like all of like starter stuff for people. Also a bunch of guns. Nice. Um to like all the guns. All right, so let's see. What do we have? Oh, no, wrong bag, wrong bag. Okay, so 
Wait, what do I have? Oh, I already have one. Uh, Cat, are you still rocking? What size backpack are you rocking? I got the duffel. I got the duffel bag and the satchel. Okay, I got two large backpacks here, which have the thirty-five capacity and the ninety-five weight reduction on them. You know what? I'll I'll make my way back. <laughs> Just give me a second. I also got a bullet. I, I got bulletproof vest, leather gloves, gas masks. Um, fucking. <laughs> Yeah, whatever you need. If you didn't spawn in as like a you know somebody who has like military boots and shit like that, I got gotcha. you. Um, all right. Now I need to. We need to. This is becoming. This could be a bookshelf over here. We're gonna make this into a bookshelf. Um. All right. Hey, what's up, basement PJ? Um. Yeah, there's a. Uh, I read those books to see what the fuss about. Big mistake, dude. Yeah, I was like, that's that's one of the weirdest thing. I did, I never read the books. I didn't see the fucking movies. I didn't see any of that shit. But um, that was creepy as shit when I learned that. I was like, wait, what the fucking like really? Yeah, they're like yeah, the 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 fucking werewolf is a pedophile. I'm like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then I, re I I flash back to that whole like team Jacob team. I don't remember the other one's name. Um, yeah, me neither. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I was like, Jesus, goddamn Christ. So there was like literally a, like a, a social debate going on as to whether which one of these we would prefer. <laughs> one of them is a goddamn, like literally falling in love with a baby. Like what the fuck, man? Um, all right. It's kind of, it's kind of weird how we've just let like books just go completely unregulated. Uh, I just hate love triangle. Uh, you know, I, uh, I just, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it, but like, this is, this is this thing with like lolly, like anime lolly porn and shit like that. I'm like, look, I'm not going to fucking censor it, but all I'm saying is that like, if there's a motherfucker in society that ne you need to keep your eye on, probably it's, it's the people making and consuming that stuff, right? Like if there's ever a filter that you could use for yourself to apply to everyday life and be like, look, um, you know, I'm not going to censor books and fucking art and that sort of thing, but that motherfucker makes lolly porn. <laughs> like, <laughs> right? Like that's, you know, keep an eye on that guy. Let's see. Uh, holy shit! Am I going to be able to copy of that all in, uh, all in time? Um, ba a base of PJ. Um, if you want, you can go over to the Discord server, exclamation Discord, and you can queue off the command in say like the gaming channel, and then you can take your time copying and pasting it. Um, so it could be a lot easier for you that way if you want. You know, couldn't you like hypothetically make like a Steam list of like mods? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know how fucking Steam operates. To be frank, like a Steam community page. You, you know what I mean? Okay, you were able to get to your PC and grab it real quick. All right, cool. Okay. Um, there's probably a couple missing too. <laughs> also, welcome, base yeah. of PG. <clears throat> uh, you can make a collection in the workshop of all these mods. You think? <clears throat> um, okay, I'll I'll look into that one of these days. Yeah, because that'd be nice. You could just queue off the Steam link instead. All right. I didn't even know that was an option. So, duly noted, duly noted. Um, all right, let me, yeah, okay, cool. Just need that up there. All right, now, this is- I've also evolved, by the way. Um, I've, I've started going into random houses and disassembling them, but I'm also cooking ah. instead of just eating random canned food. Oh, also, um, I found uh, you can, like, there's a, a meta on just cooking, like, random shit. Uh, apparently there's like some really basic cooking that you can do and then you just start yeah. grinding cooking that way. Yeah. For example, like for example, I just cooked a can of soup in a pot and that counts. Um, it's probably in some of their social functions and the workshop portion of the app and whatnot. All right. I'll give it a look. Thanks for the heads up on uh, for, across the board for everybody who just gave that heads up. Um, Based. Also, I love this animation of just drinking a pot of soup. 
Yeah, I didn't You're just it. fucking slurping down the whole ass pot. Uh, there's also an interrupt meta that I've yet to like practice, but basically I was uh, looking and reading and like looking and reading. Um, and basically, um, okay, so the, the attack animation happens in three parts. There's the swing, the recovery, and then a pause, right? Um, and so you can actually, um, there's a way to interrupt it, right if you time the if you time just correctly and you do a like sort of a button mash on the push it won't activate the push but it will cancel the recovery and the uh, and the pause so you can get an even faster swing out of it you know what i i didn't know that but good to know yeah it's it's there's some meta on that um, yeah it's one of those you don't pass up yeah zippy Good luck with your uh, good luck with your chores, and if you sleep, sleep well. Love you, Zippy. Um, let's see. All right, so I've got. Uh, I'm starting to starting to arrange some of this shit. I've got a bookshelf going. Um, I've got a gun shelf going, and so we start to have some of this stuff. Normally, we pri prioritize books. Um, early on, but the this was sort of a this was a battleground <laughs> at first. <laughs> right. This was there was there was no safe haven. Cat and I fought for this location. <laughs> um. Um. Uh, yeah, on the auto shop east of West Point, were you able to sledge the gun shop walls? Um. um actually have no we're clue. not we're we're not in west point we're in the west point expansion base yeah it's part of the mod yeah we're in west point expansion right now here there's west point we're down here um and so were we able to we'd be able to have we no yeah we just kind of we've kind of like we have a couple of sledges just like hanging around but we've just like Use them sparingly. Um, gun, come with me. Yeah, which begs the question. I forget where I fucking dropped those sledgehammers. There's so many fucking crates. There they are. Okay, they're right here. Cool, cool, cool. Um, apparently this is apartment building with the spawn. Yeah, we uh we we walked by there. Um. There's yeah, there's apartments. Yeah, I remember we killed a few people there. Yeah, we didn't we didn't stay there for too long though. Yeah, we're we're down the streets from the apartments essentially. Um We're between the Whole Foods and the uh the the like country store. Um just fucking it's a Whole Foods. I'm sorry. It's just a Whole Foods. Partner and I tried to set up a base in the apartment building, and uh, it's a mess. Yeah, I, I spent some time there um, on another iteration here, Buddhist. Um, we'll get you kitted out. All righty. Um, we got the rooftop garden already going as well. Um, here is this one. So get yourself a uh, get yourself a large backpack and a satchel. Um, and then get yourself some like I don't know military boots and some gloves and you know that sort of thing. And there's a spiked baseball bat already in there for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, and there's food basically everywhere. We have a kitchen going. Uh, if you want to grind out some stuff, we've got a treadmill. Um, that'll The treadmill helps you level your fitness and strength. Um, and uh, like right next door is the Whole Foods, um, which is just chock full of food. But we also have a kitchen in there as well that we're slowly transferring to and stockpiling in. Um, and then just if you need tools, just start looking through containers. There's every tool known to man there. Um, Sweet. what did you spawn in as? What's your character profile? Um, let me see. First, let me transfer some stuff because I, I was, uh, over, over encumbered whenever I came. Um, <laughs> yeah, the apartment building. Dude, I put some work into that apartment building on a single player run base. Dude, I absolutely got fucking uh, the expanded helicopter event just completely screwed me. Uh, I, I, I turned on debug just so I could track it. 538 zombies just in like out front. What's up, Gapunk? How was work? 
good, my man? Yeah, 538 zombies just in front of the apartments. Yeah, fuck that. I'm good. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I turned I, I turned on debug just so I could see it. I'm like, let me give me a heat map for this shit. It's fucking absolutely ridiculous. Fuck Kellogg's is all Got Punk has to say. <laughs> Don't blame you. Yeah, fuck yeah, preach. Uh, okay, so I'm Claude Torres. I was unemployed. I have high thirst. I'm a smoker. Weak stomach. Short-sighted. Uh, I know how to make fermented food with cat eyes. Uh, dexterous. Outdoorsman. Strong and fit. The fermented food is uh, not worth it. Um, so, okay. you, so, you know, those magazines are a dime a dozen. I find them everywhere. They spawn in pretty easily. Oh. Um, so yeah, I, I, I started doing the, like the jerk one for the cured meats and the, like that sort of stuff early on. And then I kept finding the magazines over and over and over. I'm like, you know what? This is a waste of a point. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you can ferment feline eyeballs. Uh, you ferment, you can ferment a lot of stuff in this game. Um, fucking, we can, we can make prison hooch. Um, <laughs> also there's energy drinks. So, you know, Oh, um, yeah. All right. I need to, are there keys on here? Yes. Okay. I need all of these keys. And then I need. Um, you know what's funny is I can deconstruct a door, but I can't pick it. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. There's. Um, yeah. So you know, there's like energy drinks. There's like Red Bulls and monsters and that sort of shit. Um, and like the ener the the monster is like minus fifteen fatigue, minus eight hunger, minus fifty thirst, and plus fifteen endurance. And then the Red Bull has its own stats. Uh, okay. So, yeah, just know. Like, if you need a quick boost, that sort of shit's in the game now. Um, it's a deeper eastern expansion. Ours only covered the apartment building laundromat. And the, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, this is, dude, this, this expansion has got a whole bunch of shit in it. Um, it it's, its map is completely fucked, as you can see by here. Like, uh, don't ignore these. Like, this is just, this is part of the marking shit that has fucked up. Um... Right, but like the 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 map is just not filled in. Yeah, uh, actually, it's kind of fun. It, you know, on a on a game that has like we have the mini map for everything. You know, having a space where you just have to explore and find it. It's it, you know, it's it's not the end of the world, right? This is 1995. You don't have Apple Maps and shit like that. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Guns, 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 guns. We've got the Hello, Cassidy. What's up, Cassidy? Map quest though. Not in 1995, homie. Again, uh, not in 1995. Um. Oh, a fucking chainsaw. All right, chainsaw's coming oh, with me. Do you have the technology storage yet? Uh, I, I actually, you know what, if you go in, when you walk in the, uh, the, the garage and you turn right immediately into that closet, I've started stockpiling like radios and walkie talkies and shit like that. Well, yeah. For, Cause for me, it's like, I want to start s storing these odds and ends I'm getting from deconstructing electronics. Yeah. You could the light bulbs and shit. You put it in there. All right. got a third fucking sledgehammer. Dude, I'd never seen fucking sledgehammers in all of our playthroughs and now we got three of them. Jesus. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, I'm not complaining about that. You don't. You, oh, nope. I got a fourth one. Uh, you really don't. Like, you really kind of just want to keep it somewhere. It's super heavy, and it's like you get like four swings out of it before your character's tired. And they're oh slow-ass swings. Okay. I bet you they're like insta-kills, though. I mean, half of my swings with my axe are insta-kills, so. <laughs> That's fair. Um, I remain faithful to the fucking the uh, the spike baseball bat though. <clears throat> All right. Uh, more like Rand McNally. Yes, just got home from a round trip to Nola to pick up my bestie so we can dog sit while we're in Vegas. <clears throat> 
That's this weekend, right, what? Cassidy? Is, is that this weekend? Oh, God. I'm going to have conflicting. Oh, God. I might have to. Oh, God. I might have. Oh, God. This could be fucking. This could be weird. This could be, um, yes. Cassidy, I might end up bringing somebody with me. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Cassidy might get a peek at. You arrive Sunday. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> it's about to get weird. I like to keep. I don't. I don't like to cross those. You know. I keep the world separate. I, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Shots anyone? Weird night. You know what? Fucking. I'll. You got. Uh, give me until I get back to base. I will join you. I will join you. I don't do shots, but oh shit! Hang on. Um. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll get back to, uh, don't cross the streams. Um, yeah, I, I, let me get back to base, Scott, and I will take a fucking hit with you. I don't, yeah, I don't do shots, but I'll take a hit. I wonder if one of your mods fixed the sledgehammer MP spawn rates on the vanilla game base. We had it to, uh, cheese a little bit to get one of the, <laughs> due to the bug. Yeah, dude, I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's a patch or one of the bugs or what. Uh, I will tell you, we've completely fucking buffed, uh, um, uh, durability on this server we duh, that is the worst fucking thing in this game is the weapon durability it's stupid fire axe is breaking in like f fucking 15 to 35 swings and shit like that and i'm not even doing ground hits with them dude the dirt weapon durability in this game is stupid um so yeah we've completely completely buffed durability uh that was that was just a that was a necessity um so, yeah. Like, axes don't break that quickly. <laughs> Sorry. Fire axes, no less. Yeah, fucking fire axes. Jesus, goddamn Christ. All right. Um, sledgehammers are over here. All right, so... Sledgehammer goes here. And I might as well... Oh, shit. Let me make my way back to the base so I can get that storage. Or the them new bags. Yeah. Um, okay, so we'll do that, and then I'm pretty sure the gas can was over here. Am I keeping gas cans over here? Yeah, I'm keeping gas cans over here. And then we'll unpack the gun case. Oh, shit, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, God, it's going to do it. All right, get rid of the guns. I'm going to fucking break my goddamn leg. Um... All right. Oh, we got an AK-47. <laughs> uh, got some. All right. Um, ammo canisters. Why is that not? Oh, because I'm still fucking transferring shit. Um. All right. By the way, boys, there's like a small crowd gathering outside. Yeah, they can go fuck themselves. All right, what do we got? Um, <laughs> yeah, get your short weight up. Got to give them the old butter knife to the temple. Yeah, we're well beyond the fucking point of doing that sort of shit. Um, yeah, fuck short blade anyways. Let's see. Pick them out. All right, what do we got? Um... Knobs Creek was my go-to when I drank. <laughs> Good choice. Um, all right. Cool. All right. That looks like. All right. I'm 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 at least not overweight anymore, <laughs> and breaking my literal legs. <laughs> uh, guys, where's the uh, where's the uh, bags? Oh, uh, okay. Or like you see the, the fucking tip of the iceberg as you come in. Yeah. All right. Uh, right next to it, top one. Oh, okay. Uh, right here. Oh, I see it. Large backpack. 
So do I wear the large backpack with the hiking bag? No, fuck the hiking bag. What you want is the satchel and the large bag. Okay. Um, okay. So let me have a smoke here, get some sit- shit situated, and I will join you here in a second. Got. Um, all right, it was my lighter remaining. Oh, fucking, you know what? I'll keep both of these on me. All right, there we go. And let's get some food in this motherfucker so I can. Oh, you know what? I don't need to fucking. What am I doing? Uh, I'm carrying 11 burritos. <laughs> it, was a, it became a thing. Nice. It became a thing last night. I started collecting burritos. Uh, sometimes you got to go on a burrito collection quest. What are you going to do? Um, I mean, not a bad source of just general nutrition. I'm realizing, I'm realizing I'm better being in this and other communities than going out. Fucking hell. God, it, dude, God, don't waste your fucking money at the bars and shit like that. Like, you, you just stay here with us. Yeah, bars are a trap. I want a burrito. This is, this is God. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, and then I need to find a place for the dead people fucking keys. I always try and keep a memorial going. Are you going to start doing a journal for this one, too? Um, not yet, but maybe. Um, okay, so... Where's the electronic odds and ends, by the way? Uh, fucking over here. In the closet, as soon as you walk into the right. No, over there. To the right. Oh, uh, uh, we're desynced. We're desynced like a motherfucker. Okay. There you go. Um, uh, got, well, thank you, but, um, got, tell you what, got, if you want to gift subs, all I can tell you is take the amount of subs that you wanted to gift and go donate that money on the, um, coffee. on the coffee. Like that's, that's, that's all I can tell you, my man. Thank you either way. Uh, and here, I'll, I'll, I'll get you the link easier. So there you go. Got just click the thing and then go to the page. Um, your PayPal. So it's like, you know, easy. Okay. So ammo comes with me. Pistols come with me. Guns. There's a gun rack over here. We got going. Okay. Um, that's over here. The books are over here and the guns are over here. Um, first shelf is books. And then second shelf is guns and ammo. Uh, what did Latte say? My stepsister and I went out the other night, and this businessman hit on us and invited us to a steakhouse. It's wild out there. Um, all right, hang on. Did I? 22? Nice. I can make myself a little salad right now. Um, yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, there's, there's a fair amount of, like, everything. All right, I need to, this character needs to fucking, I'm fed. Now he just needs to rest. So Dave Herring can just rest. Um, and then I will join Gott in some imbibery. Oh, hello. I'm already hungry. This is going to be, I may end up getting some fruit salad. I hate eating on stream, but fucking, I may end up eating on stream. So you know what? Give me a minute since I'm in a secured location. Uh, and I'll be back with some fruit salad and, uh, then we'll, I'll, we will do this. Got punk. We'll get fucking weird up in this bitch. Oh, also hang on before I forget. Um, there's my earbuds cat. Um, Karina's not here, but, uh, time to duck. Um, I, uh, last night's night stream cause we need like a night mod sort of situation. So I put it to the community and that sort of thing. Like who wants to volunteer time to duck's been around for a while. Uh, anyway, we had a few volunteers, but time hit me up in, uh, DMS. And I told, uh, I told him that like, I don't really do the promotion thing. Like it's, it's sort of like, so you and Karina kind of need to t- talk to time to duck and see if mod. All right. Um, I mean, that's the thing is I'm not around for the for the night stream, so I don't know who's a regular crowd there. Yeah, exactly. So, like, um, so, so you like, know, yeah, yeah, he knows the deal. Like, you just got to be there. You got to pay attention to chat and that sort of thing. You got to be a regular. And Time to Duck's been around for a while now, so fuck yeah. it. Um, I mean, honestly, modding for this channel just isn't that hard. No, it's just not. Just like 
Um, yeah, just, so yeah, you just, you know, I, I, like I told him, I said, I don't have, like, I don't really do final approval on that sort of stuff. So like, you know, but yeah, you and Karina just need to get with time to duck and see if, you yeah, know, like, the feel is right. All right. Yeah, that's back. no problem. I can link up with Karina for that. Me and Karina generally have a good feel for that sort of thing by now. <clears throat> Fuck, is my character still a smoker? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's why that's why they're still stressed. All right, well. I'm going to just have an, expert, an emergency cigarette. Ah, fuck. Do you have a lighter, Buddhist, that I can borrow? I do, yes. Yes, thank you. You're you're very welcome. Because okay. my boy is is fucking... She's not she's not doing good. She's... Uh, she's oh, she's, no. Yeah, she's having a rough one right now. Just the boredom and stress. Like, just that is getting her. The boredom and stress. Yeah. Like at the my same guy's time, feeling pretty bored right now too. There we go. That killed the anxiety that my character was feeling. You can keep the lighter too. I don't know. All right, it. for sure. They're fucking everywhere, anyways. On me. Yeah, they're yeah. like on every other corpse. Yeah, those corpses. Those corpses tend to have better, better uh, gear than you'd think. Right, like yeah, almost every. That. Yeah, almost every single bulletproof vest that I've gotten in this game has been off a dead corpse. As oh. <laughs> Straight up. Corpses have not failed me when I need a bulletproof vest. Also agreed, Lilati. Fucking right wingers talk about anything while drunk is uh, really eye opening. I don't recommend it, you know, just due to like health, you know, health and safety concerns. But like, look, <laughs> you gotta experience it at least a couple times. Yeah, see matches on this first corpse. Yeah, we should we should clean these corpses. Just like let <laughs> let's let's take a look and Oh, this one's yeah, see, got magazines on it and pistol. <laughs> yeah, this one's got sixteen cigarettes on it. Oh god, I'm dying. I I don't <laughs> look, man. I tried taking a hit like the other night. My butt like it was a baby hit. Like a little baby hit, just blame barely touching the bowl at all. Just oh. couldn't handle it. Dude, it was entirely too large. Oh, and I <laughs> held it, and I held it because I wanted to switch. Because uh, I wanted to switch the camera position to get the smoke on the camera. You know what? <laughs> I've 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 uh, fully bitten. I've I've <sighs> fully bought into not holding the hit anymore. No, you should not. You should not. Yeah. Um, there's actually an optimal window. Uh, like there, a pulmonologist looked into it, and there's an optimal window, and it's something like five to six seconds. It, you you've maxed it. Like, there's nothing that's going to happen past that point. Um, I believe it. So, yeah. <clears throat> oh, fucking By a. the way, we're, we're, clearing, we're, we're checking these bodies for loot. There's surprisingly good loot on them. Good I on, found yeah. vitamins on one of them. And that toast Vitamins, was, cigarettes, lighters. I mean, we're, we're kind of, like, we're kind of... I, 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 you know what we need to have happen right now? Is fucking rain. That's what needs to happen. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm going to have to fucking actually hand water this shit. You know what? I'm not doing it solo. <laughs> fucking one of you bitches is helping me. We're going to find it. We're going to find it. with that. I need to get my farming up. Um, That will not do anything for your farming. All farming is leveled through harvest. Not that is, that is, that's. Not a that's... single thing you do in preparation for harvesting your crops will contribute XP to your character. That is some bullshit. Yep. The entire process is completely XP-less. Oh, fuck it. I'll help you anyways. Um, fucking... All knows, right. maybe, maybe this is one thing that won't make my character severely depressed. What we need to find you is... I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh, what you need to be looking like for pail? is an empty watering can. It'll be a green icon. You know what? Knowing our luck, it's probably not going to be in here. Well, it's worth looking. Um, of course. 
Oh, here's a couple of guns. Uh, <laughs> yeah, speaking of guns, uh, apparently Buddhists found like a, a few guns like on some of those corpses. Yeah. Uh, yeah, gun gun production, uh, uh, gun rate is up uh, in this server iteration. We nice. uh, we have a higher spawn rate uh, for guns because it is Kentucky in 1995. The place the is gun spawn rate American. Yeah, the guns. The place is coated in guns. Like, are you shitting me? Like, like this fucking, I, I don't understand the default settings of this game whatsoever. It, it, it doesn't make sense lore wise. And so like, you just have to tweak a whole bunch of shit because for me, this game, the closer this game gets to modeling reality, the better this game is. That's the whole point. Try and get it as close as possible. And fucking having guns that just aren't around in Kentucky in 1995 in the middle of a crisis. This place is coded. I found, I found an empty bucket, but that's not a watering can. No, it's not. That's fucking stupid. I should be able to use a bucket. I, you can, but not really. Painful. Yes. Like, it's really, like, you really don't want to do it, man. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, you're right. It's going to be, it's going to be that way. Um, I, I need to double check that. All right. There should be at least two RPGs within a few miles of you. No, that's real. That's real. Yeah, that's not bullshit. Like, that's a real fucking thing. Brett, like, that's for real. There like, would explaining be... to Europeans what it's like here in the States just doesn't, it just, that, they don't get it. No. They'll never understand. They do not comprehend the just prolific nature of firearms in America. Oh. Uh Breaking news, the Idaho trans build died in the egg, according to Ride Dripping. Hey. Yeah, fuck them. Uh, Did you see that lawmaker asking that 14-year-old if she was going to have bottom surgery? Yeah. <laughs> this is a tasteful moment in American political discourse. Like, Jesus, fuck. Why? <laughs> like, it's, it's, you know, for the party obsessed with, like, pedophilia and shit, you know? They act a certain way. <laughs> it's projection. It's projection. It's just projection. Call it what it is. That's projection. We all know it. We all know it. That's projection. <laughs> Dude, that's a lot of that shit going on in there. Um, all right. This is rough. The I, I can think of like a couple of places we can check that Yeah, we, I, I I already I already left the base. I'm I'm, I'm looking. Uh, the the country store, the 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 gas station. I don't know where these places are. Oh, if you hang out, if you straight out the ba front of the base and then hang left, there'll be a single yeah. pump gas station down the road that is oh, actually okay. a country store. So I'm heading the right way already. Um, yeah, you are. I think you are. Okay. You be you be wanting to look on your left. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> Dude, Buddhist, do you remember the gas station? The country store? You and I... Yeah. You and I Am I being sent to clear horde? No, 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 no. We, I'm pretty sure it cleared out. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, you remember that place. Like, we both died there. Yes. Dude, that was, that was fucking rough. Because, yeah, B Buddhist was the, the one who, like, I did the, 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 all the building of these settings with. We reset this world a bunch of times. <laughs> And one of our iterations, um, we oh, were it was Kai, hella you stormy. Kai, you graduated from Tony Hawk. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh no, no, no! You're no. being compared to Eminem. Oh no, no, no! This is okay. So this is a this is I I love this by the way. Um, he, basically, last night Will Alexander came through, 
and drop this just absolute insanity of a fucking like because that dude comes through with those creative writing shits and just drops this like chunk and it is this hyper repetitive just bit and but it keeps repeating eminem frank sinatra etc uh, you eminem frank sinatra etc and it's it's all like shtick of like uh, i've got a dude who wants to sell you wooden dolls that look like you or i have a friend who's into 3d printing that could make you eminem frank sinatra <laughs> etc over and over and over there's like four or five or maybe even six repetitions of this and he just Alexander just changed out the variables, right? And but it always ended with you, Eminem, Frank Sinatra, etc. And so one of these crazy motherfuckers, I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. One of these crazy motherfuckers was there and immediately pulls the account. And like I the follow pops. You, Eminem, Frank Sinatra, etc. Ace. Yes. That's a, that's a nice bit. I like that shit. Yes. It also, by the way, I don't think there's a watering can here. Oh, brutal. Um, Although see. there are seeds and shit here. And yeah, stuff see, you could use for fertilizer. That's, that's what I was, that was my instinct. Was they're going to have gardening stuff. Yeah, you weren't off the base, just no watering can. Ah, oh, brutal. I'm checking upstairs right now. That's yeah. That's the uh, the residence. Oh, okay. Well, it's either way. Maybe, maybe. Oh, wait, there's a back store over here. Got one. Got oh, one. Oh yeah. Oh, did I miss it? It's in the back. It's in the back. Ah shit! I missed it. Yeah. First first shelf I in the back. I checked it. I checked there. I I I just like yeah. lazily zoomed over it. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> um, here, I'll just stand here and mark it for you. Come grab it. You're close. Yeah, I'll get it. I like I like going into random residences and just cooking a food, just cooking a dish. <laughs> it's a solid look. It it also seems like uh, eating good food combat combats my character's depression. All right, I got the watering can. I'm going to cook stir fry right now. Um. For the low price of It's gonna be a shitty stir fry. It's just chicken, mutton, and uh, one jalapeno and, a pe and some pepper. Um. Okay. <sighs> yeah, Rev. The the details of the medium kept changing. It was almost like he was testing procedurally generated po copy pastas. It was yeah. He's just changing out the variables, but it kept, it always the part of the repetition was you, Eminem, Frank Sinatra, etc. Over and over. <laughs> oh, it was brilliant. Um, yes, Rev. Um, I heard that as well, um, that they're updating Zomboy to remove the insect depression link because a lot of people have been yelling at them for that <laughs> because, like, straight up, like, three-quarters of the world's world <laughs> eats insects. And there's fucking crazy, like, country survival men in Kentucky. Are you kidding me? They'd fucking adapt. Like this is not. I'm sorry. This this game this game the the European like descent uh, ancestry of the dev show. <laughs> like their definition of a pie is European as shit. Yes, it's a meat pie. It's a meat pie. We don't call that pie. Like in America, that pies are sweet. It's yeah, that's, they're sweet pastries. That's that's the default. And the fact that the default pie in this game is meat <laughs> shows that the fucking what the like no hate on meat pies. No, I enjoy meat pies. It's, it's just, just like come on, that's not our that's default. Not, and it you shows. go to the average person in Kentucky; they're not thinking that's what a pie is. Yeah, 
It shows. It's like, hey, now. Oh, God. This is going to, uh, let's see. There's a, okay, so there's a, there's a sink upstairs, I think, right? Um, so at least it's not like a huge haul back and forth, but this could be, this could be a thing. My character's fit as fuck. They ain't, it's going to be no problem. Oh, no, no, no. It's not a weight thing. It's a repetition thing. Yeah, either way. Yeah, that's... I, I could just sp I could sprint all day. Yeah, that's that's all this is going to be. It's just going to be a, a repetitive thing. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so I made me a stir fry and it adds to my depression. <laughs> you know what? I, get, I guess... You know what? Fuck it. I guess, I I guess it. this is what I deserve. I love it. That's brilliant. There's not, it's, it's literally, it's literally just mutton, mutton and one jalapeno, like three chicken legs, one, two muttons, one jalapeno, just pepper. <laughs> oh. You know what? It's fine. I accept this. Jesus Christ. That's, uh, all right. I found My character's le learning to cook. <laughs> you know what there's marshmallows and chocolate chips i'll be fine <laughs> see that's that's the that's the gay reply <laughs> lower depression by just copiously yeah. eating candy chocolate there i'll, I'll show i'll show for those fucking watching <laughs> there actually dude, just like 60 59 60 people here um fucking um yeah, like that's that's or the, you can read a book and just shred depression. <laughs> there's there's items that you can and you can see here. This is this is what I've got going on. This is my meta for this game is you you can wear a backpack here. I'll get a fucking better view of it there. You can wear a backpack and a satchel. At the same time. So you've got this stupid fucking satchel hanging down here <laughs> that's like 16 storage. And then uh, you've got your large backpack, which has got just great stats on it. So that's your looting backpack. You can just pack that full. It's got 35 storage and it's got a 95 weight reduction on it. It just cranks down the weight on anything. And so in that satchel, that's just everything, right? Like that's everything you need to play this game. That's what this is. I've yeah, got tool and shit. I've got everything. That's that satchel is literally dedicated to my character being able to just pull out whatever the requisite thing is. So like, and down to debuffs on, you know, hunger and unhappiness and you know, I'm carrying food. I'm carrying energy drinks. I've got every single tool that you need to dissect something in this game. I've got beta blockers that help handle with the panic. I've got dis bottles of disinfectant in case, you know, I do get scratched. I'm going to fucking handle that shit right away, right? Painkillers to deal with the pain. Vitamins to help with the endurance, right? Eraser because you got to have a fucking eraser to erase shit on the map in this game because they like that sort of thing. You know, needle, hammer, all of it. It's literally everything you need to play this game. And then I keep a few primaries out in my main inventory, like a water bottle that you can drink from when you get thirsty and stuff. That's that's the like overarching meta on a character in this game. You build whatever character you want to build then, right? Like the meta <laughs> the meta on that is smoker, right? Dude, there's it's it's Kentucky in 1995. Again, there's cigarettes and lighters and matches everywhere. Every dead body, basically. So, like, this helps handle your... Like, you get stressed if you don't have a smoke, but you can k just crunch your fucking panic anyway, anytime with a cigarette, and you're already going to need it. They're everywhere. It's nothing. You carry a fucking lighter and cigarettes. It's easy points. Weak stomach. Oh, you might get sick from food illness, right? Who gives a shit? Who, who's eating rotten food in this game? Even on the harder settings, like the really brutal player settings that some of these guys get up to, nobody's eating rotten food. Like, it's not... It's just... You can forage food in this game off of trees and shit, right? 
like there's there's no you're not eating rotten food what are you doing you're playing this game wrong if you've gotten to the point where you're eating rotten food it's easy points short-sighted is just broken it's literally just broken um one guy on youtube fucking threw this whole thing into debug mode and just tore it apart trying to find every single number associated with short-sighted dude it's fucking broken it's free points it's free points sunday driver doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you're driving fast in this game you're gonna fuck up you're just gonna fuck shit up it doesn't matter sunday driver's easy points and so you just get all this other shit out of it right cat eyes what are you doing you need to see at night dexterous you need to transfer stuff fast keen hearing dude that's a hundred percent perception radius that means you can see these fuckers coming up on you and they're not just all of a sudden on your back right fit just that's fitness you need that stout strength and then <laughs> fucking yeah buffs debuffs that's just how this rocks so yeah like that's that's how you play <laughs> And then it's just a matter of pacing, outpacing this game and trying to stay ahead of the RNG that's going to inevitably fuck you. And that there's going to be that moment where your character is probably going to be fucked and then you have to decide how you're going to play this game. I, you know, and I, there's a way of playing this game that I, I, I still play with single, single player that is just brutal. Character's dead. That's it. Like, that's the world's dead. Like, that's, you know, I'm gonna, it's done. Like, I, 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 I leave the goods. I don't, like, I don't hoard them. I just, you know, I drop them somewhere, and then I just play in a manner of, it's just me telling another person's story, right? That's the whole narrative set up for the game anyway. So that's how you treat it. And you don't have any pre, you don't have a knowledge of that. I just, I just ignore that that's a thing in the world um but then on multiplayer it's like new no. um that just becomes a hassle resetting the world and stuff like that and so <laughs> then it goes from like you know like s pure survival to rebuild society a bit and then go have fun and try and invade someplace like louisville that's absolutely massive because once we, if we can get to a point where we can get this map actually situated and get the fuck out of here, like properly armed, do we could go down to Louisville pretty easily here and just, dude, it's big. It's fucking big. Oh yeah. It's fucking big. I'm not, I'm not fucking around here. Like that map, it's a, it's dense. It's got shit in it. Dude, and it's a, it's a sort of fair representation of Louisville. Like, they've got the major, like, they've got stadiums down there. They've got the mall, apparently, is just a work of art. Like, for how dense and big it is, you're just like, this is a huge fucking map. Like, for, for this kind of game, it's like, this is big. So there's just content down there. It's just, there's just this ocean of stuff that we haven't even reached out and really explored that is very big. Um, yeah, target-rich environment. Yeah, it's massive and populated. Yeah, base. Um, it, it, it is. Yeah, it's, if you want to fucking, you want to see hordes, dude, Louisville, Louisville, Louisville will put up some fucking numbers that'll make your computer crunch some numbers. Let's just put it that way. Um. Yeah, Ryzen five thirty six hundred is gonna get some work. Yeah, it's it's yeah two ninety four zombies taken out in five days. So, uh, song. Yeah, I don't even remember what our what our records are. We stopped keeping track, but yeah, Cat and I both have put up some numbers on some characters. That's you know yeah. Cat definitely has had some number clearing days. Yeah, because my 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 strategy for a good bit there was just like you know what, let me just spin up a bunch of like disposable like, just like their only purpose is just to be super athletic, just fighters, and you know they put in work. Yeah, yeah, I have a bruiser character as well, and yeah, Cat and I put some time uh, Rosewood. <laughs> we put some time in Rosewood. Yeah. 
By the way, do I have to fill these things to full? Uh, what, the watering cans? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, like, the, the plants. I don't know what you're doing. Like, I'm watering the plants at, 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 on the roof. Oh, yeah, you need to get them to the point where they don't take any more water. Like, well-watered, I'm assuming, is what yeah. you should say? Yeah. Okay. There's going to be a... Yeah, Buddhist. You're going to be aware of what's coming your way. <laughs> Best I did on a mutual MP server was two months and almost 800 dead. We'll see what, uh, what did me in, and I didn't realize it till it was too late. Um, Yeah. Dude, that's... This game is just, dude, this game is like life. This game is fucking ruthless sometimes. You just, like, you know, yeah, I should have cleared that room, you know, a little more disciplined. And, you know, you walk into a room with, like, six zombies in it and some shit goes down. <laughs> or, dude, your vehicle fucking stalls and you get yanked out the fucking window. Like, oh, uh. That shit, dude, some of them are fucking brutal. You go through the storytelling of how this goes down. Fucking, you know, I lost a character in, uh, God, that was um, Riverside. Um, a bleach salad killed him. Oh, uh, I mean, there's, dude, there's been some fucking ruthless deaths in this game. Akira's worth it, Walking Dead's. Walking Dead's a good read. Oh, God. So, a bleach salad. Even if it's, you made the emo bleach salad. A bottle of salad, a base of salad. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, that's, I mean. Well, yeah, when you're just filling shit in and not paying attention, it'll get you. No, well, was that intentional, base? Because you can make, did you do that? Or did, because it was an MP server. <clears throat> I was a mechanic and electrician. I had a level six. Yeah. No. Y okay. Yeah. So that was done to you. Because you can. Okay. So I can make you. Okay. I can make you a salad. And I could put like, what is it? A quarter of a bottle of bleach in it. And it's not detectable without a high level cooking skill. And if you eat the entire salad, you will die. <laughs> Amazing. You can poison food in this game. Like again, I I I I refuse to play like an actual like PVP encouraged multiplayer game. No, I I, I think that's a I think that's an absolute nightmare. And I, you know, quite frankly, I just would want to prove that it's possible to do it the other way because it's fucking dude. That's gonna be default setting for most people, I think. <laughs> Agreed. That's just like, I'm sorry. That's just a, oh my God, this game is, it's not like, it's not like those other games. It, it, it's, look, you get enough depth into a fucking game and all of a sudden it is, you know, it's like, God damn it, this is kind of ruthless like life. Can we coordinate and do this a little bit better? <laughs> oh, is that rain? Uh, I don't have any rain on me. On me. Well, it just darkened like out of nowhere for me. Oh, oh, well, that's just fucking Zomboid's weird ass lighting system, probably. God damn it! <laughs> that's entirely possible. That's entirely possible, dude. Their lighting system just occasionally goes lighter or darker for no apparent reason. Like you're just it nighttime, daytime. You're just like, what? What was that? For me, I'm pretty basic. I like my I like my competitive competitive PvP. 
It's like, you know what, just give me the level playing field. Let's not make grinding like a fucking like aspect of it. Just let me, you know, let's let's duke it out honestly. Give me, give me a point. rocket launcher and let's just do this. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, that's 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 fair, and that's entirely like how I used to play like Unreal Tournament like, back in the day and shit like that. That's yeah. Like that's just give me a fucking like a sniper rifle or a rocket launcher and just you know, or a weird disc spinny thrower throwy gun, whatever. Just give me the thing and let's do this. Yeah, it's like we both know what we're signing up for. The meta's in place. Everybody's watched the YouTube videos on how to play the game properly. Fuck it. We didn't have YouTube videos in my day. <laughs> yeah, y'all had like weird ass, like obscure gaming articles. Or forums. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking weird ass industry magazines and shit and... God, it was fucking, it was a desert. <laughs> it was a time. Oh, uh, that's, dude, that's the trippiest thing in my life is having grown up literally side by side with the internet. Like it, it is the weirdest thing to have seen the very beginnings of it and sort of like see what it has become. And it's like, it, it's kind of terrifying. It's, it, it's, it's like, holy shit. Like we really kind of did build it, right? Like this is only going to complexify and complexify and complexify. If we keep going, this shit's going to get weird and entangled and it, it do, we're already pulling that network into us. Look at us right now. Look at what we're doing. This is the, that, in, that entire process that we're undergoing it. That's going to get weird. <laughs> That's full on transhumanism. It's gonna happen. Like we're if we survive as a species, if we pull this one out, which you know, whatever, flip the coin. <laughs> but if we pull it out, dude, that's yeah, we're we've been undergoing a a very very long. It fucking stone Yeah, of course I'm stone. I'm stone off my ass, but dude, it's fucking happening. I just looked over at this at the, the stream and it's like these kind of things. Damn. <laughs> I'm actually kind of head. I'm kind of walking. I'm crossing this bridge. I'm kind of pushing this a little. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna push the boundaries. I'm pushing the boundaries a little bit here. Uh, let's see. Speaking of flip the coin, do I need a drink? Kaya, flip a coin. Um, uh, fucking that's like all the way over here. Uh, flip a coin. Tails. Tails. Yeah. See, see, the fact that you're disappointed tells you the answer you actually want, though. If I can, no, I, I was disappointed, no, because Got Punk actually flipped a coin yeah. instead of relying on your coin flip. Uh, oh well. Yeah. My friends used to get so pissed at me for knifing them left and right in COD Modern Warfare 2. Anyway, that cannibal kicked my ass. I'm gonna go to bed now. Good night, everyone. Alright, night, Rev. Night, Rev. Also, your friends are scrubs. Rev. You know what? I have no sympathy for people who get repeatedly knifed in, like, uh, in games like COD. It's like, you have a fucking... You have... You have you either have like an insanely like OP rifle with like no recoil whatsoever or a shotgun or a rocket launcher or a sniper. You just you shouldn't be getting stabbed. Okay, so what's going on over here? Is this just this is just brutal wilderness. That's right. Buddhist and I did this run. We got part way down here. Oh, yeah, that, that was when I was bit, and then I died in the middle of it. Yeah, dude, I was toast <laughs> shortly thereafter. We pushed these boundaries, and this goes deep. This goes deep. We're, like, we're, yeah, we're on the edge of where we should be. Like, we're probably, this, this is just going to be a long-ass walk back. Yeah, look, we're not, this is, dude, this is a rough fucking go. Like, we didn't even penetrate, we didn't even get near the military expansion. 
which like there's a cordon on uh on louisville and there's like this military checkpoint out there and like we didn't even get close to that (laughs) (laughs) it does make you put in the work that it fucking does Uh, i am about ready to just Bust a fucking hole in the wall. It's nearby the sink upstairs. I mean, do it. Is is there actually a way to do that? Yes, it's a sledgehammer. <laughs> That's a fucking sl- my man, my man. Yeah. I just, yeah, I just, I didn't know. Yeah, that's for I've, one, I've yet to for one. T- I didn't know if that was kosher, and for two, uh, f- fuck it. I mean, that was the main thing. Yeah, I didn't know if exactly. It was uh. Yes, exactly, Squirrel Cage, 100%. Yes, I am a fellow radical rightist waiting to get Trump to be reinstated. That is 100% accurate. Clip it, clip it, clip it, clip it. Let's see. Um, boom. Yeah, we need. You know, actually, instead of breaking it down, could I just put a door in there? I mean, you could knock it down and then put a door up. Oh, you put a wall up with a door frame and then build a door. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, so how does how does one how does how does one? Fuck, my carpentry levels aren't high enough. <laughs> yeah, you right click and go to carpentry and fucking that's. Yeah, that. I see it. I need four planks. Wait, so should I put the wooden door frame up or the wooden wall frame first? I think door frame. You got one coming behind you? Alright. Let's see if I can find the sledgehammer and actually do that. That way watering ain't such a bitch. Yeah. Downstairs. It's in that same sort of um, set of boxes. Yeah, it's fucking. They're just. They're just everywhere. There's a pile of them in one of the boxes. It's like. See, remember, chat. Engineer uh, scarcity does actually drive uh, drive innovation. Never forget. The right is right. <laughs> and Carpe's in there saying tea party forever. <laughs> Yeah. I like that my character my character's just a fucking tank and can just carry planks of wood. Oh. Wood. I didn't see that base. Which where where was the where was the gun shop? Did I miss that? Base. Might, I think they clarified earlier in chat that it was a different mod. Oh, okay. Um fuck it. <laughs> oh, so the, Wacky personalities that wander in. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, yeah, the guy last night was entertaining. I uh, was entertaining for a moment. Fucking absolutely, like I fucking got him, guys. Yeah, I fucking <laughs> see. I'm like I'm sitting here, like, dude, how do you not see how sarcastically this is being done? Fucking. <laughs> You are are you actually oblivious? I'm like, yes, you have got you got me. I don't know anything. I think, I think some people are really lonely. Don't <laughs> underestimate the loneliness of Twitch viewers. Yeah, that was Okay, never mind. The the gun shop is in the vanilla. Uh, I think no that was the other one. Um, you know what? How many nails do boxes of nails have on them? A hundred. Oh, okay. Well, shit. Okay. I probably shouldn't have grabbed like six. <laughs> yeah. I may or may not have overprepared for this like construction project that I'm embarking on. I, uh, you'll, you'll need planks, but like. Yeah, I have planks. Yeah. Like the nails. What the fuck are these sledgehammers? <laughs> okay. So you walk into the, um,. You walk in through the garage, and then there's that okay. like first box 
the is like sticking out right there. The, island, the the tip of the iceberg. The tip of the iceberg, and then there's two <coughs> stacked right next to it. Look at the okay. bottom crate. I think that's where it is. Uh, yeah, three. Ha ha ha! Let's fucking clip that. <laughs> Stoned as a motherfucker. Get it. You know what? I hope I hope uh, smashing down a, a wall will alleviate my character's uh, boredom. You spent too much time inside. Yeah, boredom is in constantly being hit by time inside. Pan I believe it. Panic will instantly clear it. Straight up. Yep. Oh that's, shit! That's some commentary by the devs. Panic straight up clears it. It just drops it to zero instantly. Fuck it. Yep. You can play around with it um, by uh, not smoking, too. So does one need to just equip the sledgehammer in both hands and just take to the wall? I think that's how it works. <laughs> oh, if you do the, uh, the bring up to where it shows like carpentry and that, there'll be an option for destroy, and then you can like click out stuff you want to do it. That's fucking boring. Uh, I was hoping that I was just gonna head sack a wall. I'm kinda, you probably could do it that way too. Do it. Do it. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. You have to science this. This is this is science <laughs> demands. We know. Oh, uh, uh, the attacking doesn't work. These. Are you oh, sure? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Are you sure? Like, yeah, I'm sure. Because I'm standing point blank in front of the wall, aiming at the wall, swinging does nothing. Oh man, because this, this makes the character sweat. That's how that's <laughs> how I got into those storage crates. Was I knocked down their fucking like the fronts of them? That's fucking stupid. So like I've 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 literally just swung at shit and it destroyed. So what? Um, yeah. Boo, boo! I say. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm I'm actually bothered by that. <laughs> Imagine having like all three of us just in in, a, in an area, just like fucking swinging it, wrecking shit. <laughs> I'm bored. Try narrowly avoiding getting hit by a car. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, so at the auto shop, the yellow building in the loop. You want to go just north northwest along those railroad tracks, and you'll pass a bar called Shooters. Then to the north of that is the gun shop. Jesus Christ! All right, yeah, that's not happening right now. <laughs> hey, you! All of you, pay attention. I like to fight you on my own terms. Okay, I fucked up. All right, what'd you do? Uh, I don't have high enough carpentry to make a door. <laughs> ah, well. Uh, yeah. What's your carpentry at? Oh, pff, nothing. Shit. Okay. I got, I got one level. I got one level. You know what? I'm halfway to carpentry level three. That's what I need. So, yeah, I ain't got shit on this character. Well, either way, my construction project's pretty much done. Now. I mean, I do have something. <laughs> I got like I got four going on five levels in axe. <laughs> you know what? That's that's fair. But yeah, what what we need right now is um, some door hinges, a doorknob, two door hinges, a doorknob, and uh, what's it called? Me to be long string carpentry. Um. Well. I get you the the door hinges and doorknob. Yeah, they're fucking like look, just just like any like houses I, nearby I'm, the base should just be. I, yeah, no, I'm I'm yeah. I'm I'm just gonna start knocking down doors.
Nice, boss. Sorry. Nice base. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I've been aware of this game for a few years, but I've only learned to love this game recently. <laughs> I've had a very hate, then hate, then not understanding, and then confusion and <laughs> relationship with this game. But I, yeah, I, I wanted to love this game before I love this game. It took me a while. But yeah, I, I, God, I wish this game wasn't an isometric. <laughs> Imagine this game in first person. Oh, uh, it would, I, I just, this is, this is, I'm not a fan of isometric formats. <laughs> I've never, you know, that's, yeah, like that, I just, it would be I, I if I could get seven days with this depth and without like gamer cheat fucking methodologies, like I, I yeah. I could really enjoy that. That would be it'd be a good time. Um, let's see. I'm gonna start bringing food back to well, Yeah, we are short on food. Yeah. And grab some stuff. Oh, I'm here. You know, I'm knocking down doors. Hey, your boy just cleared the weight uh, thing. I'm at 78 pounds. Oh, you started underweight. Yeah, yeah. Right. Nice. It's it's free points. You can you can clear the the weight like pretty easy, even in early game. Yeah, base is down. We're going, yeah, with the perspective. It's been an abusive relationship, but Kai can fix it. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, God. This game. Um, but I'm here for it. No, I'm, I'm much better for having experienced this game. <laughs> it's a good gun. It's a good game. It's a good concept. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the, it's like, it's got almost the right amount of jank, too. Like, there's there's just, like, a couple of janks that bother me, but the rest of it sort of adds a, I don't know, it's a sort of, like, cheesy 80s B-movie jank, you know? You're just kind of like, yeah, you know, it, it adds personality. Yeah, I'm with you there. I agree. How many did you need? Two door hinges and a doorknob. Uh, yeah. Cool. All right. Right now, I'm just grinding. Uh, what's it called? Carpentry. To start a because that's the other bit. I still suspect, dude. I'm it's stuff like that that's in there. I, I suspect like that's that's got to be planned somewhere along the way, right? Toothbrush, toothpaste. Like, like I said, I'd I'd like to see a scenario where like when you first start the save, that shit is junk, but like as you progress further and further, and you get like a base more established, it becomes like I don't know, like hygiene or like culture or you know like in just ev the in evolution becomes, like, of the cat the perception of the categories would be interesting because that's kind of what you're proposing yeah is yeah like that that like you could actually really do some interesting calls from like the dev side and like what gets categorized as joe oh, that would Dude, that would give away a whole lot of their like innate biases and perceptions if you said to the devs yeah. like look what would be junk in this crisis initially versus what would be junk six months down the road versus 12 months down the road and if it create an evolution of that chart right what you would know what, you know what would be really fucking cool is if it was affected by traits that you had and stats that you like leveled and shit oh uh, what oh geez that would be good what's up endless of course that's even more how you doing my man put in them oh yeah but, you know 
But, no, this you know, is it. it'd be a dead giveaway on them, but it's you know, I mean, as if they're not already giving away their Eurocentrism. Um, but like, you know, yeah, dude, that would be an interesting because then the mods, uh, like the mod community, can just fix it, right? Like, just yeah, get, that is true. Just get the system in there, right? Like, I don't, you know, we'll we'll critique you on what your your perceptions were, um, and then you know, just let us fix it. Um, <laughs> that's how that'll work. And so, you know, yeah, I just like to have that system in there. Dude, this NPC yeah. system that they're talking about is, I don't know, dude, because it's it, optimism. Well, I mean, it's cause it's a framework just like everything else in this game, right? Like that's why this game is like infinitely moddable. So like the tile sets are moddable, like all of the in-game text, like the mechanics are modifiable, the animations that, you know, everything in this game is modifiable. Um, so like, yeah, the NPC system is supposed to be this sort of like framework. Um, and the modding community will be able to use it. So theoretically you could end up with, um, like, community made entire like story driven first person type game perspective situations going on that like you could actually then have you could script a, a world around a protagonist and you could you know all of that sort of stuff this game becomes then sort of like a game engine unto itself we enter that like kind of skyrim uh, territory yes this is probably not wise to be doing this buddhist um <laughs> but i'm doing it what are y'all up to i'm i'm i i have just made the stupidest call <laughs> oh god <this> is scary <laughs> we are doing the world's stupidest thing this is people are insane. This is the dumbest goddamn thing. We are so fucking lost. <laughs> okay, I've got you as a compass location for us, though. So, I'm in the trailer park, so you know that doesn't matter. That gets us out of that gets us out of this nightmare. Buddhist. Oh my god, there's clearing. Made it. <laughs> there's clearing. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That was the that was such. A Oh god. That was so stupid. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we just did that. That was the dumbest cut. I would fucking let you into just absolutely nightmare. You just followed me through it. Damn straight. Buddhist really did follow you through hell and back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, that was that was a solid chunk of fucking like forestry D at night. We could not see shit shit for shit the density so the lighting system was cutting everything off all we had was you as a fucking green point on the map to head towards because you weren't in this shit and it was just like dude zombie could have caught popped out of anywhere in there holy shit that was that was intense that was sketchy as shit holy fuck cat do you, are you rocking cat eyes on your character? Yes. Yes. Oh, thank God. Yeah, we were, that was savior on both of us. Uh, free prime money. All right, himself. Thanks. Thanks for the Bezos bucks. Um, you know what? At least, you'd, at least you admitted that it's just the prime. You know what? That's the thing is if you're going to sub, do, the, do yeah. the Bezos bucks. Yeah. If, if you're subbing, like, you know, and you're using Bezos bucks, fuck yeah. Um, Base said ordering glasses and checking out these crazy mods that Radical is using. <laughs> oh, fucking. How you doing, Endless? Yeah, it's it's all right. It's all right. I'm I'm like I'm I'm <laughs> I'll make a I'll make a confession. I'm I'm holding this this high at bay as best I can. Um uh, not working. Yeah, I know. I know, but like it's it's way worse than 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 what this is <laughs> In well, the forest of doom oh uh, dude that was dude that that i was already way too high and then, then i just had to experience <laughs> that nightmare that was dude that that my cortisol levels right now are fucking a little too high let's just put it that way 
Like I this side note, I, I just leveled up the wrong stat. I leveled up metalwork. <laughs> you can build a I just, metal yeah. door eventually. Yeah, that's the hope. But that's a that's a that's a heavy grind. Well, I'm undertaking it. Well, no, I'm telling you that the, the, even if you just switch to wood, like right now, doesn't matter where you are in that level and process. <laughs> like if you switch to wood now, you, you'd get to a wooden door faster. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm already I'm already at the wooden door. Well, oh. you know, after this level, I'll be at the wooden door. Oh. Your highest balls, but you still have to talk to people. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I'm not only talking to people. I'm playing this. It's just ridiculous game. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm feeling, I'm feeling stressed. <laughs> that that forest was the last thing I needed. I was like, no. Also, I've just given into being a smoker in this game. Just fuck oh. it. I'm not fighting it. No, dude. The fucking it's it's free. Cigarettes are everywhere. It's free points. It's free points. I'm sorry. Even if you don't set it the way we've set it, which is we've set it to a generous setting because it's again Kentucky in 1995. Like, come on. Like you have to up the cigarette count. This is not accurate. The percentages are wrong. <laughs> So, you know, you, you tweak it a little to get it more accurate to the times and the location. And you just, it's free fucking points. <laughs> uh, one time my friend and I were so high that we could barely speak a sentence. So we just made uh, shadow animals with our fingers uh, in the light. Yeah. 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 That's We've all been there. Exactly. That was, dude, I, I did a stupid, I did a stupid, and I blame Got Punk, but I only have myself to blame. But my ego demands I have someone else to blame, so Got Punk's going down for this one. We got one coming up inside. Did I go help you? Nah. He just randomly got up, dumb fucker. What the fuck is going on here? Alright, whatever. I, a guy was kind of just moonwalking and he was, I don't know, it's it a whole thing. I was like, what's going on? Homie, you uh, seem to be having an issue. Just having a, just having a street burrito. <laughs> I'm having a street smoke. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a smoke after my, my burrito. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is the proper order of operation there. Yeah. Dude, this game is, uh, I'm not kidding you, this game serves a certain, like, outlet for me, too, right? Like, this is escapism, right? Like, dude, I've never been the dude to, like, have a have a box of, like, shit macaroni oh. and cheese and a smoke. Whoa, yeah, you might want to back up there. <laughs> yep, it came out flooding. Let's see if I can peel a few of these off. Well, fucking, nope. Oh, wow, one came up behind, too. I just fucking bobbed and weaved that bitch. Oh, there's oh, there's meta on the dodge mechanic too. Um, so, like the beginning of the Got more coming up behind you? run animation is and the the way the sprint starts is animated. That sort of gets this buff that you can't be tripped during, so you can oh. actually dart through a group of zombies and let off the uh, sprint correctly and you they can't trip you coming out the other side very good to know I, it, it's I, it needs practice but I've seen a dude do it reliably and so yeah you can sort of dart like you can see the beginning of the animation here it sort of starts and you are technically not Trick trippable apparently during that animation. Okay. Your boy just copped a your boy just copped a sig sour. Nice. All right. Oh, we off are, a dead body. Uh, where are we a ways out. All right, we need to just fucking dude, Buddhist. We're a ways out. <laughs> Jesus, we're out. 
Yeah, y'all are in the court. fucking boonies and shit. <laughs> well, I mean, I've got. If you need like a street burrito or something, I don't know if you're carrying everything you need to carry, Buddhist. If we need to swing by and pick you up, pick some food up for you or something. I mean, I, I want to complain about food it. On me and shit. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. Yeah, but canned food ain't food. What True. is all of it? It's it's just survival calories. I've never been out here. I just I'm just fucking wandering. I'm oh, fucking. Shit. Look at that truck. That's pretty cool. That Your is boy a... almost has enough <laughs> for the for the door. That is a solid truck. <laughs> uh... oh, what's the what's the condition on it? I don't know yet. No keys on it, though. Give me a sec. I'll look. You know, I just realized we haven't been doing a lot of, like, vehicle work in this in this run. No, and if we want to get to Louisville, that's the way to speedrun it. Ah, it's in shit condition. Uh, the seat, well, ah. that's, hang on, that seat's, now nah, the muffler, the heater, the fucking tires are dog shit. Fucking, yeah, no, it's in terrible condition. There's, like, a bunch of flashing red on this. Overall, Damn. it's 41%. That's a shame. It could have been a fun ride. You know what? We need to get to the point where we're repairing just shit vehicles. Oh, yeah, no, that's... That is a thing. Um, alright. So there's stuff out here. What is all this? This is this is a fucking car. Fucking... This is like a scrapyard. Dude, car batteries, fucking car battery chargers, okay, so poor performance brakes, spare engine parts. Yeah. That's... We're in a... We're in a scrapyard. Straight up. Tires. Mufflers. We got everything. Oh my god, yeah. Spare engine parts. And we got the mechanics books. Like Um At least the higher level ones. I'll take them. I don't know if we have them. And there's mechanics for beginners. That's the entire set of mechanics. Straight up. <coughs> so Ooh. if we don't have the entire set of mechanics back at the base, we do now already. Uh, so. Who's gonna be a mechanic among us? Um, I don't fucking know. Um, I don't, I don't care one way or the other. I might do a bit of mechanics. I right. have to look into it. I and mean, it's more. good for everybody to have it. I'm just saying that, like, we had to min max, you know. Yeah. Um. Buddhist, what's what what what's your feeling on your character survivability? <laughs> I'm pretty decent, I think. All right. Well, then, I mean, coin flip. Do you want it or not? Want what? Mechan mechanics. You want to work like out? to be the mechanic. Yeah. Oh, uh, sure, yeah. I can learn how to do it. That's a fucking grind. It, well, with fair play, fair play. Yeah, well, let's. It's a lot of just. It, it's a lot of just like right clicking. It's just it's context menu work. It's context yeah, it's, menu work. It's it's not like it won't even put you in danger. It's just busy work. Yeah, it's context menu work. You just fucking right click a thing, and then you go down a menu and you click another thing, and that's that's what it is. That's I don't mind that. So you say that <laughs> just fair <laughs> fair play because Cat and I both have done it. And so it's it's one of those things that we're aware of that it's like it's just fair play like you have to know going in it's it's just a lot of fucking right clicking. <laughs> it's mind you, mind you, when you get to that point where you're able to hotwire a car, it it it, it pay it pays back dividends because you can. Very true. There are so there are just so many cars. Oh, there are so just this so is, many cars with gas in them and everything. So is this pay. gonna get? So is this gonna get fun? Caboose. Is, Caboose says we're back from D and D. Is Karina around too? Do you two want to hop in this session? Like also, because that could I get found interesting. The CD of philosophical quotes for the Buddha. I mean, nice. you should <laughs> you should hold on to that. I am. That's going in a special special. Also, slot. Caboose says yes. All right, fuck yeah. That'll give me <laughs> that'll give me time to figure out where I've gone wrong in my life. Should I drink a beer? Um, 100%. All right, I'm drinking a singular beer right now. In game or in real life? In 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 game. Oh, all right. I don't I don't dare drink while I'm sick. <laughs> 
That's that's the old timey solution. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, this is just, dude, this is just a lot of fucking tools again. Like, fucking, we are in a tool-rich environment, whatever this place is. I don't know what the fuck this place is, but. All right, okay, so, wait, is this? I think I know. Oh, okay, all right, I know this place. A whole bunch of doorknobs in that town here. Yeah. <laughs> Grab them. Pick them up. Good, good. Got some hinges, too. A nice hot toddy is best when sick. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Um, fucking cat, can you, do you see Discord readily on your setup right now? Yeah. Okay, can you just keep an eye for, like, Caboose in voice chat? Because we, yeah, have, we have a confirmation from him, but not Karina, uh, so. Uh, yeah, they're both there. Okay, give they're both there. Just get them in but well, Karina can do it well I I did it okay I am the authoritarian here had a girl all right here's you the... guys have enforced her against your will but what if I wanted to be here oh. well I didn't have any knowledge of that so still I'm still technically violating your consent yeah straight up jokes on you I'm into that Oh, see, there you go. <laughs> now we're all now we're all party to rape. I think. Yeah, I think I think that's what happened here. I, I just thanks for making us all guilty. Oh, you're welcome. Um, sometimes you just need to like uh you know just experience events that like make you question if you have humanity. <laughs> oh, all right. I, yeah. Oh, you know I'm gonna check this truck. Uh, no. There you go. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you know what I started doing if I find a door that's locked? Uh, no. I just I'm, I'm fucking disassembling it. Yeah, just fuck it. You don't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah, no. I dude, that's that's all of those like heavy, um, heavy fucking like, uh, like gated things for like the pharmacy and the police station that sort of thing. You just disassemble them. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like I get parts out of you. Like, <laughs> like you're my bitch, dude. Like, I don't, like, you're not locked. You're just in a state that has yet to be broken down entirely. Um, okay, so Buddhist, uh, again, like, that, it, we, 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 we tend to go on adventures. I'm back at base. Thanks. I feel, I feel a little, I feel a little safer now. <laughs> I'm, yeah. My blood pressure's you, my blood pressure's down a bit. I got some food in my backpack. You got some stuff. That was I. I yeah, oh, God damn it. <laughs> was I was gonna it? wish the plants. You can you can water the plants now. It's a lot more convenient. Okay. Like the 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 door frame is there. The door just isn't. All right. Cool. I just you know. <laughs> oh man. Never a dull time. Jesus Christ. No, no. Never a dull time in this game. Jesus, that was just ridiculous. That was the stupidest goddamn thing ever. This shit had no business doing that. It's just, I st just stoned it Lee. <laughs> stoned it Lee. Fucking just wanders into the fuck. I'm fucking just. I'm I'm 19 layers deep in my head, <laughs> fucking figuring out where I just went wrong in all of the places in my life, and having a fucking half-ass anxiety attack on fucking air for uh, 50 fucking people to just just bear witness to, right? And I'm playing this game that has like janky fucking combat mechanics. We're wandering through hordes and locations. I have no idea where we are, literally, and not just because I'm stoned. Like never been here before in the game whatsoever no idea where i am the mini map doesn't function in this part of the world um and so we are just lewis and clark in this bitch and just fucking like ah you know let's just, do we have do we have a second julia no bitch we don't have a second julia we're just two uh, two dudes wandering through the wilderness in the pitch black where <laughs> Zombies could just pop out behind any fucking tree, and it was nothing but trees for a while. It was literally while. nothing but trees for a while. 
<laughs> I love Kai Stone rambling. Oh. Fucking 1 a.m. in game time. That was a nightmare. All right. <sighs> Fucking. Let me grab a couple planks. Do I need any particular level for the door? It's three. All right. Well, I'll just leave you this stuff upstairs. Cool. That was. I was just saying, if you're a planet of water, the plants, the, the holes there, you can go in and, All right. you know, back and forth pretty easy. Trip's a lot more bearable now. Let's see. I could probably use some touch of mundanity after that. That was that was unacceptable. All right. Just two stone Chad is, Chad is here around. for some plant watering. Fucking all right. <laughs> nice, nice. No, I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's just right there by the sink. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good location. I'll take that. Um, yeah. Fucking. All right, I think that's like the makings of a door. I don't know. Maybe you need a couple more planks. I don't fucking know. Either way, there's a couple of hinges, a doorknob, and some planks up here. You may. I think it's four planks. If okay. I'm not well, mistaken. then br bring bring two more planks. Um, yeah. I'll just bring it on the way up. It's no problem. Yeah. I need to. I forgot to dump all that shit. It doesn't fucking matter. It's my watering can. There we go. She can go in there too. Um, oh, in prison, hooching you. If you want to learn how to fucking um, make uh, hooch <laughs> mash, filter hooch mash, create berry wine, filter the berry wine, create kvass, and filter kvass. Oh. Um, yes. Oh, nice. Yes, prison hooching you. Ah, uh, fucking play himself himself saying you get those plants wet. Ah, uh, fucking 19 layers deep. You're an onion. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was an unacceptable fucking maneuver. That's that's called pulling a cat. Um, <laughs> that's that's a rookie mistake and I got to record that. Um, so that's fun. That's fun. You never, you never truly get rid of rookie mistakes. Yeah, I know, right? You, you, you always tend to. The ego allows you to overestimate your cap, uh, capability. It comes back. It'll bite you. It comes back, and it, and it always will. Yep. All right. What of this did you water? By the way, uh, not a lot of it. Like, what area did you start in? Like the bottom, bottom right. Like those fucking them two layer, them two things right there. That's about it. So like over here, no, like bottom right, like by the uh, the other door. Yeah, like there. That that's that's pretty much all I've touched. Okay. Um. Boom! Bo bo right. I have this fucker in my hand. Right. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> Mm, all right. Plant has enough water. Well watered. Well watered. Well watered. Well, uh, fine. Yeah, we'll start there. Cool. Um. Uh, all right. Well, I'm about to make a. I'm about to make a stir fry out of entirely canned ingredients. Hmm. I mean, I mean, that would probably work. I mean, it would. It's just, you know. I'm not going to be the greatest. I mean, depending yeah. on, you know. All right, here's the ingredients list. There's probably some decent. You could you there. could pull a rabbit out of your hat, depending. Okay, here's the ingredients list. We got some canned chili, some canned carrots, some canned corn, some canned mushroom soup, some canned peas, some canned potatoes, and canned tomatoes. It's a vegetable soup. Yeah. But it's listed as stir fry, so that's 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 the level we're operating on. I mean, you know, they don't understand got, a lot of stuff. We got the pancakes back. No, because oh, the, because the, there's pancakes in the stove right now. Are you? Kidding? Oh, are there? Are you kidding me? I, I, I made some pancakes earlier, so they might actually be back. Oh my god, do we have magic pancakes again? 
<laughs> I'll take magic pancakes, silly. They're like nature's antidepressants in this game. Oh my god, do we have magic pancakes back? Because that would be hilarious. Base, are you still here? Fucking. We do. Because if you're still here, base, you have to know about the magic pancakes. Like, this is this is a thing. Um, how many were in the stack? Was it three? It's two this time. Ah, uh, interesting. Okay. Okay, have, then, yeah, they're back, because I, I, I cooked two before I left. Okay, have you ever seen... The, okay, so we just call it Magic Pancakes. On one of our previous world iterations, um... N no, like, they magically just spawn in our, 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 like, the oven in our base. Like, we've had this... It looks like, ba it looks like base can confirm that this is a thing that happens to him, too. Yeah, like, this, this is, this is a glitch that we've had, we've seen before, that, like, this game spawns magic pancakes in the oven. And, well, I, we are in a, we, we, we are a... God, God fearing part of Kentucky, and we just believe that Jesus has given us the blessing of pancakes, and don't question it. Uh, um, I hate how good that is sometimes when you like really put the effort in. Uh, I lived amongst them. <laughs> I know you did. Oh. Uh. Okay, I'm having an all canned food stir fry. It's cooking right now. We'll see if I. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if my character doesn't just get a huge dose of depression off of this. Blessed be the maple syrup. Oh, fuck it. No. Um, fucking. <laughs> yeah. 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 It, it, it's just magic pancakes. Like, that's. That's what we get. Yep, they're just there. Um, so yeah. Okay, so the magic pancakes are back. That's that's you know, that's a good sign. The magic pancakes Hopefully. are a good sign. It's a blessing from above. What if it actually <laughs> works? Jesus. <laughs> that's you know. Like that's a thing that happens when you reach like a certain level of base development. Just pancakes. Pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it kind of speaks to like the collaborative effort of this sort of thing that when people get up to it that, you know, yeah, there's communal breakfast sometime and sometimes you don't, you, you know, you just walk through and there's pancakes there. We don't that that's yeah, that's, it's like it's, it's kind of like that fuzzy memory of like, did somebody actually bring in flour and eggs? You know, that's 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 maybe Dave made them, you know, who knows? That's I already got the sugar. <sighs> Just is, you know, sometimes it is what it is. So we accept the magic pancakes. I mean, I doubt anyone in the apocalypse is going to look at, like, some pancakes and be like, yeah, I don't trust them. They just appeared out of nowhere. Fuck them. Well, there's a spaghetti monster god. Why not a pancake god? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the latte. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's what, what are you going to, really? One of these is weirder than the other? Come on. <laughs> just, you know. Have a moment. Be honest with yourself. You believe in a zombie mm. god. <laughs> I made my stir fry and it provided no happiness, but a good <laughs> actual chunk to uh to the skill. So like hey. not an entire wash, but I'm a little disappointing. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna end up being the uh, character we need to protect. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be your chef, your fucking your fucking your your carpenter, your metal worker. Um, yeah. Oh, let's see. See, I guess seeds. an electrician sometime down the line. All right. You know what? A lot of these don't fucking matter. You know what? I'm not gonna fuck. I'm not fucking around. All right. I know the. I, I know how this works. Give me the cabbage seeds, and <laughs> um. You know what? That's trapping. I'll do. How's some... the watering going, by the way? Uh, it's it's done. Oh, the, the, my my idea actually like bore fruit. Uh, I I dude, a lot of these were well watered, so oh, okay. I you know I'm guessing some of that fog maybe hit some rain or maybe there was a rain event I didn't notice, but I'm guessing like these these are well watered. 
I mean, there was a few that were like spotty that I hit, but I was like, all right. So now you're just planting. Yeah, I figured I'd just drop some seeds in. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay. So the sticks are tomatoes. I can, you know, I did some potatoes. So how big are the yields when they really get going? Um, you know, you can, you actually get some pretty fuck, you get some decent, decent yields. Um, when we did the Riverside run, um, it was, did you'd get like 50 heads of cabbage from like just a, a few of them. Um, you know, maybe, maybe five, six, seven, I don't fucking know, but you, you get like 50 cabbage. And then if you let them go to seed as well, you could, you know, pull 150 seed off of them. And so once you get the cycle scaled up, it, it's, it starts putting out some yeah. numbers. But with the scale of farm that we got going on, we're probably not going to be struggling. No, and we've got all that other. We've got all the fucking roof. Like this, this is the like smaller of the two. The the top one's actually even bigger. So like you know we're 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 done right. And the the dirt is self replicating for those that know or don't know. The 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 dirt in in this game the the tile function the way this game works is a fun essentially just a a, a switch. It it is what it is. And so there's like no uh, Z axis on some, a lot of this, on these mechanics. So I was digging dirt and then I was like, you know, I noticed somewhere along the way, I, I put some dirt down in the bottom corner. There's actually here, I'll walk over here. There's actually another row of dirt. There's some dirt here, but you can't see it because it's behind this brick wall. And as soon as I laid it, I was like, oh, this is stupid. I'll never, the plants will just die because I won't remember about this shit. <laughs> So I, I was like, well, can I pick it up? And you actually can, but you can't get rid of it. That's not how that works. It's now a dirt, a dirt tile. So I, I was like, wait a second. So is this dirt infinite? And so the dirt, is, sure enough. the dirt is infinite. Yeah. That's, that's, that's how this fucking works is so like, I was like, all right, well I could walk downstairs a billion times or I can do that. No, I cannot rotate, rotate the camera. This is, this is an isometric view. Uh, okay. This is how this fucking works. Um, but like, yeah. And so also when you create furrows, which is what these little lines are, these are called furrows. Um, when you do this, it produces dirt. I mean, it produces worms. So when you dig dirt and when you uh, dig furrows, it produces an RNG worm. Sometimes, you you know, you do a strip and you'll get like, I don't know, maybe four worms, six worms, you know, that sort of thing. And so you have infinite worms. You have infinite dirt and infinite worms and the worms are bait for fishing. And so like you've got, you've literally got a broken, like a, a feedback loop here in the cycle. Um, if you want to exploit it as such. Um, all right. All right. Your boys got the carpentry heading back to base now. Cool. Uh, we're gonna have a few potatoes because I figure that that goes into meals and stuff, and we like to, we like to use the meals as the sort of methods. So I'll put a few more rows of potatoes here, so we have potatoes, and then I'll uh, we'll see what else. Uh, we need cabbages. Cabbages are the cabbage meta is strong in this game. Um, why do I only have that few cabbage seeds? Um. Seriously? That's bullshit. All right. Ugh, all that collecting. No cabbages. Oh, well. Um, yeah. Do the cabbages get you, like, squirrels? Uh, uh, squirrels and rabbits, I think. Um, maybe just rabbits. Um, either way, it gets you the ideal game, uh, game meat. And so, like, then you can set out traps right on, like, the edge of the forest. As long as you're 75 tiles away from a, tra uh, from a box trap. I think it's the box trap. Um, then, um, 
the the rabbits operate from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. And so there's RNG rolls happening in that period. If you stay 75 tiles away from the uh, box trap that has been placed on the edge of a sort of wooded forest area uh, and like the plain, like, you know, the grassland plains differentiation between the forest right there on that edge. And then RNG rolls will happen. If you place the cabbage under the box, then it will pull the rabbit only, I think. And then in that case, you have the uh, the ideal game meat in this game that you can then fucking with our mods jerky fucking um, and then we can jar stuff like in game and you can preserve all that sort of stuff. And then the cabbages themselves are just like you take a frozen cabbage out of the freezer, you put it in your fucking backpack. And when you're out in the field, it'll eventually thaw and it'll kill a bunch of your fucking hunger and your thirst at the same time. Just carry a couple of like cat frozen cabbages out with you in the morning. <laughs> so yeah, the cabbages are the ideal plant in this game. Now, if only the macros weren't so fucked with them. Yeah, well, that's where you just work macros in elsewhere. You supplement. <laughs> yes. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's put this sort of shit over here. Is the generator magazine yet? I don't believe we have, actually. Okay, I just found one. As well as the herbalist. I'm going to head to the bathroom and get some water before I join. Okay. So I'll be right back. Right. Karina is Karina's dead. Karina is dead. Based cabbage just in time for St. Patrick's Day. Dude, fuck it. God, Americans are so weird about that uh, th with that shit. They're like, we're Irish and shit. It's like, no, you're not. The, 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 the Irish people find that so fucking cringe. <laughs> like, you, you have some weird, long, you know, it's, it's like 9, 12, 15 generations away sort of shit. It's like, it's just like, oh my God, you're not a fucking Irish. <laughs> you're, just, you're, you're just some goofy American that needs an identity. Um, all right. I don't want to plant the cucumbers because I want to kind of see if we can make pickles. I think we can make pickles. Oh, I, th I think we can make pickles in game. Like I'm pretty sure. Be real surprised if we couldn't. Yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty sure there's a pickling mechanic. Like that's yeah, like. <laughs> oh, I if it's not in base game, it's in one of the mods. Like, it's, it's in there. Like, this game has, like, a couple of magazines for shit like that. I've seen it. I've done it. I've read them. Oh. I'm 25% Irish, so I can represent. Uh. I've gone full hobo. I just inspected some of my clothes. Just holes everywhere. Really? Yeah. Uh, no one wants to be Scottish. You know what? I would rather be Scottish. Um, dude, the Scots have like way more claim to fame as far as like, dude, one of the craziest things you want to look it up, look up Scottish inventions. It's one of the craziest fucking lists of shit. You'd be like, wait a second. Really? Yeah, basically Scotland invented everything. Like there's like everything like from the modern era, like a Scotsman invented half this shit. Like seismology was invented by a fucking Scotsman even, right? Like there, there's a whole list. It's one of the craziest fucking lists. It's 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 almost a meme unto itself. But yeah, look up like in uh, Scottish inventions list sometime and it's just a list a mile long of shit that you're like I Okay, that too. Yeah, that too. Like, I'd ra I'd rather be Scottish. Um, I'll take that. <laughs> Scottish ancestor uh, ancestor stole sheep and got banished. Ballers, fuck, nice. Um, yeah, I I 
I'm surprised. You know how you have that mod that lets us like see our stats and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised they didn't add a stress bar. Interesting. Yeah, yeah boredom and happiness and like uh, yeah, boredom and happiness, but no stress. I see that. I've never even noticed that. But you're right. This is um I forget which mod this is. Um but like yeah, uh, let's see. Hang on. Uh minimal display bars. Yeah. That's what that is. It's minimal display bars and I installed it a, a few iterations back to try and get a handle on some of the the movements and some of the mechanics. My intention is eventually to just get rid of it. Um, but like it, I, I want to sort of ingrain these mechanics just sort of in my subconscious to a certain extent. So in the muscle memory. Yeah. And so, yeah, that you're right that, that there's not one for, Oh God, we have a helicopter event. Yeah, but we'll probably be fine. Oh God. Yeah. Well, they can fall out of the sky and shit for real. Uh, we're running. I'm pretty sure we're running. I, we might be running. Uh, we might be running the expanded helicopter events package um, at this time. I don't remember if it got disabled or not when I spun this one up. If it's on, <laughs> dude, that shit can fall out of the sky. There's like news copters. Oh, God. Um, there's jets. There's bombings. Dude, that shit gets wild. I think I have it turned off, in which case we're fine. But the expanded one is just, it gets interesting. Uh, oh, God, yeah, scared the shit out of me. I'm hearing the things. Yeah, yeah, so some shit going off, you know. Oh, damn, the gun rack's full. Nice. You know, I mean. Where should I, where should I put the six hour? Yeah, just give it to me. You know what? I'm going to start using it. Yeah, I have no intention of like using guns in this game. Yeah, I think I think I think I'm gonna be one of those people that just goes the whole way without guns. I'm gonna I'm try it. I've tried it a couple of times, but it's been really fucking miserable. Um, but I've seen people Don't doubt it. do it. Um, so okay, so this doesn't even have this doesn't have a mag on it. So this isn't actually usable unless I have. What do I need for this? Uh, nine by nineteen. Yeah. Okay. So we got one. I got a double stack for this. I would prefer to have more than one magazine of ammunition at the ready. Frankly, um, that would be ideal. Now, do we have ammo? All right. Yes. All right. Oh, this magazine is loaded already. Interesting. All right. All right. So, oh, it's got a laser sight on it. Nice. Dude, this is gonna this is gonna suck. All right, Buddhist. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna wander a bit. Um. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Are you good on food and shit like that? Yeah, I'm good on food. All right. I'm just gonna eat another burrito and have a smoke. And we'll just move this shit over here. I've been wandering around like a fucking idiot. And uh, yeah, let's 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 go. I don't know. Do you want to grab a gun? Like, can we find you a gun pairing off this shelf? Oh, that's like is there something that actually works as a as a pack here? All right, let's see. Um, wait, seriously? Did I miss that? All right. So, a 38 special. Do we have any? We have a 45. A Colt Commander is what? That's a 45 ACP, right? Yeah, okay. So, we have a Colt Commander with a 45 ACP. Do we have ammo for it? Yeah, we got a box of 45 ACP rounds. Cool. Well, then, congratulations. Now you got 40, You got 10 stack up there plus a box. Well, congratulations. Get yourself that Colt Commander. And, oh, there's another magazine there, too. The, that 45 ACP double stack, that's what goes in your, uh, in your gun. Okay, nice. Yeah. Hmm. 
Um, oh, we do have the how to use generators up on the shelf. <clears throat> yep, I put it up on there. All right, cool. Along with our herbalist, I wasn't sure if we had that either. All right, so are you... Um, all right, hang on. Let's yeah, insert 15 bolts in that bag. Um, I don't have like a box. I it, my nine by nineteen is uh, we were we're not as heavy on ammo as you were, but we're I got a couple of mags worth here. Yeah, I got two mags worth, which is thirty rounds, and then you've uh, you've got your um, like your baseball bat map to like your one key or something, right? Yeah, I, I got my baseball key map. Okay. Uh, let's just kind of go in town. Actually, do you want me to repair some of your clothes before you head out? My clothes are pretty good. Same with mine. Yeah. Like, I'm... Nobody's been, you know, knock on wood. Well, I can't say the same for my leather jacket. That thing is... It's... It's more patched than jacket. Um, it's just sort of... I don't know, parking lot crews here. and Let's see if we can't find some stragglers. <clears throat> that way, you know, when we inevitably miss. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, I'm hit. Seriously? Yeah, I'm, at, I'm hit. Oh, my God. I'm oh, hit. my God. Run. <laughs> Run. Oh, my God. Is that helicopter actually shooting at us? It's because you guys have <laughs> yes. guns. Put them away. It's... <laughs> Fuck that. Smash a window. I got a bullet lodged in me. Thankfully, it's, I mean, it's in my right shin. That ain't really the best, but... Oh, my God. Okay, so... We, that ain't the worst. Yeah, we need to <laughs> we need to get you back to base. I, we have a little medical station that we've got set up somewhere. In yeah, that th base. we have we have painkillers and shit. Well, we need like, to we need to use tweezers and the doors the doors open. Yeah, we need to use tweezers and like get the bullet out. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. And then, like, I don't know if we need to suture it or not. We may need to suture it. Great. I'd imagine so. Fuck. It's fucking. Oh my. <laughs> Why are they fucking shoot you? I'm telling you, it's because they look like fucking marauders walking around with guns and shit, dude. <laughs> I'm willing to bet they just made a judgment call. And said, yeah, those are probably some like Mad Max types. They need to be put down. Where is where are we keeping our medical stuff? I don't fucking know, oh dude. I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> here it is. Here it is. It's right here. It's right here. Okay. Hang on. I'm even prepared for this. Wait. For, this is great. This is great. This is great. I get to do this. I has been fucking waiting for oh my this. God. Hold on. Hold on. I have the outfit. Hold on. I have the outfit. Oh, my God. Okay. God. Hold on. We're doing this. We're doing this. Oh We're my doing God. it right. We're doing it live. Okay. So, hang on. We're going to... I'm going to, I'm going to do this proper, uh, proper, like, all right. So, uh, drop that, um, and drop the satchel. All right. And we're going to keep the ax because homie doesn't take his ax off for anybody. Fuck that. We're, we're going into surgery, but I'll wear the mask. I'm going to do this. It was proper. Hang on. I've got the scrub cap too. This is great. All right. So I like how I like how Buddhist is just waiting there, bleeding the fuck out <laughs> while this is going on. <laughs> He's fine. How's your how's, how's your how's your pain? Are you good? I I just I have minor pain. Like I took that bullet like a champ in the shin. All right, oh, let's, Jesus. All right, let's, adrenaline's a powerful drug, dude. All right, let's I'm gonna sit here and watch. Let's <laughs> medical check this. All right, um, it, it it there is there is a lodged bullet. Um. Let's see. All right. We got to remove the bullet with the suture needle holder. <laughs> Are there surgery bonuses for where that? There should be. God damn it. All right. Now. I'd be real surprised if there wasn't. Uh, let's suture it with a suture needle. All right. And then let's disinfect it with alcohol wipes. And now let's bandage okay, it. Lodging the bullet gave me severe pain. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, there's a heavy pain. <laughs> there you go. And now, uh, come over here to this cabinet and get yourself an antibiotic and a painkiller. Excellent. Oh my God. Ha! That was amazing. I have been waiting for that moment. I had the outfit and everything. 
and I did I mean, it. shit, and you, I, you did the best you could there, holy fuck. And I did it, and I did it with an axe on my back, like a fucking apocalypse yeah. baller. Uh, take this and call me in the morning. Exactly. Exactly. Fucking sterile surgical gloves and everything. Dude, that was, that was baller. Um, Dude, what the fuck? I didn't think they'd actually shoot you guys. Uh, neither did I. That was, neither did I. That was, that was an interesting experience. Did they straight up? Thank God it was just a shin wound, not like a fucking neck wound or something. Dude, could you imagine if it was like just a straight like neck shot? I'd just fucking bleed out immediately. <laughs> and I'd be like, wait, like, I got the outfit. It's like, wait a minute, I guess that's the end of that character. <laughs> but I have an outfit for this. Um... <laughs> Oh, all right. Let's get that water. That'll make a fun little short video. You could just hide. It could be like a little five-minute video, and it's just Buddhist get absurd. Buddhist just is, gets fucking is shot. Caboose here. I'm back. Oh Jesus! I was just as I was like, dude, wow, that, that was great timing. Yeah, I was like, dude, that seemed a while. <laughs> yeah, Caboose. Uh, you, uh, you missed Buddhist it. Got shot. You, you, By what? You you did. You just you just missed it. <laughs> How did who who shot Buddhist? <laughs> um okay so a helicopter event an expanded helicopter event was occurring and buddhist and i were going out to test our our new bang bangs because we have guns now and um because we're big scary men and we carry guns now um and we we're going to test our guns out and the expanded helicopter event shot shot buddhist in the leg <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's <That's> amazing <laughs> um and and he just missed Kai doing surgery like straight up. Yes, yes. I, I I went full Dr. Kai up in this bitch. I have everything and I've been saving it for fucking because we pulled it from the pharmacy. I have the entire surgical outfit, the the gown, the hat, the fucking gloves, everything, and all of the appropriate equipment. So I got to remove the bullet, suture the wound, disinfect the wound, and bandage the wound. And yeah, I went full Dr. Kai up in this bitch. <laughs> Oh, yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. I'm also glad I can stop associating now because the moment you pulled me into the call, I had your stream fully cranked. And suddenly I got double echoes of everything and I just started like overstimulated to the point of where it just like froze me for a bit. I was in the bathroom just trying to pluck my face for a second and I just lost time. Um, As one does. Okay. So, you know, so, Buddhist. Yes. You want to give it a second try? <laughs> Yes, I they're, they're gone good, now. No. Yeah, they're yeah. gone now. <sighs> I never a dull moment whenever we go out, dude. Buddhist, like I'm telling you, uh, it's it, we have a we have a, a a compatible looting sensibility, where we tend to clean well ne uh, with each other, but for some reason, hijinks ensue. <laughs> it's true, and it's not as always our fault. Said. It's not always our fault. You know what, what? What weight are y'all characters at? Um, I think I'm overweight. I'm at eighty. I'm eighty nine. Okay, your boy's at eighty right now. I I, I eighty five is I'm I'm teetering on the edge. I need to stop eating burritos. <laughs> oh, it looks like it looks like uh oh straight up the fucking the underweight perk is just gone. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was expecting to happen. It should disappear. Yeah, it, just, it just, it just poofed. Yeah. Does that mean basically with some work underweight, the underweight, uh, it's it's quote free, unquote downside is three points. It's free points. Yeah. Like I've I've been like basically combating my underweight by just like raiding houses for fucking canned food and just eating it as Does a that goal, mean as overweight is the same. Um, yeah, yeah, but I'd imagine overweight takes longer to lose. It's harder to um, it's harder to burn the calories. It basically it comes down to the stuff that's going to give you that sort of perk is going to be probably this uh, a lot of stuff that goes uh, bad quickly. So it's going to be the fresh foods, it's going to be the fruits, the vegetables, and stuff like that that's going to optimize your weight loss in this game, as is, right? Um, and that stuff's going to go off first. But the um, so you kind of have to get on that and you have to be on it for a while. So it's a slower loss, but like, yeah, you can do like what cat and I, you know, the Mayo meta and like literally just drink jars of Mayo. Yeah. Jars of Mayo, bucks of ice cream. 
Yeah, that's it. Pints of ice cream and jars of mayo, and you're fucking good. Like, and I wasn't even doing that for, doing that for this character. I was literally just eating canned food. Yeah, exactly. Like there's 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 so many ways to gain weight. Like there's so many ways to gain weight. Um, and you know, there's a limited amount of ways to drop it really. And so, yeah, I think in this game, I think the, uh, underweight is OP and I think the overweight is probably just as difficult as the modeling should be on it. Um, I could hear those gunshots from here. Oh, yeah, We're not you. shooting. There we go. Dude, it's fucking... That's a painful way to... That's a painful shooting mechanic. Yeah, it's... Gr dude, it's like... Dude, you gotta wait till, like, yeah, you get something. The red is bad, and then it sort of tones out to... Ugh. Ooh, hey now, itch. To be fair, that is just a six hour. Yeah, but it's not... Jesus Christ, really? There we go. Um... I decided to just come with y'all. All right. Actually, a little line of defense for you and shit. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I will say there is kind of a comedic effect to just like point at the ground, pop. Yeah. No, it's it is it's a it's satisfying. As much okay. as I'd love to join you guys tonight, I actually have to get up for get up in eight hours, so uh, I actually have to get hidden to bed. Sleep Thanks well. for the you know what? Actually, Sam, I should probably I should probably get going too. I just look at the peace, y'all. Sleep well, Karina. The Mayo meta? You mean European imperialism? I mean, basically. Okay. Um. All right, Caboose, where are you? Are you in yet? Are you? Yeah, I just spawned. All right. All right, cool. Me and Caboose are tagging. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, no, I'm actually not too far away from you guys. Um, look at the map. You know, you got a you got a minute, but yeah, no worries. Um, are you in? No, no, no. You were here last night. Dumb. I'm fucking. Yeah, remember I kept dying. Yeah. So, do you have a character? You spot? No, you died. So you're spawning a new one. Yeah. What is? Uh, oh, yeah. What, what's your build? Uh, I went with engineer. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. What am I? As if to say, though, we could use somebody with survivalist skills, foraging, fishing, all that shit. You're trapping. Do park. Well, park if this ranger? guy dies, which if last session's uh, Dude, any indication. Caboose was fucking having a miserable time of it last night. Just <laughs> that was, yeah, that was a string of them. You know, always double tap. Exactly. Uh, more like proudly PhD. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. All right. I am quitting in the base. All right. Cool. Well, thanks for I'll hanging. see you all tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. Catch you later. Yeah. Um, am I? There we go. You just shift that. Oh, we got a. It's gonna be time you bring out the bats. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, yeah. That was. I had to <laughs> see that. You know yeah, what? I'm, I'm moving up. The I'm on, yeah, I'm gonna move these guys around a bit. That's. I need them to optimize. All right. Some fun faces. Um, how was your D and D session? Pretty good. We mostly uh, focused on one particular character's story this session. That happens every once in a while. We'll, everyone kind of gets their spotlight. It's okay, Karina. No worries. Um, that's good. What was Karina is here on mobile curling up and slightly bummed that 
not allowed to be a night owl responsibility, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. Life. Responsibility sucks. Life. Someone interesting to to uh, today um, told me <laughs> they surprised me and they said, you know, I don't want to be a capitalist slave. And I was like, all right, I didn't expect that. I went, cool. What? Somebody wasn't expecting to say that. Yeah, I was like, all right. Yeah, the movement works. Um, one of our characters got some serious questions expanded upon. No touchy. Yeah. Um. I found like another warehouse over here or something. Uh, it just has a massive stash of stuff. Uh, you are you a, a different warehouse? Um, it's by the storage unit. And there's dead bodies all over the place, which means you guys have been here. Yeah, that's the base, probably. Mm, it's not the base. Okay, well then. It's smaller than the base. Okay. Got it. Right. Trying to get you, let you get and your the shots in. Does a horrible job of mapping the expansion area. Yeah, I, I, you know what? We get such detailed map on everything else. I'm kind of okay with it. You know, I, I would. God, I would be open to doing a run. Of no map. I too. Yeah. I am pro no map. Like I, I think there's, you know, I pulled off some earlier, like some directions for cat, even when I was just, it still am brutally stoned. And like, I was like, all right, go here to that, to that, to that, to that, to that. Right. Like, I think it, this game will work your geospatial reasoning. I think it's a good little stretch of the legs, maybe one run one day of a no map that just, yeah, <laughs> like try to figure it out. Uh, I, you know, yeah. Um, gonna go smoke. We'll be back. Hey, right, devil. Uh, Karina, our Warforged nanny droid found the rest of her make, well, uh, but, like, she's one of two still functioning as far as she knows, but God. did find a soul in a jar, so, okay, this is just, um, so maybe three of a working body is found, also evil plants from my last character is still fucking with the world. Hmm, fair enough. We only said, uh, no said evil plants are still around because vile things were deep in the ground with her kin's parts. Okay, those were words. It... I it, it makes a lot more sense if you've no, I, 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 I built know, up to it. I know. Like, that's that's exactly that sort of detail. Like, yep, I'm I'm sure that meant a lot more to Caboose. It did. Yeah. Exactly. It helps to have been present for the telling of the story. And the build up to this part too, because there's key features from previous sessions. In that explanation. Um. All right. Yeah, empty shelf. Oh, you know what? Is that a oh, all in one? Yeah, let's see. It is. All right. No, it's just the washer. All right. What do you mean it has items and contain oh. out? Hmm. That would be metal working. Hmm. Do we give a shit about metal working in this run? I have no idea. I don't think so. 
probably use it for much. I mean, we have all the storage in the world. Like in, in Riverside, we used the metal containers because they were 80 storage per because we need to optimize because we were in residential, right? We have a giant fucking warehouse. Yeah. Of like infinite storage at this point. So it doesn't matter if we have to optimize that. We don't need it, need it for defense because just tacking up a steel plate on a window is anybody can do it level. So there's no real reason to even work on metalworking in this iteration of how we're playing. So, all right. Fuck it. I'm just gonna about to disassemble this shit and start grinding it, but there is literally no point. Yeah, the vehicles are the thing that um, ideally what what we need is um, oh, Jesus Christ, I always do that. Um, I need level one electrical and level two mechanics and then i can start hot wiring vehicles and we can get off to that oh nice that would be i guess the ideal so disassemble the tv yeah <coughs> that's that's just gonna be the thing um yeah because it's going to get quiet in this part of the world pretty quickly. But what we can do is we get a vehicle going here. Um, we can start doing northern runs into West Point proper. Because we're in the expansion. Well, my character yeah. almost died. Jesus Christ, how? Um, when I walked into a house with some quiet zombies. And they ganged up on me. And I somehow managed to... Push them all off and get the fuck out without getting any damage. All right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. You can shove doors. Um, the same way you shove zombies, and it'll rile them. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. You can. You can. You can move them. You can get their attention. So. Um, too bad Dark Sun is I nemesis the world. Uh, probably Karina. Probably uh, Karina. Don't. I, um, let's see. Um, ba -ba oh, <laughs> really? Uh, also, there's a mod on this uh, this server that it, it's only until you start getting into like grind work that you'll notice it. Um, but like when you're out in the field and you're just doing like field disassemblies or any of the sort of like tool work that you pull a hammer out for or something like that, and all of a sudden your um, your tool set is replaced, right? Like that's that's vanilla zomboid. Is you um you know you pull a hammer out well now you have a hammer in your hands uh, you know but there's a mod on this server so that what will actually happen is that like if you've got your like your primary weapon in your hands and you go to disassemble something it will take that tool whatever you need out of your backpack and then it will return it to that configuration and then restore your weapon in your hands the way it used to be prior to you interacting with that object oh it adds a little t uh, extra time to like if you're like doing a series of ones what will happen is you could start putting them away and so you could actually get a little extra time in there making it a little more lengthy of a process but i find it's a lot better than fucking up my configuration every single time it gets out a a, a tool cuz i'm yeah i don't i don't feel i need to tell my character to put the the, the screwdriver away <laughs> that's I just sorry um. <laughs> come on take the take the television apart see this is 
this is that this is the part of the game where it's like look there's there's not really great ways to model this stuff right like mm-hmm. we're modeling this behavior but we can't model the action itself and so like what do you what do you want to do do you want to do a quick time event every time you want to take one of these apart do you want to do you want to hold the button do you want to mash the button or would you prefer just to like right click something and then click the thing and just wait a second to like emulate the time that it would take to do something like this right like out of the shit choices that you have for this modeling this real world behavior when you're doing it in a video game the one that requires the least amount of input on my part is probably the one that i would ideally choose if i have to be saddled with one have to agree yeah it's just you know don't don't make me do the thing. Don't don't make me perform. <laughs> Let's see. Um Still way the fuck up there even. There's a pile of guns up there that Kat and I left behind. You know it's a it's, you know what's a really good idea? It's marking the base on your map. I, oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> I need to do that too. Because you know, I've been really stoned this session, and before I started wandering off, that's probably the type of preparation I would typically do in you know, but um, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I am sort of just flying blind in this world at this point. Just going with the flow. I mean, I see houses. So like, you know, I'm not going to starve to death. I've got all of the tools that I need on me to perform any function in this world. Just gonna eat a whole onion. <laughs> a whole fucking onion. Yeah, and then a then a juice box because I'm a fucking psychopath. <laughs> I've, I've decided this character's a fucking psychopath. <laughs> it's just That's a, what he, this world's done. Yeah, he's just dude. Fucking Dave has snapped. He's just like wandering around, fucking like just eating whole onions like they were apples. Like that's just fuck you. I always liked onions. Disgusting. I, I, I always liked onions. They were great. And society, like, oppressed me and my onion love. I think onions are gr- great, and I'm, I'm going to eat them as a snack. Fuck you. Like, society was right to oppress you. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, let's see. Have I ever read that? Planes Auto Manual. Why does everyone think that's weird? They are tasty. Dude, I grew up eating. Okay, so like I grew up, uh, we had this giant bush of chives it, uh, outside my childhood home in Vermont. Like it was, it was, it was legitimately a massive fucking, just a huge pile of fucking chives. And I grew up just going out there like grabbing them by the handful and walking around fucking, you know, just being a child in the wilderness of Vermont, eating hands, handful of, of chives, which are just, you know, they're onion. So yeah, no, I feel you on that one. All right. I've already done two laps of this and I don't fucking feel safe here. All right. I'm out of here. Uh, I would know. Sh- I had a friend that would know shit eat onions like that. He's kind of psycho. Dude, I don't know. I, I, I did, I just, you know, my, uh, I think my uncle used to do that. My maternal uncle. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, a zombie. What's up, homie? Let's see. 
We don't take kindly to your kind around here. Um, well, to be fair, it was black man saying it to a white man this time. He's really good like that, too. (laughs) Um, Fresh peas, especially. I grew up with... Dude, I grew up with all the fucking best shit. Seriously. I'm still bummed we left Vermont. None of this... My life would be a hundred... Like, completely different. Probably in a lot of better ways, too, to be perfectly honest. Um, But, like, yeah. Having that upbringing the way I did in Vermont was... That was a good roll of the dice. It's a good roll of dice. At least, at least I had a good first half sort of situation, right? You know, a lot of people grow up in like Mumbai and Chicago and shit, right? Like, <laughs> Jesus, goddamn Christ. Let's pass, hard pass. All right, let's see. No, oh, that's a shame. How's your leg doing? Oh, that's a good question. I I rebandaged it not long ago. Yeah, but it's doing good. It's still stitched up. Bandage still clean. Good work, doctor. Good, good, good. good. You're, you're, you're a, a quiet and compliant patient, which is exactly what a <laughs> doctor would pr- appreciate. Damn straight. Um, uh, anything in here? Oh, you know what? Let me see this gun case. Is there anything in it? Nothing in it. Nothing in this gun case. All right. Well, then, fuck you too. I don't want you anyway. One half of a green comfy couch. I mean, you know, that's <laughs> definitely the thing you want. Is a half a green comfy couch. What an industrial propane tank. Yeah, dude, they're a bitch. They're like 40 weight or some shit. 20. 20. Oh 20. Yeah, they're like 20 weight unto themselves. They're a bitch to move around. You know what? I will take one oh. back to the base. AKMS with <laughs> folded stock ammo. There you go. Fuck it, let's grab it. Um, can you put a long gun in those tiny cases? Um, oh yeah, 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 you can. Fucking definitely. What's that? Oh yeah, hang on, I'll take you. There we go. Now wait, can I open you? Yes. Of course I can. It's fucking zomboid. Whoo! All right, do we have a shotgun? <laughs> We need a shotgun, Uh, any shotgun, because we got lots of, we got 10, uh, we got two boxes of 10 gauge shotgun, two boxes of 12 gauge shotgun, two boxes of 20 gauge shotgun, three boxes of 410 gauge shotgun, and then just uh, four gauge, I don't know what the fuck, that would be, I don't know what the fuck that is even, Uh, or is that just a box of 49 fucking shotgun shells, either way. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of shotgun ammo, is what I'm saying. Nice. Really, at the end of the day. And, and I heard that's good to level up aiming, too. <laughs> yeah, it's supposedly an easier one to level. Um. I, uh, I might need a suture. What did you do? A fucking zombie tripped over a fence, knocked me down... And then two other zombies were like right behind them. I'm and turn bit around, me. Buddhist. Just in well, case. actually, it doesn't say bite. One says laceration, the other says scratch. Oh, no, you don't need sutures. You need to disinfect well, those, but you don't need sutures. Okay. Um, only a deep wound needs sutures. All right. Well, it says terminally damaged. Uh, that means your health is very low. You need to bandage so you stop losing blood. I, I bandaged. Okay, then as long as it's not going down anymore, you should be fine. But you got worked over. It's very slowly going up, so I think I'm going to be okay. Yeah, no, that's but terminally damaged. Just, you've lost a clip of blood there. Uh, really? Dude, it didn't even wake up. How rude. Alright.
Oh, good, good to hear, Karina. Good to hear. Uh, I have no idea where we are. I'm just gonna be hanging around you guys right now. Okay, so I think if we go north. I yeah. Then... Um, can I? Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm just gonna start. Okay, so that but split the difference. I'm gonna just do a. I'm gonna just do a straight direction here. I'm pretty sure this is the way I want to go. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, here's the the wrecking yard again. We're seeing we're seeing part of our wander in daytime now, Buddhist. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. There's a, there's a truck. Yeah. Here's here's the 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 scrap yard. God, that was a nightmare. Oh, that was oh a God. fucking nightmare. I'm I'm PTSD from that shit. That was so. I never want to go into a forest again. Holy shit! I was way too high for that, dude. I was, dude. Same. I was mid and just yeah. <laughs> that was holy shit. That was too much. I was I was. Can I can I Karina open. sleep well? Can I Karina? Oh my god, that that was entirely too much. Oh, there we go. Scratch an inch. I mean, that's rude. Hey, you. I'm over here. Well. All right. Fair enough. Oh, empty gas can. I'll take that. Oh, yeah. We're collecting those. Really? Uh. Yeah, we're collecting those. Oh, gee. Yo, basketball, soccer ball, an empty watering can. Oh, we'll take the empty watering can. Very nice. Yeah, we'll take that. I also found a, a, a machete earlier. Oh, um, you can make a spear out of those. <laughs> oh. You make a really surprisingly sick. effective spear. Yeah. That's that's definitely a thing. It pretty people. reliably two hit zombies. Oh, wow. All right. Um, yeah, I'm good on that. Oh, wait. A tactical axe. Interesting. Uh, oh, shit. Why? 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 <laughs> Are you, um, okay, Caboose? <laughs> it's not a bite, luckily. <laughs> I think Caboose saved me. There's a generator in here, too. Oh, oh hey, I might have room for that. Uh, no, sorry. I'm already full up on a sh absolute shit ton of ammo and an industrial propane tank. Uh, but go. you know what? Where's the generator? It's in the shed. Uh, in the shed here. Is this one right here? Oh my god, there's more ammo, gun cases, gunpowder. Oh my god. Um, okay, so... Alright, what does... Alright, I'm gonna place this... I'm gonna place this out here. So it can be seen, readily. In case we need to go looking for this. I'm just gonna stay the fuck out here and, like, watch. <laughs> oh, more shotgun oh. shells, too. Shit. I don't got room for it though. It's almost ten weight. All right, so take generator, and then where is it? Oh, it's just in my hands. That's right. I just fucking carry this stupid thing. There's is there no way to? Oh God, it weighs forty. There's no way it'll it will not even. Fit fit in there. There's no fucking way to even get it. You just have to carry this stupid fucking thing. Oh my god. Which, Considering my like severely injured self, I'm just gonna really have to opt out of not carrying that. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna put it on the ground. Because there's no way for me to carry that. But you know what? The ammo and shit, I will let me check this did you check this gun case? I did not know. Okay. I, I picked up the uh, the uh, ammo thing, and it put me a little overweight, but not enough that I'm taking damage. Yeah, so what you it normally, 
you look at the gun cases first and you basically activate them like a like a a, a, a satchel as well and you sort of mount the drive as it were um mm. and um you can look inside them and they they okay. will they will have guns oftentimes um like that one just had a gun in it as well um so yeah you can um, which I wanted to pull back. Uh, that one had a CC seventy five in it. Um, and this then... ammo case has eleven boxes of twenty G shotgun shells. Nice. Oh, you know what? We'll take this fertilizer too. That's that's a thing I can I can can be convinced to take. All right. Bam! There we go. All right, so I'm just going to keep heading this way. Beat zombie with generator. Dude, that's, that's, that's a heavy weapon class. No. <clears throat> no, I'm good on that. Dude, I don't even like the uh, swing in the, uh, the sledgehammer. Dude, I don't like slow weapons in video games, period. That's 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 my style of play. Slow I, weapons in horror games are kind of stupid anyways. I dude, like sledgehammers and great swords and shit like that. I was always like, what is the like two weapons that I can wield insanely fast? That was always my strategy. I, I do not like playing that sort of like standard, almost like a uh, fucking souls born style where like a lot of your weapon base is just really slow to wind up and swing and that sort of thing. Hmm? Really? No. All right. Fine. Yeah, drinking beer reduces pain. Are you kidding me? He didn't have his fucking... Oh, god damn it. I didn't have my fucking... W oh, wow. All right. That's fun. Oh, shit. He used his elbow like a fucking moron because he didn't... I didn't have the fucking um, weapon out. Let's see. God damn. That's okay. I'm at least equipped to deal with this. And bandage that bitch. The only issue is it's one of my arms... So that means like it's gonna it's gonna debuff my swing speed. Mm. That's the. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm good. Um, and I got some painkillers for that. So. Yeah, I explained that meta earlier. I figure I, f I figure I have a responsibility as like you know if I'm doing the video games side of the streaming right like. So I started doing the like game streamer thing of explaining mechanics and shit like that. Nice. Fucking. This is, you know, this is the meta on carrying a satchel and a bag. So you have literally everything that you need. And, you know, yeah. This is how you play this game. Oh. Let's see. All right. Oh yeah. Let's see. Just boxes and shit. Uh, there's another empty watering can. You know what? I'm gonna fucking take it. After we had to wander around for that other one. Um. Really? Um, it's not an off chance. Oh, it's house key, which means it's probably the key to this building, which, I mean, I did smash a window to get into, so, makes sense. <laughs> hey, more fertilizer. Is 
see you or cat um buddhist that i spawned into chinatown with uh that was me jesus oh jesus <laughs> get the shit out of me buddhist <laughs> i'm going to pick up that jenny are you really yeah i i, I uh got a car started oh all right came kind of close to running me over <laughs> And get that propane too. All right. So what is this building? Hmm. Oops. There we go. Oh, Kavos, I don't know here if you were here earlier when I went through the the hooch list. Because in this game, we can brew fermented drinks. Like, we can make prison hooch and shit. I can make kvass in this game. Like that's that's kvass is a, 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 a fermentable drink that we can make in this game. And I read the magazine. So maybe one of these days I'll make a, a, a fucking glass of kvass in here. All right, so here's a gas station. Wait, kvass is a drink? Yes. I just thought that was some weird name Kavas came up with. No, it's a drink. It's a fer it's a it's a European drink. Uh it's a ages old drink. Uh, let's see. You know, I'm a little disappointed by that because now it makes it feel like that there's some logic to Kavas. Uh, no, the alcohol drinks, um, all like, no, they debuff, they debuff, uh, like accuracy and swing speed and they increase tiredness, but they also increase, uh, they decrease unhappiness, um, and they decrease panic, I think as well as a side effect. Um, no, the, the effects of something like that is, uh, all like, relatively positive as long as you're not out fighting zombies actively. Alright. Let's read that. Wow, the real life kvass kind of looks disgusting. <laughs> Do you need to offload anything in, into the truck? I'm good. Um... All right, where? Ooh, okay. So found that, found that. Haven't found that. All right. So here's the West Point map, which means theoretically that should all be filled in now. Yes. All right. So yeah, if that's that's the unfortunate thing is that the, it's not filled in over here. The expansion where you can see we basically cover the outskirts of it the expansion is not in the map but this is all of west point over here right like this is our expansion that we've sort of like run the tour uh the, the the zombies out of but like we got a whole bunch of shit just to the left that is like quite you know whole bunch of fucking stuff so we just grab a vehicle and ride over there um there's plenty of things to be had Okay, so wait, what is okay. the hunter's man? So we have a, a running truck with a uh, trailer now attached to it. Nice. Good work. Do uh, you have any disinfectant at base? Yeah. Of course. So then I'll go find it. Um, when it, right by um right by the surgery center. When you walk in the front, um the the sinks, the industrial sinks on the right. Um, first cabinet. There's Muldra. Overall condition, 70%. That ain't too bad. Engine's in decent shape. No, that's good. Hey, that's a fair amount of the map filled out, actually. Yeah, let me turn it that way. But, like, yeah, I've got a decent amount of maps here. But. All right. Let's. All right. All right. 
You can also flash open doors. You could just double tap E. And so it'll mm -hmm. briefly light. It'll briefly render the zombies inside the room. Okay. And then you can just sort of, you know, it, it just immediately closes the door. So what you're left with is just like, you know, quickly just like, oh, there was two in there or whatever. There's one in there. So you have that amount that just right away. Okay, nice. Um, let's smoke a cigarette and go to Whole Foods. Well, this tactical act looks pretty cool. Where'd you find the vehicle? Um, in the parking lot of that, uh, um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, gas station. Oh, okay. Nice. Alright. Let's go. Since I'm here at base, I can mark that down, too. Yeah, I've, I've, I've found my way. I should, I should mark these locations, even though I'm right next door to base. I know where I am now. Um... Some yogurt. Well, I should be checking here. Yeah, that's where, that's where I should be checking. Yeah, my fatty ass put on some fucking weight. Jesus Christ. I've been eating just burritos out in the wild. <laughs> dude, I, I dude, that was the fucking joke, dude. Caboose, I've been working through that stack of burritos. Holy shit! Yeah, it was with Caboose last night. I was just starting. I started. I probably used a few of those since I started with underweight. Dude, fucking twelve burritos. I'm up like four kilos or some shit like that. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my weight is trending up. I need to get this fucker on a diet. Uh, and don't talk shit about my drink. Y'all put chocolate in milk, dude. Chocolate milk is at uh, look. It's it, it, it's necessary. Here's here's I'll go further. Right, if you drink milk, which I do not, but if you drink milk, fuck chocolate milk. Right, chocolate milk is is not where it's at, dude. You need to like take some milk and then put some like you need to get just the right consistency, but it, some like du double cream sort of situation going on. Right. Don't don't drink a giant glass of it. Just get like some get some decent high fat milk product like a double cream and put the same sort of chocolate mix that you or chocolate syrup or dark chocolate that you're going to melt. Do that shit in that instead. Get the just the shit that you probably make like fettuccine Alfredo out of. Right. Drink that. That actually does sound really good. No, it's fucking delicious. It's fucking. I actually low key. I actually hate chocolate milk. Yeah, but what you just suggested sounds amazing. It's because chocolate milk is an inferior product. Like it's the it, it, it needs dude that that amount of chocolate that you're trying to deliver needs like an insane amount of fat, and that means you shouldn't be drinking a whole lot of it. But that's okay, right? Like that's that's cool. What, what you need to do is get a stupid high fat drink like that and just do it right like do it as a treat <clears throat> but yeah we're talking like heavy cream territory yeah um drinking beast said drinking chocolate milk right now excuse me eh so like heavy whipping cream that sounds bomb yeah no exactly what it, it should be and like you can you can dress it up from there if you want you you can then get really fucking flighty with it and like it act you know you can go hipster on that you could go fucking foodie on that there's lots of ways to enjoy yourself with that kind of thing but yeah start with heavy cream <laughs> add some milk to that to thin it out just a touch just a touch you guys ever had an egg cream 
I have, but it's neither egg nor cream, and that's weird. I know. That's the funny thing about it. It's disgusting. I really? I I okay. See, it's the water, man. It that's another case of it's begging for like a a milk base. It, it's just yeah. I, I thought adding the soda water to it kind of gave it some pep. I I I would be fine for dialing the soda water back. Um, no, no, he, uh, um, fucking, <laughs> it's not, cat- no, it's, it's milk and, um, like soda water with a flavored syrup, sometimes chocolate, sometimes whatever, right? Like that's usually chocolate. Yeah. Uh, I've seen strawberry. It, it has nothing to do with eggs. No, no one's actually entirely sure where the hell egg cream comes from. Uh, or, or why it's called an egg cream. We're dancing, Caboose. We're dancing. I can see that. Why aren't you dancing? <laughs> I'm injured. You can still dance I'm when walking injured. Walking with my shin, shin shot up. How do you, how do you dance? Hold Q. And then over here on the left is dance, and click that, and then pick a dance, and you can learn new dances in the world. There are there are like magazines and shit that will teach you dances. So, yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Oh, I need to drop that and that and oh, geez. We are, you know, yeah. Um. I kind of want to, yeah. I kind of want to ditch. Th- the ammo canisters. I kind of want to take all the ammo out of the ammo canisters. Like that's how I feel. Like I want to do this almost, so we can see what the fuck we have, rather than the canister itself. Yeah. So canister doesn't tell me shit. Like canister full of shotgun shells. Great. Fucking. And then the ammo canister, we can just tastefully. Oh nope. I missed it. That's on me. Place it. I'm disappointed that the Around the World isn't the one based off of the Daft Punk song. (laughs) Uh, How many dances have you guys found? Uh, I found quite a few. I I've only got three on this this character right now because I haven't been collecting them, but I have had previous iterations. That had a few. Oops. Thing uh, with that, I'm gonna call it. You gotta be up for a few hours for work. I think actually, Caboose, you're back at base. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it too. All right. I need to get food in me, and I need to stop. That's talking. no problem by me. All right. So you guys drop. Um. Let us be in there. Shut this server down. Uh, that's going to do a thing and a thing. And then I'm going to bring this down here. Yep. Okay. Um, that was a whole fucking thing. Dude, it was a long stream. Um, so, sorry, ambitious losers. Um, it's been, it's been a minute. Uh, it's been a fucking minute. Whatever is it? Yes. Say we're going on 640, which for me, I, I don't go that, you know, occasionally like one, I think one out of seven, one out of 10 goes goes into the six hours something like that um all right well cool thanks for hanging out there's a whole bunch of people that actually stuck for the the zomboid as well um so wow yeah, you, wow. yeah like that was yeah this, this stream held decent numbers all night i was satisfied with it um so I don't know. If you're here and you're new, um, fucking follow and get the notification. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5.30 p.m. Tuesday, Thursdays, 11.30 p.m. Pacific time. Um, it's the only time zone. I don't know where. You, the rest of you are figments of my imagination. Um, either way, let's see if we can't take us to somewhere. Um, let's see. Raid, 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 raid. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I've been trying to do this. Um, fucking Twitch. Oh, uh, well, fucking. It was director. I need to fucking just. There we go. Need to just shortcut that for the future. <laughs> um, hey, uh, fourth highest uh, Zomboid streamer. Um, let's go. 
you know what? Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm just been picking Zomboid streamers the last few. Oh, wait, do we have? Oh, fuck that. No, no, no. Public's live. Public, public. Is, public is playing Elden Ring right now. So, yeah, that's 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 what we're going to do there. I'm gonna, we're just going to raid over to public. Um, good night, song. Good night, y'all. I am, I am looking worse for wear. Um, yeah, that was a rough one for me. Holy shit. Uh, Buddhist and I traumatized ourselves, um, <laughs> as is tradition. Um, fucking, so, whew, yeah. That was a good stream. We got a few segments out of that one. Um, Popo's Bizarre Adventures. We got um, fucking what else did I do? A whole bunch of shit. Either way, oh fuck me. Have they increased the time on the raidouts, or is it just my time dilation because I'm stoned as shit? <laughs> um, um, yeah, it's taken a while for me too. Yeah, no, I, it looks like they've increased the default time uh, for the raid uh, raidouts. Like that, that the lead in seems to be I don't know double as long. Something like that. I'm looking at the progress bar moving. Like, the raid out is happening, but it just fucking is taking its sweet time. So I'm going to click the button. Oh, there it is. Ten. Finally. We finally got to ten <laughs> seconds. Jesus. Goddamn Christ. That was brutal because I'm that stone too. Later, y'all. Oh, Jesus. Fucking A. All right.